Surah 21 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 21, the Prophets, Al-Anbiya, revealed at Mecca, in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Their reckoning has drawn near to men and in heedlessness are they turning aside there comes not to them a new reminder from their lord but they hear it while they sport their hearts trifling and those who are unjust counsel together in secret he is nothing but a mortal like yourselves what Will you then yield to enchantment while you see? He said, My Lord knows what is spoken in the heaven and the earth, and he is the hearing, the knowing. Nay, say they, medleys of dreams, nay, he has forged it, nay, he is a poet. So let him bring to us a sign as the former prophets, were sent with there did not believe before them any town which we destroyed will they then believe and we did not send before you any but men to whom we sent revelation so ask the followers of the reminder if you do not know and we did not make them buddhas not eating the food and they were not to abide forever then we made our promise good to them so we delivered them and those whom we pleased and we destroyed the extravagant certainly we have revealed to you a book in which is your good remembrance what do you not then understand and how many a town which was iniquitous did we demolish and we raised up after it another people so when they felt our punishment lo they began to fly do not fly now and come back to what you were made to lead easy lives in and to your dwellings haply you will be questioned they said oh woe to us surely we were unjust and this ceased not to be their cry till we made them cut off extinct. And we did not create the heaven and the earth, and what is between them for sport. Had we wished to make a diversion, we would have made it from before ourselves. By no means would we do it. Nay, we cast the truth against the falsehood so that it breaks its head and lo it vanishes and woe to you for what you describe and whoever is in the heavens and the earth is his and those who are with him are not proud to serve him nor do they grow weary they glorify him by night and day they are never languid or have they taken gods from the earth who raise the dead if there had been in them any gods except allah they would both have certainly been in a state of disorder therefore glory be to allah the lord of the dominion above what they attribute to him he cannot be questioned concerning what he does and they shall be questioned or have they taken gods besides him say bring your proof this is the reminder of those with me and the reminder of those before me nay most of them do not know the truth so they turn aside and we did not send before you any messenger but we revealed to him that there is no god but me therefore serve me 
and they say the beneficent Allah has taken to himself a son. Glory be to him. Nay, they are honored servants. They do not precede him in speech and only according to his commandment do they act. He knows what is before them and what is behind them. And they do not intercede except for him whom he approves and for fear of him they tremble and whoever of them should say surely i am a god besides him such a one do we recompense with hell thus do we recompense the unjust do not those who disbelieve see that the heavens and the earth were closed up but we have opened them and we have made of water everything living, will they not then believe? And we have made great mountains in the earth, lest it might be convulsed with them, and we have made in it wide ways that they may follow a right direction. And we have made the heaven a guarded canopy, and yet they turn aside from its science and he it is who created the night and the day and the sun and the moon all orbs travel along swiftly in their celestial spheres and we did not ordain abiding for any mortal before you what then if you die will they abide every soul must taste of death and we try you by evil and good by way of probation and to us you shall be brought back and when those who disbelieve see you they do not take you but for one to be scoffed at is this he who speaks of your gods and they are deniers at the mention of the beneficent allah man is created of haste now will i show to you my signs therefore do not ask me to hasten them on and they say when will this threat come to pass if you are truthful had those who disbelieve but known of the time when they shall not be able to ward off the fire from their faces nor from their backs nor shall they be helped nay it shall come on them all of a sudden and cause them to become confounded so they shall not have the power to avert it nor shall they be respited and certainly messengers before you were scoffed at then there befell those of them who scoffed that at which they had scoffed say who guards you by night and by day from the beneficent allah nay they turn aside at the mention of their lord or have they gods who can defend them against us they shall not be able to assist themselves nor shall they be defended from us nay we gave provision to these and their fathers until life was prolonged to them do they not then see that we are visiting the land curtailing it of its sides shall they then prevail say i warn you only by revelation and the deaf do not hear the call whenever they are warned and if a blast of the chastisement of your lord were to touch them they will certainly say o oh, woe to us surely we were unjust and we will set up a just balance on the day of resurrection so no soul shall be dealt with unjustly in the least and though there be the weight of a grain of mustard seed yet will we bring it and sufficient are we to take account and certainly we gave to musa and harun 
the forcon and a light and a reminder for those who would guard against evil for those who fear their lord in secret and they are fearful of the hour and this is a blessed reminder which we have revealed will you then deny it and certainly we gave to ibrahim his rectitude before and we knew him fully well when he said to his father and his people what are these images to whose worship you cleave they said we found our fathers worshipping them he said certainly you have been both you and your fathers in manifest error they said have you brought to us the truth or are you one of the triflers he said nay your lord is the lord of the heavens and the earth who brought them into existence and i am of those who bear witness to this and by allah i will certainly do something against your idols after you go away turning back so he broke them into pieces except the chief of them that haply they may return to it they said who has done this to our gods most surely he is one of the unjust they said we heard a youth called ibrahim speak of them said they then bring him before the eyes of the people perhaps they may bear witness they said have you done this to our gods o ibrahim he said surely some doer has done it the chief of them is this therefore ask them if they can speak then they turned to themselves and said surely you yourselves are the unjust then they were made to hang down their heads certainly you know that they do not speak he said what do you then serve besides allah what brings you not any benefit at all nor does it harm you fie on you and on what you serve besides allah what do you not then understand they said burn him and help your gods if you are going to do anything we said o fire be a comfort and peace to ibrahim and they desired a war on him but we made them the greatest losers and we delivered him as well as loot removing them to the land which we had blessed for all people and we gave him ishaq and yaqub a son's son and we made them all good and we made them imams who guided people by our command and we revealed to them the doing of good and the keeping up of prayer and the giving of the alms and us alone did they serve and as for lot we gave him wisdom and knowledge and we delivered him from the town which wrought abominations surely they were an evil people transgressors and we took him into our mercy surely he was of the good and noah when he cried a fourth time so we answered him and delivered him and his followers from the great calamity and we helped him against the people who rejected our communications surely they were an evil people so we drowned them all and the wood and sulaiman when they gave judgment concerning the field when the people's sheep pastured therein by night and we were bearers of witness to their judgment so we made sulaiman to understand it and to each one we gave wisdom and knowledge and we made the mountains and the birds to celebrate our praise with the wood and we were the doers and we taught him the making of coats of mail for you that they might protect you in your wars 
Will you then be grateful? And we made subservient to Suleiman the wind blowing violent, pursuing its course by his command to the land which we had blessed, and we are knower of all things. And of the rebellious people there were those who dived for him and did other work besides that and we kept guard over them and ayub when he cried to his lord saying harm has afflicted me and thou art the most merciful of the merciful therefore we responded to him and took off what harm he had and we gave him his family and the like of them with them a mercy from us and a reminder to the worshippers and ismail and idris and zilkif all were of the patient ones and we caused them to enter into our mercy surely they were of the good ones and yunus when he went away in wrath so he thought that we would not straighten him so he called out among afflictions there is no god but thou glory be to thee surely i am of those who make themselves to suffer loss so we responded to him and delivered him from the grief and thus do we deliver the believers and zechariah when he cried to his lord o my lord leave me not alone and thou art the best of inheritors so we responded to him and gave him yahya and made his wife fit for him surely they used to hasten one with another in deeds of goodness and to call upon us hoping and fearing and they were humble before us and she who guarded her chastity so we breathed into her of our inspiration and made her and her son a sign for the nations surely this islam is your religion one religion only and i am your lord therefore serve me and they broke their religion into sects between them to us shall all come back therefore whoever shall do of good deeds and he is a believer there shall be no denying of his exertion and surely we will write it down for him and it is binding on a town which we destroy that they shall not return even when gog and magog are let loose and they shall break forth from every elevated place and the true promise shall draw nigh then lo the eyes of those who disbelieved shall be fixedly open o woe to us surely we were in a state of heedlessness as to this nay we were unjust surely you and what you worship besides allah are the firewood of hell to it you shall come had these been gods they would not have come to it and all shall abide therein for them therein shall be groaning and therein they shall not hear surely as for those for whom the good has already gone forth from us they shall be kept far off from it they will not hear its faintest sound and they shall abide in that which their souls long for the great fearful event shall not grieve them and the angels shall meet them this is your day which you were promised on the day when we will roll up heaven like the rolling up of the scroll for writings as we originated the first creation so we shall reproduce it a promise binding on us surely we will bring it about and certainly we wrote in the book after the reminder that as for the land 
my righteous servants shall inherit it most truly in this is a message to a people who serve and we have not sent you but as a mercy to the world say it is only revealed to me that your allah is one allah will you then submit but if they turn back say i have given you warning in fairness and i do not know whether what you are threatened with is near or far surely he knows what is spoken openly and he knows what you hide and i do not know if this may be a trial for you and a provision till a time he said o my lord judge thou with truth and our lord is the beneficent allah whose help is sought against what you ascribe to him end of surah 21 Surah 22 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 22, the pilgrimage, Al-Hajj, revealed at Medina. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. O people, guard against the punishment from your lord surely the violence of the hour is a grievous thing on the day when you shall see it every woman giving suck shall quit in confusion what she suckled and every pregnant woman shall lay down her burden and you shall see men intoxicated and they shall not be intoxicated, but the chastisement of Allah will be severe. And among men there is he who disputes about Allah without knowledge, and follows every rebellious shaitan. Against him it is written down that whoever takes him for a friend, he shall lead him astray and conduct him to the chastisement of the burning fire o people if you are in doubt about the raising then surely we created you from dust then from a small seed then from a clot then from a lump of flesh complete in make and incomplete that we may make clear to you and we cause what we please to stay in the wombs till an appointed time. Then we bring you forth as babies, then that you may attain your maturity. And of you is he who is caused to die, and of you is he who is brought back to the worst part of life, so that after having knowledge he does not know anything and you see the earth a sterile land but when we send down on it the water it stirs and swells and brings forth of every kind a beautiful herbage this is because allah is the truth and because he gives life to the dead and because he has power over all things and because the hour is coming there is no doubt about it and because allah shall raise up those who are in the graves and among men there is he who disputes about allah without knowledge and without guidance and without an illuminating book turning away haughtily that he may lead others astray from the way of allah for him is disgrace in this world and on the day of resurrection we will make him taste the punishment of burning this is due to what your two hands have sent before and because allah is not in the least unjust to the servants and among men is he who serves allah 
standing on the verge, so that if good befalls him, he is satisfied therewith. But if a trial afflicts him, he turns back headlong. He loses this world as well as the hereafter. That is a manifest loss. He calls besides Allah upon that which does not harm him and that which does not profit him. That is the great straying. He calls upon him whose harm is nearer than his profit. Evil certainly is the guardian, and evil certainly is the associate. Surely Allah will cause those who believe and do good deeds to enter gardens beneath which rivers flow. Surely Allah does what he pleases. Whoever thinks that Allah will not assist him in this life and the hereafter, let him stretch a rope to the ceiling, then let him cut it off, then let him see if his struggle will take away that at which he is enraged, and thus have we revealed it, being clear arguments, and because Allah guides whom he intends. Surely those who believe and those who are Jews and the Sabines and the Christians and the Magines and those who associate others with Allah, surely Allah will decide between them on the day of resurrection. Surely Allah is a witness over all things. Do you not see that Allah is he whom obeys whoever is in the heavens and whoever is in the earth, and the sun and the moon and the stars and the mountains and the trees and the animals and many of the people, and many there are against whom chastisement has become necessary, and whomsoever Allah abases, there is none who can make him honorable. Surely Allah does what he pleases. These are two adversaries who dispute about their Lord. Then as to those who disbelieve, for them are cut out garments of fire. Boiling water shall be poured over their heads. With it shall be melted what is in their bellies and their skins as well, and for them are whips of iron. Whenever they will desire to go forth from it, from grief they shall be turned back into it, and taste the chastisement of burning. Surely Allah will make those who believe and do good deeds enter gardens beneath which rivers flow, they shall be adorned therein with bracelets of gold and with pearls, and their garments therein shall be of silk. And they are guided to goodly words, and they are guided into the path of the praised one. Surely as for those who disbelieve and hinder men from Allah's way and from the sacred mosque, which we have made equally for all men, for the dweller therein and for the visitor, and whoever shall incline therein to wrong unjustly, we will make him taste of a painful chastisement. And when we assign to Abraham the place of the house, saying, Do not associate with me oath, and purify my house for those who make the circuit and stand to pray and bow and prostrate themselves and proclaim among men the pilgrimage they will come to you on foot and on every lean camel coming from every remote path that they may witness advantages for them and mention the name of Allah during stated days over what he has given them of the cattle quadrupeds. 
than eat of them and feed the distressed one, the needy. Then let them accomplish their needful acts of shaving and cleansing, and let them fulfill their vows, and let them go round the ancient house. That shall be so, and whoever respects the sacred ordinance of Allah, it is better for him with his Lord, and the cattle are made lawful for you, except that which is recited to you. Therefore avoid the uncleanness of the idols, and avoid false words being upright for allah not associating aught with him and whoever associates others with allah it is as though he had fallen from on high then the birds snatch him away or the wind carries him off to a far distant place that shall be so and whoever respects the signs of allah this surely is the outcome of the piety of hearts you have advantages in them till a fixed time then their place of sacrifice is the ancient house and to every nation we appointed acts of devotion that they may mention the name of allah on what he has given them of the cattle quadrupeds so your allah is one allah therefore to him should you submit and give good news to the humble to those whose hearts tremble when allah is mentioned and those who are patient under that which afflicts them and those who keep up prayer and spend benevolently out of what we have given them and as for the camels we have made them of the signs of the religion of allah for you for you therein is much good therefore mention the name of allah on them as they stand in a row then when they fall down eat of them and feed the poor man who is contented and the beggar thus have we made them subservient to you that you may be grateful there does not reach allah their flesh nor their blood but to him is acceptable the guarding against evil on your part thus has he made them subservient to you that you may magnify allah because he has guided you aright and give good news to those who do good to others surely allah will defend those who believe surely allah does not love anyone who is unfaithful ungrateful permission to fight is given to those upon whom more is made because they are oppressed and most surely allah is well able to assist them those who have been expelled from their homes without a just cause except that they say our lord is allah and had there not been allah's repelling some people by others certainly there would have been pulled down cloisters and churches and synagogues and mosques in which allah's name is much remembered and surely allah will help him who helps his cause most surely allah is a strong mighty those who should we establish them in the land will keep up prayer and pay the poor rate and enjoin good and forbid evil and allah's is the end of affairs and if they reject you then already before you did the people of nuh and ad and samud reject prophets and the people of ibrahim and the people of lut as well as those of madian and musa too was rejected but i gave respite to the unbelievers then did i overtake them so how severe was my disapproval so how many a town did we destroy while it was unjust 
so it was fallen down upon its roofs and how many a deserted well and palace raised high have they not travelled in the land so that they should have hearts with which to understand or ears with which to hear for surely it is not the eyes that are blind but blind are the hearts which are in the breasts and they ask you to hasten on the punishment and allah will by no means fail in his promise and surely a day with your lord is as a thousand years of what you number and how many a town to which i gave respite while it was unjust then i overtook it and to me is the return say o people i am only a plain warner to you then as for those who believe and do good they shall have forgiveness and an honorable sustenance and as for those who strive to oppose our communications they shall be the inmates of the flaming fire and we did not send before you any messenger or prophet but when he desired the shaitan made a suggestion respecting his desire but allah annuls that which the shaitan costs then does allah establish his communications and allah is knowing wise so that he may make what the shaitan cost a trial for those in whose hearts is disease and those whose hearts are hard and most surely the unjust are in a great opposition and that those who have been given the knowledge may know that it is the truth from your lord so they may believe in it and their hearts may be lowly before it and most surely allah is the guide of those who believe into a right path and those who disbelieve shall not cease to be in doubt concerning it until the hour overtakes them suddenly or there comes on them the chastisement of a destructive day the kingdom on that day shall be allah's he will judge between them so those who believe and do good will be in gardens of bliss and as for those who disbelieve in and reject our communications these it is who shall have a disgraceful chastisement and as for those who fly in allah's way and are then slain or die allah will most certainly grant them a goodly sustenance and most surely allah is the best giver of sustenance he will certainly cause them to enter a place of entrance which they shall be well pleased with and most surely allah is knowing forbearing that shall be so and he who retaliates with the like of that with which he has been afflicted and he has been oppressed allah will most certainly aid him most surely allah is pardoning forgiving that is because allah causes the night to enter into the day and causes the day to enter into the night and because allah is hearing seeing that is because allah is the truth and that what they call upon besides him that is the falsehood and because allah is the high the great do you not see that allah sends down water from the cloud so the earth becomes green surely allah is benignant aware his is whatsoever is in the heavens and whatsoever is in the earth and most surely allah is the self-sufficient the praise do you not see that allah has made subservient to you whatsoever is in the earth and the ships running in the sea by his command 
and he withholds the heaven from falling on the earth except with his permission most surely allah is compassionate merciful to men and he it is who has brought you to life then he will cause you to die then bring you to life again most surely man is ungrateful to every nation we appointed acts of devotion which they observe therefore they should not dispute with you about the matter and call to your lord most surely you are on a right way and if they contend with you say allah best knows what you do allah will judge between you on the day of resurrection respecting that in which you differ do you not know that allah knows what is in the heaven and the earth surely this is in a book surely this is easy to allah and they serve besides allah that for which he has not sent any authority and that of which they have no knowledge and for the unjust there shall be no helper and when our clear communications are recited to them you will find denial on the faces of those who disbelieve they almost spring upon those who recite to them our communications say shall i inform you of what is worse than this the fire allah has promised it to those who disbelieve and how evil the resort o people a parable is set forth therefore listen to it surely those whom you call upon besides allah cannot create fly though they should all gather for it and should the fly snatch away anything from them they could not take it back from it weak are the invoker and the invoked they have not estimated allah with the estimation that is due to him most surely allah is a strong mighty allah chooses messengers from among the angels and from among the men surely allah is hearing seeing he knows what is before them and what is behind them and to allah are all affairs turned back o you who believe bow down and prostrate yourselves and serve your lord and do good that you may succeed and strive hard in the way of allah such a striving uh, is due to him he has chosen you and has not laid upon you an hardship in religion the faith of your father ibrahim he named you muslims before and in this that the messenger may be a bearer of witness to you and you may be bearers of witness to the people therefore keep up prayer and pay the poor rate and hold fast by allah he is your guardian how excellent the guardian and how excellent the helper end of surah 22of the holy quran translated by muhammad habib shaker this librivox recording is in the public domain surah 23 the believers al mu'minun revealed at mecca in the name of allah the most beneficent the most merciful successful indeed are the believers who are humble in their prayers and who keep aloof from what is vain and who are givers of poor rate and who guard their private parts except before their mates or those whom their right hands possess for they surely are not blameable but whoever seeks to go beyond that these are they that exceed the limits 
and those who are keepers of their trusts and their covenant, and those who keep a guard on their prayers, these are they who are the heirs, who shall inherit the paradise. They shall abide therein. And certainly we created man of an extract of clay. Then we made him a small seed in a firm resting place. Then we made the seed a clot. Then we made the clot a lump of flesh. Then we made in the lump of flesh bones. Then we clothed the bones with flesh. Then we caused it to grow into another creation. So blessed be Allah, the best of the creators. Then after that you will most surely die. Then surely on the day of resurrection you shall be raised. And certainly we made above you seven heavens. And never are we heedless of creation. And we send down water from the cloud according to a measure. Then we cause it to settle in the earth, and most surely we are able to carry it away. Then we cause to grow thereby gardens of palm trees and grapes for you. You have in them many fruits, and from them do you eat. And a tree that grows out of mountain Sinai, which produces oil, and a condiment for those who eat. And most surely there is a lesson for you in the cattle. We make you to drink of what is in their bellies, and you have in them many advantages, and of them you eat. And on them and on the ships you are born. And certainly we sent Nuh to his people, and he said, O oh my people, serve Allah, you have no God other than him. Will you not then guard against evil? And the chiefs of those who disbelieved from among his people said, He is nothing but a mortal like yourselves, who desires that he may have superiority over you. And if Allah had pleased, he could certainly have sent down angels. We have not heard of this among our fathers of yore. He is only a madman, so bear with him for a time. He said, O oh my Lord, help me against their calling me a liar. So we revealed to him, saying, Make the ark before our eyes and according to our revelation. And when our command is given and the valley overflows, take into it of every kind a pair, two and your followers, except those among them against whom the word has gone forth. And do not speak to me in respect of those who are unjust Surely they shall be drowned. And when you are firmly seated, you and those with you in the ark say, All praise is due to Allah, who delivered us from the unjust people. And say, O oh my Lord, cause me to disembark a blessed alighting. And thou art the best to cause to alight. Most surely there are signs in this, and most surely we are ever trying men. Then we raised up after them another generation. So we sent among them a messenger from among them, saying, Serve Allah, you have no God other than him. Will you not then guard against evil? And the chiefs of his people who disbelieved and called the meeting of the hereafter a lie, and whom we had given plenty to enjoy in this world's life, said, This is nothing but a mortal like yourselves, eating of what you eat from and drinking of what you drink, 
And if you obey a mortal like yourselves, then most surely you will be losers. What does he threaten you that when you are dead and become dust and bones, that you shall then be brought forth? Far, far is that which you are threatened with. There is naught but our life in this world. We die and we live and we shall not be raised again. He is naught but a man who has forged a lie against Allah and we are not going to believe in him. He said, O oh my Lord, help me against their calling me a liar. He said in a little while, they will most certainly be repenting. So the punishment overtook them in justice, and we made them as rubbish. So away with the unjust people. Then we raised after them other generations. No people can hasten on their doom, nor can they postpone it. Then we sent our messengers one after another. Whenever there came to a people their messenger, they called him a liar. So we made some of them follow others, and we made them stories. So away with a people who do not believe. Then we sent Musa and his brother Harun with our communications and a clear authority to Pharaoh and his chiefs. But they behaved haughtily, and they were an insolent people. And they said, What? Shall we believe in two mortals like ourselves, while their people serve us? So they rejected them, and became of those who were destroyed. And certainly we gave Musa the book, that they may follow a right direction. And we made the son of Maryam and his mother a sign, and we gave them a shelter on a lofty ground, having meadows and springs. O messengers, eat of the good things and do good. Surely I know what you do. And surely this your religion is one religion, and I am your Lord. Therefore be careful of your duty to me. But they cut off their religion among themselves into sects, each part rejoicing in that which is with them. Therefore leave them in their overwhelming ignorance, till do they think that by what we aid them with of wealth and children, we are hastening to them of good things, nay, they do not perceive. Surely they who from fear of their Lord are cautious, and those who believe in the communications of their Lord, and those who do not associate aught with their Lord, and those who give what they give in alms while their hearts are full of fear, that to their Lord they must return. These hasten to good things, and they are foremost in attaining them. And we do not lay on any soul a burden except to the extent of its ability. And with us is a book which speaks the truth, and they shall not be dealt with unjustly. Nay, their hearts are in overwhelming ignorance with respect to it, and they have besides this other deeds which they do, until when we overtake those who lead easy lives among them with punishment. Lo, they cry for succor. Cry not for succor this day. Surely you shall not be given help from us. My communications were indeed recited to you, but you used to turn back on your heels. In arrogance, talking nonsense about the Quran, 
and left him like one telling fables by night. Is it then that they do not ponder over what is said, or is it that there has come to them that which did not come to their fathers of old? Or is it that they have not recognized their messenger so that they deny him? Or do they say there is madness in him? Nay, he has brought them the truth, and most of them are averse from the truth. And should the truth follow their low desires, surely the heavens and the earth and all those who are therein would have perished. Nay, we have brought to them their reminder, but from their reminder they turn aside. Or is it that you ask them a recompense, but the recompense of your Lord is best, and he is the best of those who provide sustenance. And most surely you invite them to a right way, and most surely those who do not believe in the hereafter are deviating from the way. And if we show mercy to them and remove the distress they have, they would persist in their inordinacy, blindly wandering on. And already we overtook them with chastisement, but they were not submissive to their Lord, nor do they humble themselves until when we open upon them a door of severe chastisement. Lo, they are in despair at it. And he it is who made for you the ears and the eyes and the hearts. Little is it that you give thanks. And he it is who multiplied you in the earth, and to him you shall be gathered. And he it is who gives life and causes death, and in his control is the alternation of the night and the day. Do you not then understand? Nay, they say the like of what the ancients said. They say what? When we are dead and become dust and bones, shall we then be raised? Certainly we are promised this, and so were our fathers aforetime. This is naught but stories of those of old. Say whose is the earth and whoever is therein. If you know, they will say, Allah's, say will you not then mind? Say who is the Lord of the seven heavens? and the Lord of the mighty dominion, they will say, This is Allah's. Say, Will you not then guard against evil? Say, Who is it in whose hand is the kingdom of all things, and who gives succor? But against him succor is not given, if you do but know. They will say, this is Allah's. Say from whence are you then deceived? Nay, we have brought to them the truth, and most surely they are liars. Never did Allah take to himself a son, and never was there with him any other god. In that case, would each god have certainly taken away what he created, and some of them would certainly have overpowered others. Glory be to Allah above what they describe, the knower of the unseen and the seen. So may he be exalted above what they associate with him. Say, O my Lord, if thou shouldest make me see what they are threatened with, my Lord, then place me not with the unjust, and most surely we are well able to make you see what we threatened them with. Repel evil by what is best. We know best what they describe. 
and say, O my Lord, I seek refuge in thee from the evil suggestions of the shaitans, and I seek refuge in thee, O my Lord, from their presence. Until when death overtakes one of them, he says, Send me back, my Lord, send me back haply i may do good in that which i have left by no means it is a mere word that he speaks and before them is a barrier until the day they are raised so when the trumpet is blown there shall be no ties of relationship between them on that day nor shall they ask of each other then as for him whose good deeds are preponderant these are the successful and as for him whose good deeds are light these are they who shall have lost their souls abiding in hell the fire shall scorch their faces and they therein shall be in severe affliction were not my communications recited to you but you used to reject them they shall say o our lord our adversity overcame us and we were an erring people o our lord take us out of it then if we return to evil surely we shall be unjust he shall say go away into it and speak not to me surely there was a party of my servants who said o oh, our lord we believe so do thou forgive us and have mercy on us and thou art the best of the merciful ones but you took them for a mockery until they made you forget my remembrance and you used to laugh at them surely i have rewarded them this day because they were patient that they are the achievers he will say how many years did you tarry in the earth they will say we tarried a day or part of a day but ask those who keep account he will say you did tarry but a little had you but known it what did you then think that we had created you in vain and that you shall not be returned to us so exalted be allah the true king no god is there but he the lord of the honorable dominion and whoever invokes with allah another god he has no proof of this his reckoning is only with his lord surely the unbelievers shall not be successful and say o my lord forgive and have mercy and thou art the best of the merciful ones End of Surah 23。Surah 24 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 24, The Light and Nur, revealed at Medina, in the name of Allah the most beneficent, the most merciful. This is a chapter which we have revealed and made obligatory, and in which we have revealed clear communications that you may be mindful. As for the fornicatress and the fornicator, flog each of them, giving a hundred stripes, and let not pity for them detain you in the matter of obedience to Allah. If you believe in Allah and the last day, and let a party of believers witness their chastisement, the fornicator shall not marry any but a fornicatress or idolatrist, and as for the fornicatress, 
none shall marry her but a fornicator or an idolater and it is forbidden to the believers and those who accuse free women then do not bring four witnesses flog them giving eighty stripes and do not admit any evidence from them ever and these it is that are the transgressors except those who repent after this and act aright for surely allah is forgiving merciful and as for those who accuse their wives and have no witnesses except themselves the evidence of one of these should be taken four times bearing allah to witness that he is most surely of the truthful ones and the fifth time that the curse of allah be on him if he is one of the liars and it shall avert the chastisement from her if she testify four times bearing allah to witness that he is most surely one of the liars and the fifth time that the wrath of allah be on her if he is one of the truthful and were it not for allah's grace upon you and his mercy and that allah is oft returning to mercy wise surely they who concocted the lie are a party from among you do not regard it an evil to you nay it is good for you every man of them shall have what he has earned of sin and as for him who took upon himself the main part thereof he shall have a grievous chastisement why did not the believing men and the believing women when you heard it think well of their own people and say this is an evident falsehood why did they not bring four witnesses of it but as they have not brought witnesses they are liars before allah and were it not for allah's grace upon you and his mercy in this world and the hereafter a grievous chastisement would certainly have touched you on account of the discourse which you entered into when you received it with your tongues and spoke with your mouth what you had no knowledge of and you deemed it an easy matter while with allah it was grievous and why did you not when you heard it say it does not beseem us that we should talk of it glory be to thee this is a great calumny allah admonishes you that you should not return to the like of it ever again if you are believers and allah makes clear to you the communications and allah is knowing wise surely as for those who love that scandal should circulate respecting those who believe they shall have a grievous chastisement in this world and the hereafter and allah knows while you do not know and were it not for allah's grace on you and his mercy and that allah is compassionate merciful o you who believe do not follow the footsteps of the shaitan and whoever follows the footsteps of the shaitan then surely he bids the doing of indecency and evil and were it not for allah's grace upon you and his mercy not one of you would have ever been pure but allah purifies whom he pleases and allah is hearing knowing and let not those of you who possess grace and abundance swear against giving to the near of kin and the poor and those who have fled in allah's way and they should pardon and turn away do you not love that allah should forgive you and allah is forgiving merciful surely those who accuse chaste believing women unaware of the evil are cursed in this world and the hereafter and they shall have a grievous chastisement on the day when their tongues and their hands and their feet shall bear witness against them as to what they did on that day allah will pay back to them in full 
their just reward and they shall know that allah is the evident truth unclean things are for unclean ones and unclean ones are for unclean things and the good things are for good ones and the good ones are for good things these are free from what they say they shall have forgiveness and an honorable sustenance o you who believe do not enter houses other than your own houses until you have asked permission and saluted their inmates this is better for you that you may be mindful but if you do not find any one therein then do not enter them until permission is given to you and if it is said to you go back then go back this is purer for you and allah is cognizant of what you do it is no sin in you that you enter uninhabited houses wherein you have your necessaries and allah knows what you do openly and what you hide say to the believing men that they cast down their looks and guard their private parts that is purer for them surely allah is aware of what they do and say to the believing women that they cast down their looks and guard their private parts and do not display their ornaments except what appears thereof and let them wear their head coverings over their bosoms and not display their ornaments except to their husbands or their fathers or the fathers of their husbands or their sons or the sons of their husbands or their brothers or their brothers sons or their sisters sons or their women or those whom their right hands possess or the male servants not having need of women or the children who have not attained knowledge of what is hidden of women and let them not strike their feet so that what they hide of their ornaments may be known and turn to allah all of you o believers so that you may be successful and marry those among you who are single and those who are fit among your male slaves and your female slaves if they are needy allah will make them free from want out of his grace and allah is ample giving knowing and let those who do not find the means to marry keep chaste until allah makes them free from want out of his grace and as for those who ask for a writing from among those whom your right hands possess give them the writing if you know any good in them and give them of the wealth of allah which he has given you and do not compel your slave girls to prostitution when they desire to keep chaste in order to seek the frail good of this world's life and whoever compels them then surely after their compulsion allah is forgiving merciful and certainly we have sent to you clear communications and a description of those who have passed away before you and an admonition to those who guard against evil allah is the light of the heavens and the earth a likeness of his light is as a niche in which is a lamp the lamp is in a glass and the glass is as it were a brightly shining star lit from a blessed olive tree neither eastern nor western the oil whereof almost gives light though fire touch it not light upon light allah guides to his light whom he pleases and allah sets forth parables for men and allah is cognizant of all things in houses which allah has permitted to be exalted and that his name may be remembered in them there glorify him therein in the mornings and the evenings men whom neither merchandise nor selling diverts from the remembrance of allah and the keeping up of prayer and the giving of poor rate they fear a day in which the hearts and eyes shall turn about that allah may give them the best reward of what they have done 
and give them more out of his grace and allah gives sustenance to whom he pleases without measure and as for those who disbelieve their deeds are like the mirage in a desert which the thirsty man deems to be water until when he comes to it he finds it to be naught, and there he finds allah so he pays back to him his reckoning in full and allah is quick in reckoning or like utter darkness in the deep sea there covers it a wave above which is another wave above which is a cloud layers of utter darkness one above another when he holds out his hand he is almost unable to see it and to whomsoever allah does not give light he has no light do you not see that allah is he whom do glorify all those who are in the heavens and the earth and the very birds with expanded wings he knows the prayer of each one and its glorification and allah is cognizant of what they do and allah's is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth and to allah is the eventual coming do you not see that allah drives along the clouds then gathers them together then piles them up so that you see the rain coming forth from their midst and he sends down of the clouds that are like mountains wherein is hail afflicting therewith whom he pleases and turning it away from whom he pleases the flash of his lighting almost takes away the sight allah turns over the night and the day more surely there is a lesson in this for those who have sight and allah has created from water every living creature so of them is that which walks upon its belly and of them is that which walks upon two feet and of them is that which walks upon four allah creates what he pleases surely allah has power over all things certainly we have revealed clear communications and allah guides whom he pleases to the right way and they say we believe in allah and in the messenger and we obey then a party of them turn back after this and these are not believers and when they are called to allah and his messenger that he may judge between them lo a party of them turn aside and if the truth be on their side they come to him quickly obedient is there in their hearts a disease or are they in doubt or do they fear that allah and his messenger will act wrongfully towards them nay they themselves are the unjust the response of the believers when they are invited to allah and his messenger that he may judge between them is only to say we hear and we obey and these it is that are the successful and he who obeys allah and his messenger and fears allah and is careful of his duty to him these it is that are the achievers and they swear by allah was the most energetic of their oath that if you command them they would certainly go forth say swear not reasonable obedience is desired surely allah is aware of what you do say obey allah and obey the messenger but if you turn back then on him rests that which is imposed on him and on you rests that which is imposed on you and if you obey him you are on the right way and nothing rests on the messenger but clear delivering of the message allah has promised to those of you who believe and do good that he will most certainly make them rulers in the earth as he made rulers those before them and that he will most certainly establish for them their religion which he has chosen for them and that he will most certainly after their fear 
give them security in exchange they shall serve me not associating aught with me and whoever is ungrateful after this these it is who are the transgressors and keep up prayer and pay the poor rate and obey the messenger so that mercy may be shown to you think not that those who disbelieve shall escape in the earth and their abode is the fire and certainly evil is the resort o you who believe that those whom your right hands possess and those of you who have not attained to puberty ask permission of you three times before the morning prayer and when you put off your clothes at midday in summer and after the prayer of the nightfall these are three times of privacy for you neither is it a sin for you nor for them besides these some of you must go round about waiting upon others thus does allah make clear to you the communications and allah is knowing wise and when the children among you have attained to puberty let them seek permission as those before them sought permission thus does allah make clear to you his communications and allah is knowing wise and as for women advanced in years who do not hope for a marriage it is no sin for them if they put off their clothes without displaying their ornaments and if they restrain themselves it is better for them and allah is hearing knowing there is no blame on the blind man nor is there blame on the lame nor is there blame on the sick nor on yourselves that you eat from your houses or your father's houses or your mother's houses or your brother's houses or your sister's houses or your paternal uncle's houses or your paternal aunt's houses or your maternal uncle's houses or your maternal aunt's houses or what you possess the keys of or your friends houses it is no sin in you that you eat together or separately so when you enter houses greet your people with a salutation from allah blessed and goodly thus does allah make clear to you the communications that you may understand only those are believers who believe in allah and his messenger and when they are with him on a momentous affair they go not away until they have asked his permission surely they who ask your permission are they who believe in allah and his messenger so when they ask your permission for some affair of theirs give permission to whom you please of them and ask forgiveness for them from allah surely allah is forgiving merciful do not hold the messengers calling you among you to be like your calling one to the other allah indeed knows those who steal away from among you concealing themselves therefore let those beware who go against his order lest a trial afflict them or there befall them a painful chastisement now surely allah's is whatever is in the heavens and the earth he knows indeed that to which you are conforming yourselves and on the day on which they are returned to him he will inform them of what they did and allah is cognizant of all things end of surah 24Surah 25 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 25, the Standard, Al Furqan, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the Most Beneficent, the Most Merciful. Blessed is he who sent down the Furqan upon his servant that he may be a warner to the nations. He whose is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth 
and who did not take to himself a son, and who has no associate in the kingdom, and who created everything, then ordained for it a measure. And they have taken besides him gods, who do not create anything while they are themselves created. And they control not for themselves any harm or profit. And they control not death nor life, nor raising the dead to life. And those who disbelieve say, this is nothing but a lie, which he has forged, and other people have helped him at it. So indeed they have done injustice and uttered a falsehood. And they say the stories of the ancients he has got them written. So these are read out to him morning and evening. Say he has revealed it who knows the secret in the heavens and the earth. Surely he is ever forgiving, merciful. And they say... What is the matter with this messenger, that he eats food and goes about in the markets? Why has not an angel been sent down to him, so that he should have been a warner with him? Or why is not a treasure sent down to him, or he is made to have a garden from which he should eat? And the unjust say, you do not follow any but a man deprived of reason. See what likenesses do they apply to you, so they have gone astray. Therefore they shall not be able to find a way. Blessed is he who, if he please, will give you what is better than this gardens beneath which rivers flow and he will give you palaces. But they reject the hour, and we have prepared a burning fire for him who rejects the hour, when it shall come into their sight from a distant place. They shall hear its vehement raging and roaring, and when they are cast into a narrow place in it, Bound they shall there call out for destruction. Call not this day for one destruction, but call for destructions many. Say, is this better or the abiding garden which those who guard against evil are promised, that shall be a reward and a resort for them? They shall have therein what they desire abiding in it. It is a promise which it is proper to be prayed for from your Lord. And on the day when he shall gather them and whatever they served besides Allah, he shall say, Was it you who led astray these my servants? Or did they themselves go astray from the path? They shall say, Glory be to thee. It was not beseeming for us that we should take any guardians besides thee, but thou didst make them and their fathers to enjoy until they forsook the reminder, and they were a people in perdition. So they shall indeed give you the lie in what you say, then you shall not be able to ward off or help, and whoever among you is unjust, we will make him taste a great chastisement. And we have not sent before you any messengers, but they most surely ate food and went about in the markets. And we have made some of you a trial for others. Will you bear patiently? And your Lord is ever seeing. And those who do not hope for our meeting say, Why have not angels been sent down upon us? Or why do we not see our Lord? 
Now certainly they are too proud of themselves and have revolted in great revolt. On the day when they shall see the angels, there shall be no joy on that day for the guilty, and they shall say it is a forbidden thing totally prohibited, and we will proceed to what they have done of deeds. So we shall render them as a scattered floating dust. The dwellers of the garden shall on that day be in a better abiding place and a better resting place. And on the day when the heaven shall burst asunder with the clouds and the angels shall be sent down descending in ranks, the kingdom on that day shall rightly belong to the beneficent Allah, and the hard day shall it be for the unbelievers. And the day when the unjust one shall bite his hands, saying, Oh, would that I had taken away with the messenger? Oh, woe is me, would that I had not taken such a one for a friend? Certainly he led me astray from the reminder after it had come to me, and the shaitan fails to aid man. And the messenger cried out, O oh my Lord, surely my people have treated this Quran as a forsaken thing, and thus have we made for every prophet an enemy from among the sinners, and sufficient is your Lord as a guide and a helper. And those who disbelieve say, why has not the Qur'an been revealed to him all at once, thus that we may strengthen your heart by it, and we have arranged it well in arranging? And they shall not bring to you any argument, but we have brought to you one with truth and best insignificance. As for those who shall be gathered upon their faces to hell, they are in a worse plight and straying farther away from the path. And certainly we gave Musa the book, and we appointed with him his brother Harun and Eder. Then we said, Go you both to the people who rejected our communications. So we destroyed them with utter destruction. And the people of Nuh, when they rejected the messengers, we drowned them and made them a sign for men. And we have prepared a painful punishment for the unjust. And Ad and Samud and the dwellers of the Ras and many generations between them. And to everyone we gave examples, and everyone did we destroy with utter destruction. And certainly they have often passed by the town, on which was rained an evil rain. Did they not then see it? Nay, they did not hope to be raised again. And when they see you, they do not take you for oath, but a mockery. Is this he whom Allah has raised to be a messenger? He had well nigh led us astray from our gods had we not adhered to them patiently, and they will know when they see the punishment who is straying farther off from the path. Have you seen him who takes his low desires for his god Will you then be a protector over him? Or do you think that most of them do hear or understand? They are nothing but as cattle. Nay, they are straying farther off from the path. Have you not considered the work of your Lord, how he extends the shade, and if he had pleased, he would certainly have made it stationary. Then we have made the sun an indication of it.
then we take it to ourselves taking little by little and he it is who made the night a covering for you and the sleep a rest and he made the day to rise up again and he it is who sends the winds as good news before his mercy and we send down pure water from the cloud that we may give life thereby to a dead land and give it for drink out of what we have created to cattle and many people and certainly we have repeated this to them that they may be mindful but the greater number of men do not consent to aught except denying and if we had pleased we would certainly have raised a warner in every town so do not follow the unbelievers and strive against them a mighty striving with it and he it is who has made two seas to flow freely the one sweet that subdues thirst by its sweetness and the other salt that burns by its saltness and between the two he has made a barrier and inviolable obstruction and he it is who has created man from the water then he has made for him blood relationship and marriage relationship and your lord is powerful and they serve besides allah that which neither profits them nor causes them harm and the unbeliever is a partisan against his lord and we have not sent you but as a giver of good news and as a warner say i do not ask you aught in return except that he who will may take the way to his lord and rely on the ever living who dies not and celebrate his praise and sufficient is he as being aware of the faults of his servants who created the heavens and the earth and what is between them in six periods and he is firmly established on the throne of authority the beneficent allah so ask respecting it one aware and when it is said to them prostrate to the beneficent allah they say and what is the allah of beneficence shall we prostrate to what you bid us and it adds to their aversion blessed is he who made the constellations in the heavens and made therein a lamp and a shining moon and he it is who made the night and the day to follow each other for him who desires to be mindful or desires to be thankful and the servants of the beneficent allah are they who walk on the earth in humbleness and when the ignorant address them they say peace and they who pass the night prostrating themselves before their lord and standing and they who say o oh, our lord turn away from us the punishment of hell surely the punishment thereof is a lasting evil surely it is an evil abode and evil place to stay and they who when they spend are neither extravagant nor parsimonious and keep between these the just mean and they who do not call upon another god with allah and do not slay the soul which allah has forbidden except in the requirements of justice and who do not commit fornication and he who does this shall find a requital of sin the punishment shall be doubled to him on the day of resurrection and he shall abide therein in abasement except him who repents and believes and does a good deed so these are they of whom allah changes the evil deeds to good ones and allah is forgiving merciful 
And whoever repents and does good, he surely turns to Allah a goodly turning. And they who do not bear witness to what is false, and when they pass by what is vain, they pass by nobly. And they who, when reminded of the communications of their Lord, do not fall down thereat, deaf and blind. And they who say, O our Lord, grant us in our wives and our offspring the joy of our eyes, and make us guides to those who guard against evil. These shall be rewarded with high places because they were patient, and shall be met therein with greetings and salutations, abiding therein goodly the abode and the resting place. Say, my Lord would not care for you were it not for your prayer, but you have indeed rejected the truth so that which shall cleave shall come. End of Surah 25 Surah 26 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 26 The Poets Ash'ara Revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Ta, Sin, Mim. These are the verses of the book that makes things clear. Perhaps you will kill yourself with grief because they do not believe. If we please, we should send down upon them a sign from the heaven so that their necks should stoop to it, and there does not come to them a new reminder from the beneficent Allah, but they turn aside from it, so they have indeed rejected the truth. Therefore the news of that which they mock shall soon come to them. Do they not see the earth? How many of every noble kind we have caused to grow in it? Most surely there is a sign in that, but most of them will not believe. And most surely your Lord is the mighty, the merciful. And when your Lord called out to Musa, saying, Go to the unjust people, the people of Pharaoh, Will they not guard against evil? He said, O oh my Lord, surely I fear that they will reject me. And my breast straightens, and my tongue is not eloquent. Therefore send thou to Harun to help me. And they have a crime against me, therefore I fear that they may slay me. He said, By no means, so go you both with our signs, surely we are with you hearing. Then come to Pharaoh and say, Surely we are the messengers of the Lord of the worlds. Then send with us the children of Israel. Pharaoh said, Did we not bring you up as a child among us? and you tarried among us for many years of your life, and you did that deed of yours which you did, and you are one of the ungrateful. He said, I did it then while I was of those unable to see the right course, so I fled from you when I feared you. Then my Lord granted me wisdom and made me of the messengers. And is it a favor of which you remind me that you have enslaved the children of Israel? Pharaoh said, And what is the Lord of the worlds? He said, The Lord of the heavens and the earth, and what is between them, if you would be sure. 
Pharaoh said to those around him, Do you not hear? He said, Your Lord and the Lord of your fathers of old. Said he, Most surely your messenger who is sent to you is mad. He said, The Lord of the east and the west, and what is between them? if you understand said he if you will take a god besides me i will most certainly make you one of the imprisoned he said what even if i bring to you something manifest said he bring it then if you are of the truthful ones so he cast down his rod and lo it was an obvious serpent and he drew forth his hand and lo it appeared white to the onlookers pharaoh said to the chiefs around him most surely this is a skillful magician who desires to turn you out of your land with his magic what is it then that you advise they said give him and his brother respite and send heralds into the cities that they should bring to you every skillful magician so the magicians were gathered together at the appointed time on the fixed day and it was said to the people will you gather together haply we may follow the magicians if they are the vanquishers and when the magicians came they said to pharaoh shall we get a reward if we are the vanquishers he said yes and surely you will then be of those who are made near musa said to them cast what you are going to cast so they cast down their cords and their rods and said by pharaoh's power we shall most surely be victorious then musa cast down his staff and lo it swallowed up the lies they told and the magicians were thrown down prostrate they said we believe in the lord of the worlds the lord of musa and harun said he you believe in him before i give you permission most surely he is the chief of you who taught you the magic so you shall know certainly i will cut off your hands and your feet on opposite sides and certainly i will crucify you all they said no harm surely to our lord we go back surely we hope that our lord will forgive us our wrongs because we are the first of the believers and we revealed to musa saying go away with my servants traveling by night surely you will be pursued so pharaoh sent heralds into the cities most surely these are a small company and most surely they have enraged us and most surely we are a vigilant multitude so we turned them out of gardens and springs and treasures and goodly dwellings even so and we gave them as a heritage to the children of israel then they pursued them at sunrise so when the two hosts saw each other the companions of musa cried out most surely we are being overtaken he said by no means surely my lord is with me he will show me a way out then we revealed to musa strike the sea with your staff so it had cloven asunder and each part was like a huge mound and we brought near there the others and we saved musa and those with him all of them then we drowned the others 
most surely there is a sign in this but most of them do not believe and most surely your lord is the mighty the merciful and recite to them the story of ibrahim when he said to his father and his people what do you worship they said we worship idols so we shall be their votaries he said do they hear you when you call or do they profit you or cause you harm they said nay we found our fathers doing so he said have you then considered what you have been worshipping you and your ancient sires surely they are enemies to me but not so the lord of the worlds who created me then he has shown me the way and he who gives me to eat and gives me to drink and when i am sick then he restores me to health and he who will cause me to die then give me life and who i hope will forgive me my mistakes on the day of judgment my lord grant me wisdom and join me with the good and ordain for me a goodly mansion among posterity and make me of the heirs of the garden of bliss and forgive my father for surely he is of those who have gone astray and disgrace me not on the day when they are raised the day on which property will not avail nor sons except him who comes to allah with a heart free from evil and the garden shall be brought near for those who guard against evil and the hell shall be made manifest to the erring ones and it shall be said to them where are those that you use to worship besides allah can they help you or yet help themselves so they shall be thrown down into it they and the erring ones and the hostess of the shaitan all they shall say while they contend therein by allah we were certainly in manifest error when we made you equal to the lord of the worlds and none but the guilty led us astray so we have no intercessors nor a true friend but if we could but once return we would be of the believers most surely there is a sign in this but most of them do not believe and most surely your lord is the mighty the merciful the people of nuh rejected the messengers when their brother nuh said to them will you not guard against evil surely i am a faithful messenger to you therefore guard against the punishment of allah and obey me and i do not ask you any reward for it my reward is only with the lord of the world so guard against the punishment of allah and obey me they said shall we believe in you while the meanest follow you he said and what knowledge have i of what they do their account is only with my lord if you could perceive and i am not going to drive away the believers i am not but a plain warner they said if you desist not o nuh you shall most certainly be of those stoned to death he said my lord surely my people give me the lie therefore judge thou between me and them with a just judgment and deliver me and those who are with me of the believers so we delivered him and those with him in the laden ark
Then we drowned the rest after words. Most surely there is a sign in this, but most of them do not believe. And most surely your Lord is the mighty, the merciful. Ad gave the lie to the messengers when their brotherhood said to them, Will you not guard against evil? Surely I am a faithful messenger to you. Therefore guard against the punishment of Allah and obey me. And I do not ask you any reward for it. Surely my reward is only with the Lord of the worlds. Do you build on every height a monument? Vain is it that you do. And you make strong fortresses that perhaps you may. And when you lay hands on men, you lay hands like tyrants. So guard against the punishment of Allah and obey me. And be careful of your duty to him who has given you abundance of what you know. He has given you abundance of cattle and children and gardens and fountains. Surely I fear for you the chastisement of a grievous day. They said, it is the same to us whether you admonish or are not one of the admonishers. This is not but a custom of the ancients and we are not going to be punished. So they gave him the lie, then we destroyed them. Most surely there is a sign in this, but most of them do not believe. And most surely your Lord is the mighty, the merciful. Samud gave the lie to the messengers. When their brother Saleh said to them, Will you not guard against evil? Surely I am a faithful messenger to you. Therefore guard against the punishment of Allah and obey me. And I do not ask you any reward for it. My reward is only with the Lord of the worlds. Will you be left secure in what is here, in gardens and fountains and cornfields and palm trees having fine spade seas, and you hew houses out of the mountains exultingly. Therefore guard against the punishment of Allah and obey me, and do not obey the biding of the extravagant, who make mischief in the land and do not act aright. They said you are only of the deluded ones. You are not but a mortal like ourselves, so bring a sign if you are one of the truthful. He said, This is a she-camel. She shall have her portion of water, and you have your portion of water on an appointed time. And do not touch her with evil, lest the punishment of a grievous day should overtake you. But they hamstrung her, then regretted, so the punishment overtook them. Most surely there is a sign in this, but most of them do not believe. And most surely your Lord is the mighty, the merciful. The people of Lut gave the lie to the messengers, when their brother Lut said to them, Will you not guard against evil? Surely I am a faithful messenger to you. Therefore guard against the punishment of Allah and obey me. And I do not ask you any reward for it. My reward is only with the Lord of the worlds. What? Do you come to the males from among the creatures? and leave what your Lord has created for you of your wives. Nay, you are a people exceeding limits. They said, if you desist not, O Lord, you shall surely be of those who are expelled. He said, surely I am of those who utterly abhor your doing. 
My Lord deliver me and my followers from what they do. So we delivered him and his followers all, except an old woman among those who remained behind. Then we utterly destroyed the others, and we rained down upon them a rain, and evil was the rain on those warned. Most surely there is a sign in this, but most of them do not believe. And most surely your Lord is the mighty, the merciful. The dwellers of the thicket gave the lie to the messengers. When Shu'aib said to them, Will you not guard against evil? Surely I am a faithful messenger to you. Therefore guard against the punishment of Allah and obey me. And I do not ask you any reward for it. My reward is only with the Lord of the worlds. Give a full measure and be not of those who diminish. And weigh things with a right balance. And do not wrong men of their things, and do not act corruptly in the earth, making mischief. And guard against the punishment of him who created you and the former nations. They said, You are only of those deluded, and you are not but a mortal like ourselves. And we know you to be certainly of the liars. Therefore cause a portion of the heaven to come down upon us, if you are one of the truthful. He said, My Lord knows best what you do. But they called him a liar, so the punishment of the day of covering overtook them. Surely it was the punishment of a grievous day. Most surely there is a sign in this, but most of them do not believe. And most surely your Lord is mighty, the merciful, and most surely this is a revelation from the Lord of the worlds. The faithful spirit has descended with it upon your heart that you may be of the warners in plain Arabic language. And most surely the same is in the scriptures of the ancients. Is it not a sign to them that the learned men of the Israelites know it? And if we had revealed it to any of the foreigners, so that he should have recited it to them, they would not have believed therein. Thus have we caused it to enter into the hearts of the guilty. They will not believe in it until they see the painful punishment. And it shall come to them all of a sudden, while they shall not perceive. Then they will say, Shall we be respited? What? Do they still seek to hasten on our punishment? Have you then considered if we let them enjoy themselves for years? Then there comes to them that with which they are threatened. That which they were made to enjoy shall not avail them. And we did not destroy any town, but it had its warners to remind, and we are never unjust. And the shaitans have not come down with it, and it behoves them not, and they have not the power to do it. Most surely they are far removed from the hearing of it. So call not upon another God with Allah, lest you be of those who are punished. And warn your nearest relations, and be kind to him who follows you of the believers. But if they disobey you, then say, Surely I am clear of what you do. And rely on the mighty, the merciful, who sees you when you stand up and you're turning over and over among those who prostrate themselves before Allah. Surely he is the hearing, the knowing. Shall I inform you of him upon whom the shaitans descend 
they descend upon every lying sinful one they incline their ears and most of them are liars and as to the poets those who go astray follow them do you not see that they wander about bewildered in every valley and that they say that which they do not do except those who believe and do good and remember allah much and defend themselves after they are oppressed and they who act unjustly shall know to what final place of turning they shall turn back end of surah 26surah 27 of the holy quran translated by muhammad habib shaker this librivox recording is in the public domain surah 27 the ants and naml revealed at mecca in the name of allah the most beneficent the most merciful ta these are the verses of the quran and the book that makes things clear a guidance and good news for the believers who keep up prayer and pay the poor rate and of the hereafter they are sure as to those who do not believe in the hereafter we have surely made their deeds fair seeming to them but they blindly wander on these are they who shall have an evil punishment and in the hereafter they shall be the greatest losers and most surely you are made to receive the quran from the wise the knowing allah when musa said to his family surely i see fire i will bring to you from it some news or i will bring to you therefrom a burning firebrand so that you may warm yourselves so when he came to it a voice was uttered saying blessed is whoever is in the fire and whatever is about it and glory be to allah the lord of the worlds o musa surely i am allah the mighty the wise and cast down your staff so when he saw it in motion as if it were a serpent he turned back retreating and did not return o musa fear not surely the messengers shall not fear in my presence neither he who has been unjust than he does good instead after evil for surely i am the forgiving the merciful and enter your hand into the opening of your bosom it shall come forth white without evil among nine signs to pharaoh and his people surely they are a transgressing people so when our clear signs came to them they said this is clear enchantment and they denied them unjustly and proudly while their soul had been convinced of them consider then how was the end of the mischief makers and certainly we gave knowledge to the wood and Suleiman, and they both said praise be to allah who has made us to excel many of his believing servants and Suleiman was the wood's heir and he said o men we have been taught the language of birds and we have been given all things most surely this is manifest grace and his host of the jinn and the men and the birds were gathered to him and they were formed into groups until when they came to the valley of the naml and namlet said o naml enter your houses that Suleiman and his hosts may not crush you while they do not know 
So he smiled, wondering at her word, and said, My Lord, grant me that I should be grateful for thy favor, which thou hast bestowed on me and on my parents, and that I should do good such as thou art pleased with and make me enter by thy mercy into thy servants the good ones. And he reviewed the birds, then said, How is it I see not the hoopoe? Or is it that he is of the absentees? I will most certainly punish him with a severe punishment, or kill him, or he shall bring to me a clear plea. And he tarried not long, then said, I comprehend that which you do not comprehend, and I have brought to you a sure information from Sheba. Surely I found a woman ruling over them, and she has been given abundance, and she has a mighty throne. I found her and her people adoring the sun instead of Allah and the shaitan has made their deeds fair-seeming to them, and thus turned them from the way so they do not go aright, that they do not make obeisance to Allah, who brings forth what is hidden in the heavens and the earth, and knows what you hide and what you make manifest. Allah, there is no God but He, he is the Lord of mighty power. He said, we will see whether you have told the truth or whether you are of the liars. Take this, my letter, and hand it over to them. Then turn away from them and see what answer they return. She said, O oh, chief, surely an honorable letter has been delivered to me. Surely it is from Suleiman, and surely it is in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, saying, Exalt not yourselves against me, and come to me in submission. She said, O oh, chiefs, give me advice respecting my affair. I never decide an affair until you are in my presence. They said, We are possessors of strength and possessors of mighty prowess, and the command is yours. Therefore see what you will command. She said, Surely the kings, when they enter a town, ruin it and make the noblest of its people to be low, and thus they always do. And surely I am going to send a present to them, and shall wait to see what answer do the messengers bring back. So when he came to Suleiman, he said, What? Will you help me with wealth? But what Allah has given me is better than what he has given you. Nay, you are exultant because of your present. Go back to them, so we will most certainly come to them, with hosts which they shall have no power to oppose, and we will most certainly expel them. Therefrom in abasement, and they shall be in a state of ignominy. He said, O oh, chiefs, which of you can bring to me her throne before they come to me in submission? One audacious among the jinn said, I will bring it to you before you rise up from your place, and most surely I am strong and trusty for it. One who had the knowledge of the book said, I will bring it to you in the twinkling of an eye. Then when he saw it settled beside him, he said, This is of the grace of my Lord, that he may try me whether I am grateful or ungrateful. And whoever is grateful, he is grateful only for his own soul. And whoever is ungrateful, then surely my Lord is self-sufficient honored.
He said, alter her throne for her. We will see whether she follows the right way or is of those who do not go aright. So when she came, it was said, is your throne like this? She said, it is as it were the same. And we were given the knowledge before it, and we were submissive. And what she worshipped besides Allah prevented her. Surely she was of an unbelieving people. It was said to her, enter the palace, but when she saw it, she deemed it to be a great expanse of water and bared her legs. He said, surely it is a palace made smooth with glass. She said, my lord, surely I have been unjust to myself, and I submit with Suleiman to Allah, the lord of the worlds. And certainly we sent to Samud their brother Saleh, saying, serve Allah and lo, they became two sects quarreling with each other. He said, O oh my people, why do you seek to hasten on the evil before the good? Why do you not ask forgiveness of Allah, so that you may be dealt with mercifully? They said, We have met with ill luck on account of you, and on account of those with you. He said, The cause of your evil fortune is with Allah. Nay, you are a people who are tried. And there were in the city nine persons who made mischief in the land and did not act aright. They said, Swear to each other by Allah that we will certainly make a sudden attack on him and his family by night. Then we will say to his heir, we did not witness the destruction of his family, and we are most surely truthful. And they planned a plan, and we planned a plan, while they perceived not. See then how was the end of their plan, that we destroyed them and their people, all of them. So those are their houses fallen down because they were unjust. Most surely there is a sign in this for a people who know. And we delivered those who believed and who guarded against evil. And we sent loot when he said to his people, What do you commit in decency while you see? What do you indeed approach men lustfully rather than women? Nay, you are a people who act ignorantly. But the answer of his people was no other except that they said, Turn out Lut's followers from your town. Surely they are a people who would keep pure. But we delivered him and his followers except his wife. We ordained her to be of those who remained behind, and we reigned on them a reign, and evil was the reign of those who had been warned. Say praise be to Allah and peace on his servants whom he has chosen. Is Allah better or what they associate with him? Nay, he who created the heavens and the earth and sent down for you water from the cloud. Then we caused to grow thereby beautiful gardens. It is not possible for you that you should make the trees thereof to grow. Is there a God with Allah? Nay, they are people who deviate. Or who made the earth a resting place? and made in it rivers, and raised on it mountains, and placed between the two seas a barrier, is there a God with Allah? Nay, most of them do not know. Or who answers the distressed one when he calls upon him and removes the evil, and he will make you successors in the earth? Is there a God with Allah? Little is it that you mind. 
or who guides you in utter darkness of the land and the sea and who sends the winds as good news before his mercy is there a god with allah exalted by allah above what they associate with him or who originates the creation then reproduces it and who gives you sustenance from the heaven and the earth is there a god with allah say bring your proof if you are truthful say no one in the heavens and the earth knows the unseen but allah and they do not know when they shall be raised nay their knowledge respecting the hereafter is slight and hasty nay they are in doubt about it nay they are quite blind to it and those who disbelieve say what when we have become dust and our fathers too shall we certainly be brought forth we have certainly been promised this we and our fathers before these are not but stories of the ancients say travel in the earth then see how was the end of the guilty and grieve not for them and be not distressed because of what they plan and they say when will this threat come to pass if you are truthful say maybe there may have drawn near to you somewhat of that which you seek to hasten on and surely your lord is the lord of grace to men but most of them are not grateful and most surely your lord knows what their breasts conceal and what they manifest and there is nothing concealed in the heaven and the earth but it is in a clear book surely this quran declares to the children of israel most of what they differ in and most surely it is a guidance and a mercy for the believers surely your lord will judge between them by his judgment and he is the mighty the knowing therefore rely on allah surely you are on the clear truth surely you do not make the dead to hear and you do not make the deaf to hear the call when they go back retreating nor can you be a guide to the blind out of their error you cannot make to bear anyone except those who believe in our communications so they submit and when the word shall come to pass against them we shall bring forth for them a creature from the earth that shall wound them because people did not believe in our communications and on the day when we will gather from every nation a party from among those who rejected our communications then they shall be formed into groups until when they come he will say did you reject my communications while you had no comprehensive knowledge of them or what was it that you did and the word shall come to pass against them because they were unjust so they shall not speak do they not consider that we have made the night that they may rest therein and the day to give light most surely there are signs in this for a people who believe and on the day when the trumpet shall be blown then those who are in the heavens and those who are in the earth shall be terrified except such as allah please and all shall come to him abased and you see the mountains you think them to be solid and they shall pass away as the passing away of the cloud the handiwork of allah who has made everything thoroughly surely he is aware of what you do whoever brings good he shall have better than it 
and they shall be secure from terror on the day and whoever brings evil these shall be thrown down on their faces into the fire shall you be rewarded for aught except what you did i am commanded only that i should serve the lord of this city who has made it sacred and his are all things and i am commanded that i should be of these who submit and that i should recite the quran therefore whoever goes aright he goes aright for his own soul and whoever goes astray then say i am only one of the warners and say praise be to allah he will show you his signs so that you shall recognize them nor is your lord heedless of what you do end of surah 27 Surah 28 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 28 The Stories Al-Qasas Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. ta Sin Mim. These are the verses of the book that makes things clear. We recite to you from the account of Musa and Pharaoh with truth for people who believe. Surely Pharaoh exalted himself in the land and made its people into parties. Weakening one party from among them, he slaughtered their sons and let their women live surely he was one of the mischief makers and we desired to bestow a favor upon those who were deemed weak in the land and to make them the imams and to make them the heirs and to grant them power in the land and to make pharaoh and haman and their hosts see from them what they feared and we revealed to musa's mothers saying give him suck then when you fear for him cast him into the river and do not fear nor grieve surely we will bring him back to you and make him one of the messengers and pharaoh's family took him up that he might be an enemy and a grief for them surely pharaoh and haman and their hosts were wrongdoers and pharaoh's wife said a refreshment of the eye to me and to you do not slay him maybe he will be useful to us or we may take him for a son and they did not perceive and the heart of musa's mother was free from anxiety she would have almost disclosed it had we not strengthened her heart so that she might be of the believers and she said to his sister follow him up so she watched him from a distance while they did not perceive and we ordained that he refused to suck any foster mother before so she said shall i point out to you the people of a house who will take care of him for you and they will be benevolent to him so we gave him back to his mother that her eye might be refreshed and that she might know grief and that she might know that the promise of allah is true but most of them do not know and when he attained his maturity and became full grown we granted him wisdom and knowledge and thus do we reward those who do good to others and he went into the city at a time of unvigilance on the part of its people so he found therein two men fighting one being of his party and the other of his foes 
and he who was of his party cried out to him for help against him who was of his enemies so musa struck him with his fist and killed him he said this is on account of the shaitan's doing surely he is an enemy openly leading astray he said my lord surely i have done harm to myself so do thou protect me so he protected him surely he is the forgiving the merciful he said my lord because thou hast bestowed a favor on me i shall never be a backer of the guilty and he was in the city fearing awaiting when lo he who had asked his assistant the day before was crying out to him for aid musa said to him you are most surely one erring manifestly so when he desired to seize him who was an enemy to them both he said o musa do you intend to kill me as you killed a person yesterday you desire nothing but that you should be a tyrant in the land and you do not desire to be of those who act aright and a man came running from the remotest part of the city he said o musa surely the chiefs are consulting together to slay you therefore depart at once surely i am of those who wish well to you so he went forth therefrom fearing awaiting and he said my lord deliver me from the unjust people and when he turned his face towards madian he said maybe my lord will guide me in the right path and when he came to the water of madian he found on it a group of men watering and he found besides them two women keeping back their flocks he said what is the matter with you they said we cannot water until the shepherds take away their sheep from the water and our father is a very old man so he watered their sheep for them then went back to the shade and said my lord surely i stand in need of whatever good thou mayest send down to me then one of the two women came to him walking bashfully she said my father invites you that he may give you the reward of your having watered for us so when he came to him and gave to him the account he said fear not you are secure from the unjust people said one of them o oh my father employ him surely the best of those that you can employ is the strong man the faithful one he said i desire to marry one of these two daughters of mine to you on condition that you should serve me for eight years but if you complete ten it will be of your own free will and i do not wish to be hard to you if allah please you will find me one of the good he said this shall be an agreement between me and you whichever of the two terms i fulfill there shall be no wrongdoing to me and allah is a witness of what we say so when musa had fulfilled the term and he journeyed with his family he perceived on this side of the mountain a fire he said to his family wait i have seen a fire maybe i will bring to you from it some news or a brand of fire so that you may warm yourselves and when he came to it a voice was uttered from the right side of the valley in the blessed spot of the bush saying o musa surely i am allah the lord of the worlds and saying cast down your staff so when he saw it in motion as if it were a serpent he turned back retreating and did not return o musa come forward and fear not 
surely you are of those who are secure enter your hand into the opening of your bosom it will come forth white without evil and draw your hand to yourself toward of fear so these two shall be two arguments from your lord to pharaoh and his chiefs surely they are a transgressing people he said my lord surely i killed one of them so i fear lest they should slay me and my brother harun he is more eloquent of tongue than i therefore send him with me as an aider verifying me surely i fear that they would reject me he said we will strengthen your arm with your brother and we will give you both an authority so that they shall not reach you go with our signs you too and those who follow you shall be uppermost so when musa came to them with our clear signs they said this is nothing but forge enchantment and we never heard of it amongst our fathers of old and musa said my lord knows best who comes with guidance from him and whose shall be the good end of the abode surely the unjust shall not be successful and pharaoh said o chiefs i do not know of any god for you besides myself therefore kindle a fire for me o haman for brick then prepare for me a lofty building so that i may obtain knowledge of musa's god and most surely i think him to be one of the liars and he was unjustly proud in the land he and his hosts and they deemed that they would not be brought back to us so we caught hold of him and his hosts then we cast them into the sea and see how was the end of the unjust and we made them imams who called to the fire and on the day of resurrection they shall not be assisted and we caused a curse to follow them in this world and on the day of resurrection they shall be of those made to appear hideous and certainly we gave musa the book after we had destroyed the former generations clear arguments for men and a guidance and a mercy that they may be mindful and you were not on the western side when we revealed to musa the commandment and you were not among the witnesses but we raised up generations then life became prolonged to them and you were not dwelling among the people of madian reciting to them our communications but we were the senders and you were not on this side of the mountain when we called but a mercy from your lord that you may warn a people to whom no warner came before you that they may be mindful and were it not that there should befall them a disaster for what their hands have sent before then they should say our lord why didst thou not send to us a messenger so that we should have followed thy communications and been of the believers but now when the truth has come to them from us they say why is he not given the like of what was given to musa what did they not disbelieve in what musa was given before they say two magicians backing up each other and they say surely we are unbelievers in all say then bring some other book from allah which is a better guide than both of them that i may follow it if you are truthful but if they do not answer you then know that they only follow their low desires 
and who is more erring than he who follows his low desires without any guidance from Allah? Surely Allah does not guide the unjust people. And certainly we have made the word to reach them so that they may be mindful. As to those whom we gave the book before it, they are believers in it. And when it is recited to them, they say, We believe in it. Surely it is the truth from our Lord. Surely we were submitters before this. These shall be granted their reward twice, because they are steadfast and they repel evil with good, and spend out of what we have given them. And when they hear idle talk, they turn aside from it and say, We shall have our deeds and you shall have your deeds. Peace be on you. We do not desire the ignorant. Surely you cannot guide whom you love, but Allah guides whom he pleases, and he knows best the followers of the right way. And they say, If we follow the guidance with you, we shall be carried off from our country. What? Have we not settled them in a safe, sacred territory to which fruits of every kind shall be drawn? A sustenance from us, but most of them do not know. And how many a town have we destroyed, which exalted in its means of subsistence? So these are their abodes. They have not been dwelt in after them except a little, and we are the inheritors. And your Lord never destroyed the towns until he raised in their metropolis a messenger, reciting to them our communications. And we never destroyed the towns except when their people were unjust. And whatever things you have been given are only a provision of this world's life and its adornment, and whatever is with Allah is better and more lasting. Do you not then understand? Is he to whom we have promised a goodly promise, which he shall meet with like him whom we have provided with the provisions of this world's life? Then on the day of resurrection he shall be of those who are brought up. And on the day when he will call them and say, Where are those whom you deemed to be my associates? Those against whom the sentence has become confirmed will say, Our Lord, these are they whom we caused to err. We caused them to err as we ourselves did err. To thee we declare ourselves to be clear of them. They never served us. And it will be said, Call your associate gods. So they will call upon them, but they will not answer them. And they shall see the punishment. With that they had followed the right way, and on the day when he shall call them and say, What was the answer you gave to the messengers? Then the pleas shall become obscure to them on that day, so they shall not ask each other. But as to him who repents and believes and does good, maybe he will be among the successful. And your Lord creates and chooses whom he pleases, to choose is not theirs. Glory be to Allah, and exalted be he above what they associate with him. And your Lord knows what their breasts conceal and what they manifest. And he is Allah. There is no God but he. All praise is due to him in this life and the hereafter. And his is the judgment and to him you shall be brought back. Say, 
tell me if allah were to make the night to continue incessantly on you till the day of resurrection who is the god besides allah that could bring you light do you not then hear say tell me if allah were to make the day to continue incessantly on you till the day of resurrection who is the god besides allah that could bring you the night in which you take rest do you not then see and out of his mercy he has made for you the night and the day that you may rest therein and that you may seek of his grace and that you may give thanks and on the day when he shall call them and say where are those whom you deem to be my associates and we will draw forth from among every nation a witness and say bring your proof then shall they know that the truth is allah's and that which they forged shall depart from them surely karun was of the people of musa but he rebelled against them and we had given him of the treasures so much so that his hordes of wealth would certainly weigh down a company of men possessed of great strength when his people said to him do not exult surely allah does not love the exultant and seek by means of what allah has given you the future abode and do not neglect your portion of this world and do good to others as allah has done good to you and do not seek to make mischief in the land surely allah does not love the mischief makers he said i have been given this only on account of the knowledge i have did he not know that allah had destroyed before him of the generations those who were mightier in strength than he and greater in assemblage and the guilty shall not be asked about their faults so he went forth to his people in his finery those who desired this world's life said oh would that we had the like of what karun is given most surely he is possessed of mighty good fortune and those who were given the knowledge said woe to you allah's reward is better for him who believes and does good and none is made to receive this except the patient thus we made the earth to swallow up him and his abode so he had no body of helpers to assist him against allah nor was he of those who can defend themselves and those who yearned for his place only the day before began to say ah know that allah amplifies and straightens the means of subsistence for whom he pleases of his servants had not allah been gracious to us he would most surely have abased us ah know that the ungrateful are never successful as for that future abode we assign it to those who have no desire to exalt themselves in the earth nor to make mischief and the good end is for those who guard against evil whoever brings good he shall have better than it and whoever brings evil those who do evil shall not be rewarded for aught except what they did most surely he who has made the quran biding on you will bring you back to the destination say my lord knows best him who has brought the guidance and him who is in manifest error and you did not expect that the book would be inspired to you but it is a mercy from your lord therefore be not a backer up of the unbelievers 
and let them not turn you aside from the communications of Allah after they have been revealed to you and call men to your Lord and be not of the polytheists and call not with Allah any other God there is no God but he everything is perishable but he his is the judgment and to him you shall be brought back end of sura 28、29 of the holy quran translated by muhammad habib shaker this librivox recording is in the public domain sura 29 the spider Al-Ankabut, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Alif, Lam, Mim. Do men think that they will be left alone on saying, We believe and not be tried? And certainly we tried those before them. So Allah will certainly know those who are true, and he will certainly know the liars. Or do they who work evil think that they will escape us? Evil is it that they judge. Whoever hopes to meet Allah, the term appointed by Allah, will then most surely come, and he is the hearing, the knowing. And whoever strives hard, he strives only for his own soul. Most surely Allah is self-sufficient, above need of the worlds. And as for those who believe and do good, we will most certainly do away with their evil deeds. And we will most certainly reward them the best of what they did. And we have enjoined on man goodness to his parents. And if they contend with you, that you should associate others with me, of which you have no knowledge, do not obey them. To me is your return. So I will inform you of what you did. And as for those who believe and do good, we will most surely cause them to enter among the good. And among men is he who says, We believe in Allah. But when he is persecuted in the way of Allah, he thinks the persecution of men to be as the chastisement of Allah. And if there come assistance from your Lord, they would most certainly say, Surely we were with you. What? Is not Allah the best knower of what is in the breasts of mankind? And most certainly Allah will know those who believe, and most certainly he will know the hypocrites and those who disbelieve say to those who believe follow our path and we will bear your wrongs and never shall they be the bearers of any of their wrongs most surely they are liars and most certainly they shall carry their own burdens and other burdens with their own burdens and most certainly they shall be questioned on the resurrection day as to what they forged. And certainly we sent Nuh to his people, so he remained among them a thousand years, save fifty years. And the deluge overtook them while they were unjust. So we delivered him and the inmates of the ark and made it a sign to the nations. And we sent Ibrahim when he said to his people, Serve Allah and be careful of your duty to him. 
This is best for you. If you did but know, you only worship idols besides Allah, and you create a lie, surely they whom you serve besides Allah do not control for you any sustenance. Therefore, seek the sustenance from Allah and serve him and be grateful to him. To him you shall be brought back. And if you reject the truth, nations before you did indeed reject the truth, and nothing is incumbent on the messenger but a plain delivering of the message. What do they not consider how Allah originates the creation, then reproduces it? Surely that is easy to Allah. Say, travel in the earth and see how he makes the first creation. Then Allah creates the latter creation. Surely Allah has power over all things. He punishes whom he pleases and has mercy on whom he pleases. And to him you shall be turned back. And you shall not escape in the earth nor in the heaven, and you have neither a protector nor a helper besides Allah. And as to those who disbelieve in the communications of Allah and his meeting, they have despaired of my mercy, and these it is that shall have a painful punishment. So note was the answer of his people, except that they said, Slay him or burn him. Then Allah delivered him from the fire. Most surely there are signs in this for a people who believe. And he said, You have only taken for yourselves idols besides Allah by way of friendship between you in this world's life. Then on the resurrection day, some of you shall deny others, and some of you shall curse others, and your abode is the fire, and you shall not have any helpers. And Lut believed in him, and he said, I am fleeing to my Lord. Surely he is the mighty, the wise. And we granted him Ishaq and Yaqub, and caused the prophethood and the book to remain in his seed. And we gave him his reward in this world and in the hereafter. He will most surely be among the good. And we sent Lot when he said to his people, Most surely you are guilty of an indecency which none of the nations has ever done before you. What? Do you come to the males and commit robbery on the highway and you commit evil deeds in your assemblies? But nothing was the answer of his people except that they said, Bring on us Allah's punishment if you are one of the truthful. He said, My Lord, help me against the mischievous people. And when our messengers came to Ibrahim with the good news, they said, Surely we are going to destroy the people of this town, for its people are unjust. He said, Surely in it is loot. They said, We know well who is in it. We shall certainly deliver him and his followers, except his wife. She shall be of those who remain behind. And when our messengers came to Lut, he was grieved on account of them, and he felt powerless to protect them. And they said, Fear not, nor grieve, Surely we will deliver you and your followers except your wife, 
she shall be of those who remain behind surely we will cause to come down upon the people of this town a punishment from heaven because they transgressed and certainly we have left a clear sign of it for a people who understand and to madian we sent their brother shuaib so he said o oh my people serve allah and fear the latter day and do not act corruptly in the land making mischief but they rejected him so a severe earthquake overtook them and they became motionless bodies in their abode and we destroyed ad and samud and from their dwellings this is apparent to you indeed and the shaitan made their deeds fair seeming to them so he kept them back from the path though they were endowed with intelligence and skill and we destroyed karun and pharaoh and haman and certainly musa came to them with clear arguments but they behaved haughtily in the land yet they could not outstrip us so each we punished for his sin of them was he on whom we sent down a violent storm and of them was he whom the rumbling overtook and of them was he whom we made to be swallowed up by the earth and of them was he whom we drowned and it did not beseem allah that he should be unjust to them but they were unjust to their own souls the parable of those who take guardians besides allah is as the parable of the spider that makes for itself a house and most surely the frailest of the houses is the spider's house did they but know surely allah knows whatever thing they call upon besides him and he is the mighty the wise and as for these examples we set them forth for men and none understand them but the learned allah created the heavens and the earth with truth most surely there is a sign in this for the believers recite that which has been revealed to you of the book and keep up prayer surely prayer keeps one away from indecency and evil and certainly the remembrance of allah is the greatest and allah knows what you do and do not dispute with the followers of the book except by what is best except those of them who act unjustly and say we believe in that which has been revealed to us and revealed to you and our allah and your allah is one and to him do we submit and thus have we revealed the book to you so those whom we have given the book believe in it and of these there are those who believe in it and none deny our communications except the unbelievers and you did not recite before it any book nor did you transcribe one with your right hand for then could those who say untrue things have doubted nay these are clear communications in the breasts of those who are granted knowledge and none deny our communications except the unjust and they say why are not signs sent down upon him from his lord say the signs are only with allah and i am only a plain warner is it not enough for them that we have revealed to you the book 
which is recited to them, most surely there is mercy in this and a reminder for a people who believe. Say Allah is sufficient as a witness between me and you. He knows what is in the heavens and the earth. And as for those who believe in the falsehood and disbelieve in Allah, these it is that are the losers. And they ask you to hasten on the chastisement and had not a term been appointed. The chastisement would certainly have come to them and most certainly it will come to them all of a sudden while they will not perceive. They ask you to hasten on the chastisement and most surely hell encompasses the unbelievers. On the day when the chastisement shall cover them from above them and from beneath their feet, and he shall say, Taste what you did. O my servants who believe, surely my earth is vast, therefore me alone should you serve. Every soul must taste of death, then to us you shall be brought back. And as for those who believe and do good, we will certainly give them abode in the high places, in gardens beneath which rivers flow, abiding therein. How good the reward of the workers! Those who are patient and on their Lord do they rely, and how many a living creature that does not carry its sustenance Allah sustains it and yourselves, and he is the hearing, the knowing. And if you ask them who created the heavens and the earth and made the sun and the moon subservient, they will certainly say, Allah, whence are they then turned away? Allah makes abundant the means of subsistence for whom he pleases of his servants and straightens them for whom he pleases. Surely Allah is cognizant of all things. And if you ask them who is it that sends down water from the clouds, then gives life to the earth with it after its death, they will certainly say Allah. Say all praise is due to Allah. Nay, most of them do not understand. And this life of the world is nothing but a sport and a play. And as for the next abode, that most surely is the life. Did they but know? So when they ride in the ships, they call upon Allah, being sincerely obedient to him. But when he brings them safe to the land, lo, they associate others with him. Thus they become ungrateful for what we have given them, so that they may enjoy, but they shall soon know. Do they not see that we have made a sacred territory secure, while men are carried off by force from around them? Will they still believe in the falsehood and disbelieve in the favor of Allah? And who is more unjust than one who forges a lie against Allah, or gives the lie to the truth when it has come to him? Will not in hell be the abode of the unbelievers? And as for those who strive hard for us, we will most certainly guide them in our ways, and Allah is most surely with the doers of good. End of Surah 29。Surah 30 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 30, the Romans, a room, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Aleph, 
Lemim. The Romans are vanquished in a near land, and they, after being vanquished, shall overcome. Within a few years, Allah's is the command before and after, and on that day the believers shall rejoice. With the help of Allah, he helps whom he pleases, and he is the mighty, the merciful. This is Allah's promise. Allah will not fail his promise, but most people do not know. They know the outward of this world's life, but of the hereafter they are absolutely heedless. Do they not reflect within themselves? Allah did not create the heavens and the earth and what is between them too, but with truth and for an appointed term. And most surely, most of the people are deniers of the meeting of their Lord. Have they not traveled in the earth and seen how was the end of those before them? They were stronger than these in prowess and dug up the earth and built on it in greater abundance than these have built on it. And there came to them their messengers with clear arguments, so it was not beseeming for Allah that he should deal with them unjustly, but they dealt unjustly with their own souls. Then evil was the end of those who did evil, because they rejected the communications of Allah and used to mock them. Allah originates the creation, then reproduces it, then to him you shall be brought back. And at the time when the hour shall come, the guilty shall be in despair, and they shall not have any intercessors from among their gods. They have joined with Allah, and they shall be deniers of their associate gods. And at the time when the hour shall come, at that time they shall become separated one from the other. Then as to those who believed and did good, they shall be made happy in a garden. And as to those who disbelieved and rejected our communications and the meeting of the hereafter, these shall be brought over to the chastisement. Therefore, glory be to Allah, when you enter upon the time of the evening and when you enter upon the time of the morning. And to him belongs praise in the heavens and the earth, and at nightfall and when you are at midday. He brings forth the living from the dead and brings forth the dead from the living and gives life to the earth after its death, and thus shall you be brought forth. And one of his signs is that he created you from dust. Then lo, you are mortals who scatter. And one of his signs is that he created mates for you from yourselves, that you may find rest in them. And he put between you love and compassion. Most surely there are signs in this for a people who reflect. And one of his signs is the creation of the heavens and the earth and the diversity of your tongues and colors. Most surely there are signs in this for the learned. And one of his signs is your sleeping and your seeking of his grace by night and by day. Most surely there are signs in this for a people who would hear. And one of his signs is that he shows you the lightning for fear and for hope and sends down water from the clouds 
then gives life therewith to the earth after its death most surely there are signs in this for a people who understand and one of his signs is that the heaven and the earth subsist by his command then when he calls you with a single call from out of the earth lo you come forth and his is whoever is in the heavens and the earth all are obedient to him and he it is who originates the creation then reproduces it and it is easy to him and his are the most exalted attributes in the heavens and the earth and he is the mighty the wise he sets forth to you a parable relating to yourselves have you among those whom your right hands possess partners in what we have given you for sustenance so that with respect to it you are alike you fear them as you fear each other thus do we make the communications distinct for a people who understand nay those who are unjust follow their low desires without any knowledge so who can guide him whom allah makes err and they shall have no helpers then set your face upright for religion in the right state the nature made by allah in which he has made men there is no altering of allah's creation that is the right religion but most people do not know turning to him and be careful of your duty to him and keep up prayer and be not of the polytheists of those who divided their religion and became sects every sect rejoicing in what they had with them and when harm afflicts men they call upon their lord turning to him then when he makes them taste of mercy from him lo some of them begin to associate others with their lord so as to be ungrateful for what we have given them but enjoy yourselves for a while for you shall soon come to know or have we sent down upon them an authority so that it speaks of that which they associate with him and when we make people taste of mercy they rejoice in it and if an evil befall them for what their hands have already wrought lo they are in despair do they not see that allah makes ample provision for whom he pleases or straightens most surely there are signs in this for a people who believe then give to the near of kin his due and to the needy and the wayfarer this is best for those who desire allah's pleasure and these it is who are successful and whatever you lay out as usury so that it may increase in the property of men it shall not increase with allah and whatever you give in charity desiring allah's pleasure it is these persons that shall get manifold allah is he who created you then gave you sustenance then he causes you to die then brings you to life is there any of your associate gods who does aught of it glory be to him and exalted be he above what they associate with him corruption has appeared in the land and the sea on account of what the hands of men have wrought 
that he may make them taste a part of that which they have done, so that they may return. Say, travel in the land, then see how was the end of those before. Most of them were polytheists. Then turn thy face straight to the right religion, before there come from Allah the day which cannot be averted. On that day they shall become separated. Whoever disbelieves, he shall be responsible for his disbelief, and whoever does good, they prepare good for their own souls, that he may reward those who believe and do good out of his grace. Surely he does not love the unbelievers. And one of his signs is that he sends forth the winds bearing good news and that he may make your taste of his mercy and that the ships may run by his command and that you may seek of his grace and that you may be grateful. And certainly we sent before you messengers to their people, so they came to them with clear arguments. Then we gave the punishment to those who were guilty, and helping the believers is ever incumbent on us. Allah is he who sends forth the winds so they raise a cloud, then he spreads it forth in the sky as he pleases and he breaks it up so that you see the rain coming forth from inside it then when he causes it to fall upon whom he pleases of his servants lo they are joyful though they were before this before it was sent down upon them confounded in sure despair. Look then at the signs of Allah's mercy, how he gives life to the earth after its death. Most surely he will raise the dead to life, and he has power over all things. And if we send a wind and they see it to be yellow, they would after that certainly continue to disbelieve. For surely you cannot make the dead to hear, and you cannot make the deaf to hear the call when they turn back and flee. Nor can you lead away the blind out of their error. You cannot make to hear any but those who believe in our communications, so they shall submit. Allah is he who created you from a state of weakness, then he gave strength after weakness, then ordained weakness and hoary hair after strength. He creates what he pleases, and he is the knowing, the powerful. And at that time, when the hour shall come, the guilty shall swear that they did not tarry but an hour, Thus are they ever turned away, and those who are given knowledge and faith will say, Certainly you tarried according to the ordinance of Allah till the day of resurrection. So this is the day of resurrection, but you did not know. But on that day their excuse shall not profit those who were unjust, nor shall they be regarded with good will. And certainly we have set forth for men every kind of example in this Quran. And if you should bring them a communication, those who disbelieve would certainly say, you are not but false claimants. Thus does Allah set a seal on the hearts of those who do not know. Therefore be patient, 
Surely the promise of Allah is true. And let not those who have no certainty hold you in light estimation. End of Surah 30 Surah 31 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 31 Luqman, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Alif, Lam, Mim. These are verses of the Book of Wisdom. A guidance and a mercy for the doers of goodness. Those who keep a prayer and pay the poor rate and they are certain of the hereafter. These are on a guidance from their Lord, and these are they who are successful. And of men is he who takes instead frivolous discourse to lead astray from Allah's path without knowledge, and to take it for a mockery. These shall have an abasing chastisement. And when our communications are recited to him, he turns back proudly, as if he had not heard them, as though in his ears were a heaviness. Therefore, announce to him a painful chastisement. As for those who believe and do good, they shall surely have gardens of bliss, abiding in them the promise of Allah a true promise, and he is the mighty, the wise. He created the heavens without pillars, as you see them, and put mountains upon the earth, lest it might convulse with you. And he spread in it animals of every kind, and we sent down water from the cloud, then caused to grow therein vegetation of every noble kind. This is Allah's creation, but show me what those besides him have created. Nay, the unjust are in manifest error, and certainly we gave wisdom to Luqman, saying, Be grateful to Allah, and whoever is grateful, he is only grateful for his own soul, and whoever is ungrateful, then surely Allah is self-sufficient, praised. And when Luqman said to his son, while he admonished him, O my son, do not associate oath with Allah. Most surely polytheism is a grievous iniquity. And we have enjoined man in respect of his parents. His mother bears him with faintings upon faintings, and his weaning takes two years, saying, Be grateful to me and to both your parents. To me is the eventual coming, and if they contend with you that you should associate with me, what you have no knowledge of, do not obey them, and keep company with them in this world kindly, and follow the way of him who turns to me, then to me is your return. Then will I inform you of what you did. O my son, surely if it is the very weight of the grain of a mustard seed, even though it is in the heart of rock, or high above in the heaven, or deep down in the earth, Allah will bring it to light. Surely Allah is knower of subtleties aware. O my son, keep up prayer and enjoin the good and forbid the evil, and bear patiently that which befalls you. Surely these acts require courage. And do not turn your face away from people in contempt, nor go about in the land exulting over much. Surely Allah does not love any self-conceited boaster. 
and pursue the right course in your going about and lower your voice. Surely the most hateful of voices is braying of the asses. Do you not see that Allah has made what is in the heavens and what is in the earth subservient to you and made complete to you his favors outwardly and inwardly? And among men is he who disputes in respect of Allah, though having no knowledge, nor guidance, nor a book giving light. And when it is said to them, follow what Allah has revealed, they say, nay, we follow that on which we found our fathers. What? Though the shaitan calls them to the chastisement of the burning fire. And whoever submits himself wholly to Allah, and he is the doer of good to others, he indeed has taken hold of the firmest thing, upon which one can lay hold, and Allah's is the end of affairs. And whoever disbelieves, let not his disbelief grieve you. To us is their return then will we inform them of what they did surely allah is the knower of what is in the breasts we give them to enjoy a little then will we drive them to a severe chastisement and if you ask them who created the heavens and the earth they will certainly say allah say all praise is due to allah nay most of them do not know what is in the heavens and the earth is Allah's. Surely Allah is the self-sufficient, the praise. And where every tree that is in the earth made into pens and the sea to supply it with ink, with seven more seas to increase it, the words of Allah would not come to an end. Surely Allah is mighty, wise. Neither your creation nor your raising is anything but as a single soul. Surely Allah is hearing, seeing. Do you not see that Allah makes the night to enter into the day, and he makes the day to enter into the night, and he has made the sun and the moon subservient to you, each pursues its course till an appointed time, and that Allah is aware of what you do. This is because Allah is the truth, and that which they call upon besides him is the falsehood, and that Allah is the high, the great. Do you not see that the ships run on in the sea by Allah's favor, that he may show you of his signs? Most surely there are signs in this for every patient endurer, grateful one. And when a wave like mountains covers them, they call upon Allah, being sincere to him in obedience. But when he brings them safe to the land, some of them follow the middle course, and none denies our signs but every perfidious ungrateful one. O people, guard against the punishment of your Lord, and dread the day when a father shall not make any satisfaction for his son, nor shall the child be the maker of any satisfaction for his father. Surely the promise of Allah is true. Therefore let not this world's life deceive you, nor let the arch deceiver deceive you in respect of Allah. Surely Allah is he with whom is the knowledge of the hour, and he sends down the rain, and he knows what is in the wombs, and no one knows what he shall earn on the morrow, and no one knows in what land he shall die. Surely Allah is knowing, aware. End of Surah 31Surah 32 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. 
Sura 32, the worship, the sagda, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Alif, Lam, Mim, the revelation of the book, there is no doubt in it, is from the Lord of the worlds. Or do they say he has forged it? Nay, it is the truth from your Lord that you may warn a people to whom no warner has come before you, that they may follow the right direction. Allah is he who created the heavens and the earth, and what is between them in six periods, and he mounted the throne of authority. You have not besides him any guardian or any intercessor. Will you not then mind? He regulates the affair from the heaven to the earth. Then shall it ascend to him in a day, the measure of which is a thousand years of what you count. This is the knower of the unseen and the seen, the mighty, the merciful, who made good everything that he has created, and he began the creation of man from dust. Then he made his progeny of an extract of water, held in light estimation. Then he made him complete and breathed into him of his spirit, and made for you the ears and the eyes and the hearts. Little is it that you give thanks. And they say, what? When we have become lost in the earth, Shall we then certainly be in a new creation? Nay, they are disbelievers in the meeting of their Lord. Say, the angel of death who is given charge of you shall cause you to die. Then to your Lord you shall be brought back. And could you but see when the guilty shall hang down their heads before their Lord? Our Lord, we have seen and we have heard, therefore send us back, we will do good, surely now we are certain. And if we had pleased, we would certainly have given to every soul its guidance. But the word which had gone forth from me was just, I will certainly fill hell with the jinn and men together. So taste, because you neglected the meeting of this day of yours. Surely we forsake you, and taste the abiding chastisement for what you did. Only they believe in our communications, who, when they are reminded of them, fall down in prostration and celebrate the praise of their Lord, and they are not proud. Their sides draw away from their beds. They call upon their Lord in fear and in hope, and they spend benevolently out of what we have given them. So no soul knows what is hidden for them. Of that which will refresh the eyes, a reward for what they did. Is he then who is a believer like him, who is a transgressor, they are not equal. As for those who believe and do good, the gardens are their abiding place, an entertainment for what they did. And as for those who transgress, their abode is the fire. Whenever they desire to go forth from it, they shall be brought back into it, and it will be said to them, Taste the chastisement of the fire which you called a lie. And most certainly we will make them taste of the nearer chastisement before the greater chastisement that haply they may turn. And who is more unjust than he who is reminded of the communications of his Lord than he turns away from them? Surely we will give punishment to the guilty. And certainly we gave the book to Musa, 
so be not in doubt concerning the receiving of it and we made it a guide for the children of israel and we made of them imams to guide by our command when they were patient and they were certain of our communications surely your lord will judge between them on the day of resurrection concerning that wherein they differ does it not point out to them the right way how many of the generations in whose abodes they go about did we destroy before them most surely there are signs in this will they not then hear do they not see that we drive the water to a land having no herbage then we bring forth thereby seed produce of which their cattle and they themselves eat will they not then see and they say when will this judgment take place if you are truthful say on the day of judgment the faith of those who now disbelieve will not profit them nor will they be respited therefore turn away from them and wait surely they too are waiting end of surah 32 surah 33 of the holy quran translated by muhammad habib shakir this librivox recording is in the public domain surah 33 the cleanse al ahzab revealed at medina in the name of allah the most beneficent the most merciful o prophet be careful of your duty to allah and do not comply with the wishes of the unbelievers and the hypocrites surely allah is knowing wise and follow what is revealed to you from your lord surely allah is aware of what you do and rely on allah and allah is sufficient for a protector allah has not made for any man two hearts within him nor has he made your wives whose backs you liken to the backs of your mothers as your mothers nor has he made those whom you assert to be your sons your real sons these are the words of your mouth and allah speaks the truth and he guides to the way assert their relationship to their fathers this is more equitable with allah but if you do not know their fathers then they are your brethren in faith and your friends and there is no blame on you concerning that in which you made a mistake but concerning that which your hearts do purposely blame may rest on you and allah is forgiving merciful the prophet has a greater claim on the faithful than they have on themselves and his wives are as their mothers and the possessors of relationship have the better claim in the ordinance of allah to inheritance one with respect to another than other believers and then those who have fled their homes except that you do some good to your friends this is written in the book and when we made a covenant with the prophets and with you and with Nuh and Ibrahim and Musa and Isa, son of Maryam, and we made with them a strong covenant, that he may question the truthful of their truth, and he has prepared for the unbelievers a painful punishment. O oh, you who believe, call to mind the favor of Allah, 
to you when there came down upon you hosts so we sent against them a strong wind and hosts that you saw not and allah is seeing what you do when they came upon you from above you and from below you and when the eyes turned dull and the hearts rose up to the throats and you began to think diverse thoughts of allah there the believers were tried and they were shaken with severe shaking and when the hypocrites and those in whose hearts was a disease began to say allah and his messenger did not promise us victory but only to deceive and when a party of them said o people of yasrib there is no place to stand for you here therefore go back and a party of them asked permission of the prophet saying surely our houses are exposed and they were not exposed they only desired to fly away and if an entry were made upon them from the outlying parts of it then they were asked to wage war they would certainly have done it and they would not have stayed in it but a little while and certainly they had made a covenant with allah before that they would not turn their backs and allah's covenant shall be inquired of say flight shall not do you any good if you fly from death or slaughter and in that case you will not be allowed to enjoy yourselves but a little say who is it that can withhold you from allah if he intends to do you evil rather he intends to show you mercy and they will not find for themselves besides allah any guardian or a helper allah knows indeed those among you who hinder others and those who say to their brethren come to us and they come not to the fight but a little being niggardly with respect to you but when fear comes you will see them looking to you their eyes rolling like one swooning because of death but when the fear is gone they smite you with sharp tongues being niggardly of the good things these have not believed therefore allah has made their doing not and this is easy to allah they think the allies are not gone and if the allies should come again they would fain be in the deserts with the desert arabs asking for news about you and if they were among you they would not fight save a little certainly you have in the messenger of allah an excellent exemplar for him who hopes in allah and the latter day and remembers allah much and when the believers saw the allies they said this is what allah and his messenger promised us and allah and his messenger spoke the truth and it only increased them in faith and submission of the believers are men who are true to the covenant which they made with allah so of them is he who accomplished his vow and of them is he who yet waits and they have not changed in the least that allah may reward the truthful for their truth and punish the hypocrites if he please or turn to them mercifully surely allah is forgiving merciful and allah turned back the unbelievers in their rage 
they did not obtain any advantage, and Allah sufficed the believers in fighting, and Allah is a strong, mighty. And he drove down those of the followers of the book who backed them from their fortresses, and he cast all into their hearts. Some you killed, and you took captive another part. And he made you heirs to their land and their dwellings, and their property, and to a land which you have not yet trodden. And Allah has power over all things. O Prophet, say to your wives, if you desire this world's life and its adornment, then come, I will give you a provision and allow you to depart a goodly departing. And if you desire Allah and his messenger and the latter abode, then surely Allah has prepared for the doers of good among you a mighty reward. O oh, wives of the Prophet, whoever of you commits an open indecency, the punishment shall be increased to her doubly, and this is easy to Allah. And whoever of you is obedient to Allah and his messenger, and does good, we will give to her her reward doubly, and we have prepared for her an honorable sustenance. O oh, wives of the Prophet, you are not like any other of the women. If you will be on your guard, then be not soft in your speech, lest he in whose heart is a disease yearn and speak a good word, and stay in your houses, and do not display your finery like the displaying of the ignorance of your, and keep up prayer, and pay the poor rate, and obey Allah and his messenger. Allah only desires to keep away the uncleanness from you. O people of the house, and to purify you a thorough purifying. And keep to mind what is recited in your houses of the communications of Allah and the wisdom. Surely Allah is knower of subtleties aware. Surely the men who submit and the women who submit and the believing men and the believing women and the obeying men, and the obeying women, and the truthful men, and the truthful women, and the patient men, and the patient women, and the humble men, and the humble women, and the alms-giving men, and the alms-giving women, and the fasting men, and the fasting women, and the men who guard their private parts, and the women who guard, and the men who remember Allah much, and the women who remember. Allah has prepared for them forgiveness and a mighty reward. And it behooves not a believing man and a believing woman that they should have any choice in their matter when Allah and his messenger have decided a matter. And whoever disobeys Allah and his messenger, he surely strays off a manifest straying. And when you said to him, to whom Allah had shown favor, and to whom you had shown a favor, keep your wife to yourself, and be careful of your duty to Allah. And you concealed in your soul what Allah would bring to light. And you feared men, and Allah had a greater right that you should fear him. But when Zaid had accomplished his want of her, we gave her to you as a wife, so that there should be no difficulty for the believers in respect of the wives of their adopted sons. 
when they have accomplished their want of them and Allah's command shall be performed. There is no harm in the Prophet doing that which Allah has ordained for him. Such has been the course of Allah with respect to those who have gone before, and the command of Allah is a decree that is made absolute. Those who deliver the messages of Allah and fear him and do not fear anyone but Allah, and Allah is sufficient to take account. Muhammad is not the father of any of your men, but he is the messenger of Allah and the last of the prophets, and Allah is cognizant of all things. O you who believe, remember Allah, remembering frequently, and glorify him morning and evening. He it is who sends his blessings on you, and so do his angels, that he may bring you forth out of utter darkness into the light, and he is merciful to the believers. Their salutation on the day that they meet him shall be peace, and he has prepared for them an honorable reward. O Prophet, Surely we have sent you as a witness and as a bearer of good news and as a warner and as one inviting to Allah by his permission and as a light giving torch and give to the believers the good news that they shall have a great grace from Allah and be not compliant to the unbelievers and the hypocrites, and leave unregarded their annoying talk, and rely on Allah, and Allah is sufficient as a protector. O oh, you who believe, when you marry the believing women, then divorce them before you touch them. You have in their case no term which you should reckon. So make some provision for them and send them forth a goodly sending forth. O Prophet, surely we have made lawful to you your wives whom you have given their dowries and those whom your right hand possesses out of those whom Allah has given to you as prisoners of war and the daughters of your paternal uncles, and the daughters of your paternal aunts, and the daughters of your maternal uncles, and the daughters of your maternal aunts, who fled with you, and a believing woman, if she gave herself to the Prophet, if the Prophet desired to marry her, especially for you, not for the rest of believers. We know what we have ordained for them concerning their wives and those whom their right hands possess in order that no blame may attach to you. And Allah is forgiving, merciful. You may put off whom you please of them and you may take to you whom you please and whom you desire of those whom you had separated provisionally. No blame attaches to you. This is most proper so that their eyes may be cool and they may not grieve and that they should be pleased, all of them with what you give them. And Allah knows what is in your hearts and Allah is knowing, forbearing. It is not allowed to you to take women after words, nor that you should change them for other wives, though their beauty be pleasing to you, except what your right hand possesses, and Allah is watchful over all things. O you who believe, 
do not enter the houses of the prophet unless permission is given to you for a meal not waiting for its cooking being finished but when you are invited enter and when you have taken the food then disperse not seeking to listen to talk surely this gives the prophet trouble but he forbears from you and allah does not forbear from the truth and when you ask of them any goods ask of them from behind a curtain this is purer for your hearts and for their hearts and it does not behove you that you should give trouble to the messenger of allah nor that you should marry his wives after him ever surely this is grievous in the sight of allah if you do a thing openly or do it in secret then surely allah is cognizant of all things there is no blame on them in respect of their fathers nor their brothers nor their brothers sons nor their sisters sons nor their own women nor of what their right hands possess and be careful of your duty to allah surely allah is a witness of all things surely allah and his angels bless the prophet o you who believe call for divine blessings on him and salute him with a becoming salutation surely as for those who speak evil things of allah and his messenger allah has cursed them in this world and the hereafter and he has prepared for them a chastisement bringing disgrace and those who speak evil things of the believing men and the believing women without their having earned it they are guilty indeed of a false accusation and a manifest sin o prophet say to your wives and your daughters and the women of the believers that they let down upon them their overgarments this will be more proper that they may be known and thus they will not be given trouble and allah is forgiving merciful if the hypocrites and those in whose hearts is a disease and the agitators in the city do not desist we shall most certainly set you over them then they shall not be your neighbors in it but for a little while cursed wherever they are found they shall be seized and murdered a horrible murdering such has been the course of allah with respect to those who have gone before and you shall not find any change in the course of allah men ask you about the hour say the knowledge of it is only with allah and what will make you comprehend that the hour may be nigh surely allah has cursed the unbelievers and has prepared for them a burning fire to abide therein for a long time they shall not find a protector or a helper on the day when their faces shall be turned back into the fire they shall say oh would that we had obeyed allah and obeyed the messenger and they shall say o oh, our lord surely we obeyed our leaders and our great men so they led us astray from the path o oh, our lord give them a double punishment and curse them with a great curse o oh, you who believe be not like those who spoke evil things of musa but allah cleared him of what they said 
and he was worthy of regard with Allah. O oh, you who believe, be careful of your duty to Allah and speak the right word. He will put your deeds into a right state for you and forgive you your faults. And whoever obeys Allah and his messenger, he indeed achieves a mighty success. Surely we offered the trust to the heavens and the earth and the mountains, but they refused to be unfaithful to it and feared from it and man has turned unfaithful to it. Surely he is unjust, ignorant. So Allah will chastise the hypocritical men and the hypocritical women and the polytheistic men and the polytheistic women, and Allah will turn mercifully to the believing women, and Allah is forgiving, merciful. End of Surah 33。Surah 34 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 34, Saba, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah the most beneficent, the most merciful. All praise is due to Allah, whose is what is in the heavens and what is in the earth, and to him is due all praise in the hereafter, and he is the wise, the aware. He knows that which goes down into the earth and that which comes out of it, and that which comes down from the heaven and that which goes up to it, and he is the merciful, the forgiving. And those who disbelieve say, The hour shall not come upon us. Say, Yea, by my Lord, the knower of the unseen. It shall certainly come upon you, not the weight of an atom becomes absent from him, in the heavens or in the earth and neither less than that nor greater, but all is in a clear book. That he may reward those who believe and do good. This it is for whom is forgiveness and an honorable sustenance. And as for those who strive hard in opposing our communications, these it is for whom is a painful chastisement of an evil kind. And those to whom the knowledge has been given, see that which has been revealed to you from your Lord. That is the truth, and it guides into the path of the mighty, the praised. And those who disbelieve say, Shall we point out to you a man who informs you that when you are scattered, the utmost scattering, you shall then be most surely raised into a new creation. He has forged a lie against Allah, or there is madness in him. Nay, those who do not believe in the hereafter are in torment and in great error. Do they not then consider what is before them and what is behind them of the heaven and the earth? If we please, we will make them disappear in the land or bring down upon them a portion from the heaven. Most surely there is a sign in this for every servant turning to Allah. And certainly... We give to the wood excellence from us. O mountains, sing praises with him. And the birds and we made the iron pliant to him. Saying, make ample coats of mail and assign a time to the making of coats of mail. And do good, surely I am seeing what you do. 
and we made the wind subservient to Suleiman, which made a month journey in the morning and a month journey in the evening. And we made a fountain of molten copper to flow out for him. And of the jinn there were those who worked before him by the command of his Lord. And whoever turned aside from our command from among them, we made him taste of the punishment of burning. They made for him what he pleased of fortresses and images, and bowels large as watering troughs, and cooking pots that will not move from their place. Give thanks, O family of the wood, and very few of my servants are grateful. But when we decreed death for him, not showed them his death, but a creature of the earth that ate away his staff. And when it fell down, the jinn came to know plainly that if they had known the unseen, they would not have tarried in abasing torment. Certainly there was a sign for Saba in their abode, two gardens on the right and the left. Eat of the sustenance of your Lord and give thanks to him, a good land and a forgiving Lord. But they turned aside, so we sent upon them a torrent of which the rush could not be withstood. And in place of their two gardens, we gave to them two gardens, yielding bitter fruit and growing tamarisk and a few luti trees. This we requited them with because they disbelieved, and we do not punish any but the ungrateful. And we made between them and the towns which we had blessed other towns to be easily seen, and we apportioned the journey therein, travel through them nights and days secure. And they said, O our Lord, make spaces to be longer between our journeys, and they were unjust to themselves. So we made them stories and scattered them with an utter scattering. Most surely there are signs in this for every patient, grateful one. And certainly the shaitan found true his conjecture concerning them. So they follow him except a party of the believers, and he has no authority over them, but that we may distinguish him who believes in the hereafter from him who is in doubt concerning it, and your Lord is the preserver of all things. Say, call upon those whom you assert besides Allah, they do not control the weight of an atom in the heavens or in the earth, nor have they any partnership in either, nor has he among them anyone to back him up. And intercession will not avail aught with him, save of him whom he permits, until when fear shall be removed from their hearts, they shall say, What is it that your Lord said? They shall say the truth, and he is the Most High, the Great. Say, who gives you the sustenance from the heavens and the earth, say Allah, and most surely we or you are on a right way or in manifest error. Say, you will not be questioned as to what we are guilty of, nor shall we be questioned as to what you do. Say, our Lord will gather us together, then will he judge between us with the truth, and he is the greatest judge, 
the all-knowing. Say, show me those whom you have joined with him as associates. By no means can you do it. Nay, he is Allah, the mighty, the wise. And we have not sent you but to all the men as a bearer of good news and as a warner, but most men do not know. And they say, when will this promise be fulfilled? If you are truthful, say, you have the appointment of a day from which you cannot hold back any while, nor can you bring it on. And those who disbelieve say, by no means will we believe in this Quran, nor in that which is before it. And could you see when the unjust shall be made to stand before their Lord, bandying words one with another? Those who were reckoned weak shall say to those who were proud, had it not been for you, we would certainly have been believers. Those who were proud shall say to those who were deemed weak, did we turn you away from the guidance after it had come to you? Nay, you yourselves were guilty. And those who were deemed weak shall say to those who were proud, Nay, it was planning by night and day when you told us to disbelieve in Allah and to set up likes with him. And they shall conceal regret when they shall see the punishment, and we will put shackles on the necks of those who disbelieved. They shall not be requited, but what they did. And we never sent a warner to a town, but those who led lives in ease in it, said we are surely disbelievers in what you are sent with. And they say, we have more wealth and children, and we shall not be punished. Say, surely my Lord amplifies the means of subsistence for whom he pleases, and straightens for whom he pleases, but most men do not know. And not your wealth nor your children are the things which bring you near us in a station, but whoever believes and does good, these it is for whom is a double reward for what they do, and they shall be secure in the highest places. And as for those who strive in opposing our communications, they shall be caused to be brought to the chastisement. Say, surely my Lord amplifies the means of subsistence for whom he pleases of his servants and straightens them for whom he pleases. And whatever thing you spend, he exceeds it in reward, and he is the best of sustainers. And on the day when he will gather them all together, then will he say to the angels, Did these worship you? They shall say, Glory be to thee. Thou art our guardian, not they, nay. They worshipped the jinn. Most of them were believers in them. So on that day, one of you shall not control profit or harm for another. And we will say to those who were unjust, taste the chastisement of the fire, which you called a lie. And when our clear communications are recited to them, they say, this is not, but a man who desires to turn you away from that which your fathers worshipped. And they say, this is not, but a lie that is forged, and those who disbelieve say of the truth when it comes to them, 
This is only clear enchantment. And we have not given them any books which they read, nor did we send to them before you a warner. And those before them rejected the truth, and these have not yet attained a tenth of what we gave them, but they gave the lie to my messengers. Then how was the manifestation of my disapproval? Say, I exhort you only to one thing, that rise up for Allah's sake, in twos and singly. Then ponder, there is no madness in your fellow citizen. He is only a warner, to you before a severe chastisement. Say, whatever reward I have asked of you, that is only for yourselves. My reward is only with Allah, and he is a witness of all things. Say, surely my Lord utters the truth, the great knower of the unseen. Say, the truth has come, and the falsehood shall vanish, and shall not come back. Say, if I err, I err only against my own soul, and if I follow a right direction, it is because of what my Lord reveals to me. Surely he is hearing nigh. And could you see when they shall become terrified, but then there shall be no escape, and they shall be seized upon from a near place. And they shall say, We believe in it. And how shall the attaining of faith be possible to them from a distant place? And they disbelieved in it before, and they utter conjectures with regard to the unseen from a distant place. And a barrier shall be placed between them and that which they desire as was done with the likes of them before. Surely they are in a disquieting doubt. End of Surah 34 Surah 35 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 35 The Originator Father Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. All praise is due to Allah, the Originator of the heavens and the earth, the Maker of the angels, messengers flying on wings two and three and four. He increases in creation what he pleases. Surely Allah has power over all things. Whatever Allah grants to men of his mercy, there is none to withhold it, and what he withholds there is none to send it forth. After that, and he is the mighty, the wise. O men, call to mind the favor of Allah on you. Is there any creator besides Allah who gives you sustenance from the heaven and the earth? There is no God but he. Whence are you then turned away? And if they call you a liar, Truly messengers before you were called liars, and to Allah are all affairs returned. O men, surely the promise of Allah is true. Therefore, let not the life of this world deceive you, and let not the arch deceiver deceive you, respecting Allah. Surely the shaitan is your enemy, so take him for an enemy. 
he only invites his party that they may be inmates of the burning fire. As for those who disbelieve, they shall have a severe punishment. And as for those who believe and do good, they shall have forgiveness and a great reward. What is he whose evil deed is made for seeming to him, so much so that he considers it good? Now surely Allah makes err whom he pleases and guides aright whom he pleases. So let not your soul waste away in grief for them. Surely Allah is cognizant of what they do. And Allah is he who sends the winds so they raise a cloud. Then we drive it onto a dead country. And therewith we give life to the earth after its death. Even so is the quickening. Whoever desires honor, then to Allah belongs the honor holy. To him do ascend the good words, and the good deeds lift them up. And as for those who plan evil deeds, they shall have a severe chastisement. And as for their plan, it shall perish. And Allah created you of dust then of the life germ, then he made you pairs, and no female bears, nor does she bring forth except with his knowledge, and no one whose life is lengthened has his life lengthened, nor is aught diminished of one's life. But it is all in a book, surely this is easy to Allah. And the two seas are not alike. The one sweet that subdues thirst by its excessive sweetness, pleasant to drink, and the other salt that burns by its saltness. Yet from each of them you eat fresh flesh and bring forth ornaments which you wear. And you see the ships cleave through it that you may seek of his bounty, and that you may be grateful. He causes the night to enter in upon the day, and he causes the day to enter in upon the night, and he has made subservient to you, the sun and the moon. Each one follows its course to an appointed time. This is Allah, your Lord. His is the kingdom, and those whom you call upon besides him do not control a straw. If you call on them, they shall not hear your call, and even if they could hear, they shall not answer you. And on the resurrection day, they will deny your associating them with Allah, and none can inform you like the one who is aware. O men, you are they who stand in need of Allah, and Allah is he who is the self-sufficient, the praised one. If he please, he will take you off and bring a new generation. And this is not hard to Allah. And a burdened soul cannot bear the burden of another and if one weighed down by burden should cry for another to carry its burden, not aught of it shall be carried even though he be near of kin. You warn only those who fear their Lord in secret and keep up prayer, and whoever purifies himself, he purifies himself only for the good of his own soul, and to Allah is the eventual coming. And the blind and the seeing are not alike, nor the darkness and the light, nor the shade and the heat, neither are the living and the dead alike. Surely Allah makes whom he pleases here, 
and you cannot make those here who are in the graves. You are not but a warner. Surely we have sent you with the truth as the bearer of good news and a warner, and there is not a people, but a warner has gone among them. And if they call you a liar, so did those before them indeed call their messengers liars. Their messengers had come to them with clear arguments and with scriptures and with the illuminating book. Then did I punish those who disbelieved? So how was the manifestation of my disapproval? Do you not see that Allah sends down water from the cloud? Then we bring forth therewith fruits of various colors, and in the mountains are streaks white and red of various hues and others intensely black and of men and beasts and cattle are various pieces of it likewise, those of his servants only who are possessed of knowledge fear Allah. Surely Allah is mighty forgiving. Surely they who recite the book of Allah and keep up prayer and spend out of what we have given them secretly and openly, hope for a gain which will not perish, that he may pay them back fully their rewards and give them more out of his grace. Surely he is forgiving multiplier of rewards. And that which we have revealed to you of the book that is the truth verifying that which is before it. Most surely with respect to his servants, Allah is aware seeing. Then we gave the book for an inheritance to those whom we chose from among our servants. But of them is he who makes his soul to suffer a loss. And of them is he who takes a middle course, and of them is he who is foremost in deeds of goodness by Allah's permission. This is the great excellence. Gardens of perpetuity, they shall enter therein. They shall be made to wear therein bracelets of gold and pearls, and their dress therein shall be silk. And they shall say, All praise is due to Allah, who has made grief to depart from us. Most surely our Lord is forgiving, multiplier of rewards, who has made us a light in a house abiding forever, out of his grace. Toil shall not touch us therein, nor shall fatigue therein afflict us. And as for those who disbelieve, for them is the fire of hell. It shall not be finished with them entirely so that they should die, nor shall the chastisement thereof be lightened to them. Even thus do we retribute every ungrateful one. And they shall cry therein for succor, O our Lord, take us out. We will do good deeds other than those which we used to do. Did we not preserve you alive long enough so that he who would be mindful in it should mind? And there came to you the warner, therefore taste, because for the unjust there is no helper. Surely Allah is the knower of what is unseen in the heavens and the earth. Surely he is cognizant of what is in the hearts. He it is who made you rulers in the land. Therefore whoever disbelieves his unbelief is against himself, 
and their unbelief does not increase the disbelievers with their Lord in anything except hatred, and their unbelief does not increase the disbelievers in anything except loss. Say, have you considered your associates which you call upon besides Allah? Show me what part of the earth they have created, or have they any share in the heavens, or have we given them a book so that they follow a clear argument thereof? Nay, the unjust do not hold out promises one to another, but only to deceive. Surely Allah upholds the heavens and the earth, lest they come to naught, and if they should come to naught, there is none who can uphold them after him. Surely he is the forbearing, the forgiving. And they swore by Allah with the strongest of their oaths that if there came to them a warner, they would be better guided than any of the nations. But when there came to them a warner, it increased them in naught but aversion. In behaving proudly in the land and in planning evil, and the evil plans shall not be set any save the authors of it. Then should they wait for aught except the way of the former people, for you shall not find any alteration in the course of Allah, and you shall not find any change in the course of Allah. Have they not traveled in the land and seen how was the end of those before them, while they were stronger than these in power? And Allah is not such that anything in the heavens or in the earth should escape him. Surely he is knowing, powerful. And were Allah to punish men for what they err, he would not leave on the back of it any creature, but he respites them till an appointed term. So when their doom shall come, then surely Allah is seeing with respect to his servants. End of Surah 35. Surah 36 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 36, Yasin, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, Yasin. I swear by the Quran full of wisdom. Most surely you are one of the messengers on a right way, a revelation of the mighty, the merciful, that you may warn a people whose fathers were not warned, so they are heedless. Certainly the word has proved true of most of them, so they do not believe. Surely we have placed chains on their necks, and these reach up to their chins, so they have their heads raised aloft, and we have made before them a barrier, and a barrier behind them. Then we have covered them over, so that they do not see, and it is alike to them whether you warn them or warn them not, they do not believe. You can only warn him who follows the reminder and fears the beneficent Allah in secret, so announce to him forgiveness and an honorable reward. Surely we give life to the dead, and we write down what they have sent before, and their footprints, and we have recorded everything in a clear writing and set out to them an example of the people of the town 
when the messengers came to it when we sent to them too they rejected both of them then we strengthened them with a third so they said surely we are messengers to you they said you are not but mortals like ourselves nor has the beneficent allah revealed anything you only lie they said our lord knows that we are most surely messengers to you and nothing devolves on us but a clear deliverance of the message they said surely we augur evil from you if you do not desist we will certainly stone you and there shall be certainly afflict you a painful chastisement from us they said your evil fortune is with you what if you are reminded nay you are an extravagant people and from the remote part of the city there came a man running he said o oh, my people follow the messengers follow him who does not ask you for reward and they are the followers of the right course and what reason have i that i should not serve him who brought me into existence and to him you shall be brought back what shall i take besides him gods whose intercession if the beneficent allah should desire to afflict me with a harm shall not avail me aught nor shall they be able to deliver me in that case i shall most surely be in clear error surely i believe in your lord therefore hear me it was said enter the garden he said oh would that my people had known of that on account of which my lord has forgiven me and made me of the honored ones and we did not send down upon his people after him any hosts from heaven nor do we ever send down it was naught but a single cry and lo they were still alas for the servants there comes not to them a messenger but they mock at him do they not consider how many of the generations have we destroyed before them because they do not turn to them and all of them shall surely be brought before us and assigned to them is the dead earth we give life to it and bring forth from it grain so they eat of it and we make therein gardens of palms and grape vines and we make springs to flow forth in it that they may eat of the fruit thereof and their hands did not make it will they not then be grateful glory be to him who created pairs of all things of what the earth grows and of their kind and of what they do not know and assigned to them is the night we draw forth from it the day then lo they are in the dark and the sun runs on to a term appointed for it that is the ordinance of the mighty the knowing and as for the moon we have ordained for it stages till it becomes again as an old dry palm branch neither is it allowable to the sun that it should overtake the moon nor can the night outstrip the day and all float on in a sphere and a sign to them is that we bear their offspring in the laden ship and we have created for them the like of it what they will ride on and if we please we can drown them then there shall be no succorer for them nor shall they be rescued but by mercy from us and for enjoyment till a time and when it is said to them guard against what is before you and what is behind you that mercy may be had on you 
and there comes not to them a communication of the communications of their lord but they turn aside from it and when it is said to them spend out of what allah has given you those who disbelieve say to those who believe shall we feed him whom if allah please he could feed you are in note but clear error and they say when will this threat come to pass if you are truthful they wait not for aught but a single cry which will overtake them while they yet contend with one another so they shall not be able to make a bequest nor shall they return to their families and the trumpet shall be blown when lo from their graves they shall hasten on to their lord they shall say o oh, woe to us who has raised us up from our sleeping place this is what the beneficent allah promised and the messengers told the truth there would be naught but a single cry when lo they shall all be brought before us so this day no soul shall be dealt with unjustly in the least and you shall not be rewarded aught but that which you did surely the dwellers of the garden shall on that day be in an occupation quite happy they and their wives shall be in shades reclining on raised couches they shall have fruits therein and they shall have whatever they desire peace a word from a merciful lord and get aside today o guilty ones did i not charge you o children of adam that you should not serve the shaitan surely he is your open enemy and that you should serve me this is the right way and certainly he led astray numerous people from among you what could you not then understand this is the hell with which you were threatened enter into it this day because you disbelieved on that day we will set a seal upon their mouth and their hands shall speak to us and their feet shall bear witness of what they earned and if we please we would certainly put out their eyes then they would run about groping for the way but how should they see and if we please we would surely transform them in their place then they would not be able to go on nor will they return and whomsoever we cause to live long we reduce him to an abject state in constitution do they not then understand and we have not taught him poetry nor is it meet for him it is nothing but a reminder and a plain quran that it may warn him who would have life and that the word may prove true against the unbelievers do they not see that we have created cattle for them out of what our hands have wrought so they are their masters and we have subjected them to them so some of them they have to ride upon and some of them they eat and therein they have advantages and drinks will they not then be grateful and they have taken gods besides allah that they may be helped but they shall not be able to assist them and they shall be a host brought up before them therefore let not their speech grieve you surely we know what they do in secret and what they do openly does not man see that we have created him from the small seed then lo he is an open disputant and he strikes out a likeness for us 
and forgets his own creation says he who will give life to the bones when they are rotten say he will give life to them who brought them into existence at first and he is cognizant of all creation he who has made for you the fire to burn from the green tree so that with it you kindle fire is not he who created the heavens and the earth able to create the like of them yea and he is the creator of all the knower his command when he intends anything is only to say to it be so it is therefore glory be to him in whose hand is the kingdom of all things and to him you shall be brought back end of surah 36、Surah 37 Revealed at Mecca, in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I swear by those who draw themselves out in ranks, then those who drive away with reproof, then those who recite being mindful, most surely your Allah is one. the lord of the heavens and the earth and what is between them and lord of the east surely we have adorned the nearest heaven with an adornment the stars and there is a safeguard against every rebellious shaitan they cannot listen to the exalted assembly and they are thrown at from every side being driven off and for them is a perpetual chastisement except him who snatches off but once then there follows him a brightly shining flame then ask them whether they are stronger in creation or those others whom we have created surely we created them of firm clay nay you wonder while they mock and when they are reminded they mind not and when they see a sign they incite one another to scoff and they say this is nothing but clear magic what when we are dead and have become dust and bones shall we then certainly be raised or our fathers of your say i and you shall be abject so it shall only be a single cry when lo they shall see and they shall say o、oh, woe to us this is the day of requital this is the day of the judgment which you called a lie gather together those who were unjust and their associates and what they used to worship besides allah then lead them to the way to hell and stop them for they shall be questioned what is the matter with you that you do not help each other nay on that day they shall be submissive and some of them shall advance towards others questioning each other they shall say surely you used to come to us from the right side they shall say nay you yourselves were not believers and we had no authority over you but you were an inordinate people so the sentence of our lord has come to pass against us now we shall surely taste so we led you astray for we ourselves were erring 
so they shall on that day be sharers in the chastisement one with another surely thus do we deal with the guilty surely they used to behave proudly when it was said to them there is no god but allah and to say what shall we indeed give up our gods for the sake of a mad poet nay he has come with the truth and verified the messengers most surely you will taste the painful punishment and you shall not be rewarded except for what you did save the servants of allah the purified ones for them is a known sustenance fruits and they shall be highly honored in gardens of pleasure on thrones facing each other a bowl shall be made to go round them from water running out of springs white delicious to those who drink there shall be no trouble in it nor shall they be exhausted therewith and with them shall be those who restrain the eyes having beautiful eyes as if they were eggs carefully protected then shall some of them advance to others questioning each other a speaker from among them shall say surely i had a comrade of mine who said what are you indeed of those who accept the truth what when we are dead and have become dust and bones shall we then be certainly brought to judgment he shall say will you look on then he looked down and saw him in the midst of hell he shall say by allah you had almost caused me to perish and had it not been for the favor of my lord i would certainly have been among those brought up is it then that we are not going to die except our previous death and we shall not be chastised most surely this is the mighty achievement for the like of this then let the workers work is this better as an entertainment or the tree of zakum surely we have made it to be a trial to the unjust surely it is a tree that grows in the bottom of the hell its produce is as it were the heads of the serpents then most surely they shall eat of it and fill their bellies with it then most surely they shall have after it to drink of a mixture prepared in boiling water then most surely their return shall be to hell surely they found their fathers going astray so in their footsteps they are being hastened on and certainly most of the ancients went astray before them and certainly we sent among them warners then see how was the end of those warned except the servants of allah the purified ones and nuh did certainly call upon us and most excellent answer of prayer are we and we delivered him and his followers from the mighty distress and we made his offspring the survivors and we perpetuated to him praise among the later generations peace and salutation to nuh among the nations thus do we surely reward the doers of good surely he was of our believing servants then we drowned the others and most surely ibrahim followed his way when he came to his lord with a free heart when he said to his father and his people what is it that you worship a lie 
gods besides Allah do you desire? What is then your idea about the Lord of the worlds? Then he looked at the stars looking up once. Then he said, surely I am sick of your worshipping these. So they went away from him turning back. Then he turned aside to their gods secretly and said, What? Do you not eat? What is the matter with you that you do not speak? Then he turned against them secretly, smiting them with the right hand. So the people advanced towards him, hastening. Said he, What? Do you worship what you hew out? And Allah has created you and what you make. They said, Build for him a furnace, then cast him into the burning fire. And they desired a war against him, but we brought them low. And he said, Surely I fly to my Lord. He will guide me. My Lord grant me of the doers of good deeds. So we gave him the good news of a boy possessing forbearance. And when he attained to working with him, he said, O oh my son, surely I have seen in a dream that I should sacrifice you. Consider then what you see. He said, O oh my father, do what you are commanded. If Allah please, you will find me of the patient ones. So when they both submitted and he threw him down upon his forehead, and we called out to him, saying, O Ibrahim, you have indeed shown the truth of the vision. Surely thus do we reward the doers of good. Most surely this is a manifest trial. And we ransomed him with a feet sacrifice. And we perpetuated praise to him among the later generations. Peace be on Ibrahim. Thus do we reward the doers of good. Surely he was one of our believing servants. And we gave him the good news of Ishaq, a prophet among the good ones. And we showered our blessings on him and on Ishaq. And of their offspring are the doers of good and also those who are clearly unjust to their own souls. And certainly we confirmed a favor on Musa and Harun, and we delivered them both and their people from the mighty distress, and we helped them so they were the vanquishers, and we gave them both the book that made things clear. And we guided them both on the right way. And we perpetuated praise to them among the later generations. Peace be on Musa and Harun. Even thus do we reward the doers of good. Surely they were both of our believing servants. And Elias was most surely of the messengers. When he said to his people, Do you not guard against evil? What? Do you call upon Baal and forsake the best of the creators? Allah, your Lord and the Lord of your fathers of yore. But they called him a liar. Therefore, they shall most surely be brought up. But not the servants of Allah, the purified ones. And we perpetuated to him praise among the later generations. Peace be on Elias. Even thus do we reward the doers of good. Surely he was one of our believing servants. And Lot was most surely of the messengers. When we delivered him and his followers, all 
except an old woman who was amongst those who tarried. Then we destroyed the others, and most surely you pass by them in the morning and at night. Do you not then understand? And Eunice was most surely of the messengers when he ran away to a ship completely laden. So he shared with them, but was of those who are cast off. So the fish swallowed him while he did that for which he blamed himself. But had it not been that he was of those who glorify us, he would certainly have tarried in its belly to the day when they are raised. Then we cast him onto the vacant surface of the earth while he was sick, and we caused to grow up for him a gourd plant, and we sent him to a hundred thousand rather they exceeded and they believed so we gave them provision till a time then ask them whether your lord has daughters and they have sons or did we create the angels females while they were witnesses now surely it is not of their own lie that they say Allah has begotten, and most surely they are liars. Has he chosen daughters in preference to sons? What is the matter with you? How is it that you judge? Will you not then mine, or have you a clear authority? Then bring your book if you are truthful, and they assert a relationship between him and the jinn, and certainly the jinn do know that they shall surely be brought up. Glory be to Allah for freedom from what they describe, but not so the servants of Allah, the purified ones. So surely you and what you worship. Not against him can you cause any to fall into trial. Save him who will go to hell. And there is none of us but has an assigned place. And most surely we are they who draw themselves out in ranks. And we are most surely they who declare the glory of Allah. And surely they used to say, Had we a reminder from those of yore, we would certainly have been the servants of Allah the purified ones but now they disbelieve in it so they will come to know and certainly our word has already gone forth in respect of our servants the messengers most surely they shall be the assisted ones and most surely our host alone shall be the victorious ones Therefore turn away from them till a time, and then see them so they too shall see. What would they then hasten on our chastisement? But when it shall descend in their court, evil shall then be the mourning of the warned ones, and turn away from them till a time, and then see for they too shall see. Glory be to your Lord, the Lord of honor, above what they describe, and peace be on the messengers, and all praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. End of Surah 37 Surah 38 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 38, the letter Saad. Saad revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Saad. I swear by the Quran, full of admonition. Nay, those who disbelieve 
are in self-exaltation and opposition. How many did we destroy before them of the generations? Then they cried while the time of escaping had passed away. And they wonder that there has come to them a warner from among themselves. And the disbelievers say, this is an enchanter, a liar. What? Makes he the gods a single Allah? A strange thing is this, to be sure. And the chief persons of them break forth, saying, Go and steadily adhere to your gods. This is most surely a thing sought after. We never heard of this in the former faith. This is nothing but a forgery. Has the reminder been revealed to him from among us? Nay, they are in doubt as to my reminder. Nay, they have not yet tasted my chastisement. Or is it that they have the treasures of the mercy of your Lord, the mighty, the great giver? Or... Is it that theirs is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, and what is between them? Then let them ascend by any means. A host of deserters of the allies shall be here put to flight. The people of Nuh and Ad and Pharaoh, the lord of spikes, rejected messengers before them. And Samud and the people of Lut and the dwellers of the thicket, these were the parties. There was none of them but called the messengers liars, so just was my retribution. Nor do these await aught but a single cry, there being no delay in it. And they say, O our Lord, Hasten unto us our portion before the day of reckoning. Bear patiently what they say, and remember our servant Dawood, the possessor of power. Surely he was frequent in returning to Allah. Surely we made the mountains to sing the glory of Allah in unison with him at the evening and the sunrise. And the birds gathered together, all joined in singing with him. And we strengthened his kingdom, and we gave him wisdom and the clear judgment. And has there come to you the story of the litigants when they made an entry into the private chamber by ascending over the walls. When they entered in upon the wood, and he was frightened at them, they said, Fear not, to litigants of whom one has acted wrongfully towards the other. Therefore decide between us with justice, and do not act unjustly, and guide us to the right way. Surely this is my brother. He has ninety-nine U's, and I have a single U. But he said, make it over to me, and he has prevailed against me in this course. He said, surely he has been unjust to you in demanding your U to add to his own U's and most surely most of the partners act wrongfully towards one another. Save those who believe and do good, and very few are they. And the wood was sure that we had tried him, so he sought the protection of his Lord, and he fell down bowing and turned time after time to him. Therefore we rectified for him this, and most surely he had a nearness to us, 
and an excellent resort. O Dawood, surely we have made you a ruler in the land, so judge between men with justice, and do not follow desire, lest it should lead you astray from the path of Allah. As for those who go astray from the path of Allah, they shall surely have a severe punishment, because they forgot the day of reckoning. And we did not create the heaven and the earth and what is between them in vain. That is the opinion of those who disbelieve. Then woe to those who disbelieve on account of the fire. Shall we treat those who believe and do good like the mischief makers in the earth? Or shall we make those who guard against evil like the wicked? It is a book we have revealed to you abounding in good that they may ponder over its verses and that those endowed with understanding may be mindful. And we give to Dawood Sulaiman, most excellent the servant, surely he was frequent in returning to Allah. When there were brought to him in the evening horses, still when standing, swift when running. Then he said, surely, I preferred the good things to the remembrance of my Lord until the sun set and time for Asr prayer was over. He said, bring them back to me. So he began to slash their legs and necks. And certainly we tried Sulaiman and we put on his throne a mere body. So he turned to Allah. He said, My Lord, do thou forgive me and grant me a kingdom which is not fit for being inherited by anyone after me. Then we made the wind subservient to him. It made his command to run gently wherever he desired. And the shaitans, every builder and diver, and others fettered in chains. This is our free gift, therefore give freely or withhold, without reckoning. And most truly he had a nearness to us and an excellent resort. And remember our servant Ayub, when he called upon his Lord, the shaitan has afflicted me with toil and torment. Err with your foot, here is a cool washing place and a drink. And we gave him his family and the like of them with them, as a mercy from us and as a reminder to those possessed of understanding. And take in your hand a green branch and beat her with it and do not break your oath. Surely we found him patient, most excellent the servant. Surely he was frequent in returning to Allah. And remember our servants Ibrahim and Ishaq and Ya'qub, men of power and insight. Surely we purified them by a pure quality, the keeping in mind of the final abode. And most surely they were with us, of the elect the best. And remember Ismail and Elyasa and Zilkifl, and they were all of the best. This is a reminder, and most surely there is an excellent resort for those who guard against evil. The gardens of perpetuity, the doors are opened for them. Reclining therein, calling therein for many fruits and drink. And with them shall be those restraining their eyes equals in age.
This is what you are promised for the day of reckoning. Most surely this is our sustenance. It shall never come to an end. This shall be so, and most surely there is an evil resort for the inordinate ones. Hell, they shall enter it, so evil is the resting place. This shall be so, so let them taste it, boiling and intensely cold drink and other punishment of the same kind, of various sorts. This is an army plunging in without consideration, along with you. No welcome for them, surely they shall enter fire. They shall say, nay, you no welcome to you. You did proffer it to us, so evil is the resting place. They shall say, Our Lord, whoever prepared it first for us, add thou to him a double chastisement in the fire. And they shall say, What is the matter with us, that we do not see men whom we use to count among the vicious? Was it that we only took them in scorn? or have our eyes now turned aside from them. That most surely is the truth, the contending one with another of the inmates of the fire. Say, I am only a warner, and there is no God but Allah, the one, the subduer of all, the Lord of the heavens and the earth, and what is between them the mighty, the most forgiving. Say, it is a message of importance, and you are turning aside from it. I had no knowledge of the exalted chiefs when they contended. Naught is revealed to me, save that I am a plain warner. When your Lord said to the angels, Surely I am going to create a mortal from dust. So when I have made him complete and breathed into him of my spirit, then fall down making obeisance to him. And the angels did obeisance, all of them, but not Iblis. He was proud and he was one of the unbelievers. He said, O Iblis, what prevented you that you should do obeisance to him, whom I created with my two hands? Are you proud, or are you of the exalted ones? He said, I am better than he. Thou hast created me of fire, and him thou didst create of dust. He said, Then get out of it, for surely you are driven away, and surely my curse is on you to the day of judgment. He said, My Lord, then respite me to the day that they are raised. He said, Surely you are of the respited ones, till the period of the time made known. He said, Then by thy might I will surely make them live an evil life all, except thy servants from among them, the purified ones. He said, The truth then is and the truth do I speak, that I will most certainly Fill hell with you and with those among them who follow you all. Say, I do not ask you for any reward for it, nor am I of those who affect. It is nothing but a reminder to the nations, and most certainly you will come to know about it after a time. End of Surah 38 
Surah 39 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 39, the troops, as Zomr, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. The revelation of the book is from Allah, the mighty, the wise. Surely we have revealed to you the book with the truth. Therefore serve Allah, being sincere to him in obedience. Now surely sincere obedience is due to Allah alone. And as for those who take guardians besides him, saying, We do not serve them, save that they may make us nearer to Allah. Surely Allah will judge between them, in that in which they differ. Surely Allah does not guide him aright, who is a liar, ungrateful. If Allah desire to take a son to himself, he will surely choose those he pleases from what he has created. Glory be to him. He is Allah, the one the subduer of all. He has created the heavens and the earth with the truth. He makes the night cover the day and makes the day overtake the night, and he has made the sun and the moon subservient. Each one runs on to an assigned term. Now surely he is the mighty, the great forgiver. He has created you from a single being, then made its mate of the same kind, and he has made for you eight of the cattle in pairs. He creates you in the wombs of your mothers, a creation after a creation, in triple darkness. That is Allah, your Lord. His is the kingdom. There is no God but he. Whence are you then turned away? If you are ungrateful, then surely Allah is self-sufficient above all need of you, and he does not like ungratefulness in his servants. And if you are grateful, he likes it in you, and no bearer of burden shall bear the burden of another. Then to your Lord is your return. Then will he inform you of what you did. Surely he is cognizant of what is in the breasts. And when distress afflicts a man, he calls upon his Lord, turning to him frequently. Then when he makes him possess a favor from him, he forgets that for which he called upon him before and sets up rivals to Allah, that he may cause men to stray off from his path. Say, enjoy yourself in your ungratefulness a little. Surely you are of the inmates of the fire. What? He who is obedient during hours of the night, prostrating himself and standing, takes care of the hereafter and hopes for the mercy of his Lord. Say, are those who know and those who do not know alike? Only the men of understanding are mindful. Say, O my servants who believe, be careful of your duty to your Lord, for those who do good in this world is good. And Allah's earth is spacious, only the patient will be paid back the reward in full without measure. Say, I am commanded that I should serve Allah, being sincere to him in obedience. And I am commanded that I shall be the first of those who submit. Say, I fear if I disobey my Lord the chastisement of a grievous day. Say, Allah, it is whom I serve, being sincere to him in my obedience. Serve then 
what you like besides him say the losers surely are those who shall have lost themselves and their families on the day of resurrection now surely that is the clear loss they shall have coverings of fire above them and coverings beneath them with that allah makes his servants to fear so be careful of your duty to me o my servants and as for those who keep off from the worship of the idols and turn to allah they shall have good news therefore give good news to my servants those who listen to the word then follow the best of it those are they whom allah has guided and those it is who are the men of understanding what as for him then against whom the sentence of chastisement is due what can you save him who is in the fire but as for those who are careful of their duty to their lord they shall have high places above them higher places built for them beneath which flow rivers this is the promise of allah allah will not fail in his promise do you not see that allah sends down water from the cloud then makes it go along in the earth in springs then brings forth therewith herbage of various colors then it withers so that you see it becoming yellow then he makes it a thing crushed and broken into pieces most surely there is a reminder in this for the men of understanding what is he whose heart allah has opened for islam so that he is in a light from his lord like the hard-hearted nay woe to those whose hearts are hard against the remembrance of allah those are in clear error allah has revealed the best announcement a book conformable in its various parts repeating whereat do shudder the skins of those who fear their lord then their skins and their hearts become pliant to the remembrance of allah this is allah's guidance he guides with it whom he pleases and as for him whom allah makes err there is no guide for him is he then who has to guard himself with his own person against the evil chastisement on the resurrection day and it will be said to the unjust taste what you earned those before them rejected prophets therefore there came to them the chastisement from whence they perceived not so allah made them taste the disgrace in this world's life and certainly the punishment of the hereafter is greater did they but know and certainly we have set forth to men in this quran similitudes of every sort that they may mind an arabic quran without any crookedness that they may guard against evil allah sets forth an example there is a slave in whom are several partners differing with one another and there is another slave wholly owned by one man are the two alike in condition all praise is due to allah nay most of them do not know surely you shall die and they too shall surely die then surely on the day of resurrection you will contend one with another before your lord who is then more unjust than he who utters a lie against allah and he who gives the lie to the truth when it comes to him is there not in hell an abode for the unbelievers and he who brings the truth and he who accepts it 
as the truth. These are they that guard against evil. They shall have with their Lord what they please. That is the reward of the doers of good. So that Allah will do away with the worst of what they did and give them their reward for the best of what they do. Is not Allah sufficient for his servant? And they seek to frighten you with those besides him. And whomsoever Allah makes err, there is no guide for him. And whom Allah guides, there is none that can lead him astray. Is not Allah mighty, the Lord of retribution? And should you ask them, who created the heavens and the earth? They would most certainly say Allah. Say, have you then considered that what you call upon besides Allah, would they, if Allah desire to afflict me with harm, be the removers of his harm? Or would they, if Allah desire to show me mercy, be the withholders of his mercy? Say, Allah is sufficient for me. On him do the reliant rely. Say, O my people, work in your place. Surely I am a worker, so you will come to know. Who it is to whom there shall come a punishment, which will disgrace him, and to whom will be due a lasting punishment. Surely we have revealed to you the book with the truth for the sake of men. So whoever follows the right way, it is for his own soul. And whoever errs, he errs only to its detriment. And you are not a custodian over them. Allah takes the souls at the time of their death. And those that die not during their sleep, then he withholds those on whom he has passed the decree of death and sends the others back till an appointed term. Most surely there are signs in this for a people who reflect. Or have they taken intercessors besides Allah? Say, what, even though they did not ever have control over anything? nor do they understand. Say, Allah's is the intercession altogether. His is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. Then to him you shall be brought back. And when Allah alone is mentioned, the hearts of those who do not believe in the hereafter shrink, and when those besides him are mentioned, Lo, they are joyful. Say, O Allah, originator of the heavens and the earth, knower of the unseen and the seen, thou only judgest between thy servants as to that wherein they differ, and had those who are unjust all that is in the earth and the like of it with it, they would certainly offer it as ransom to be saved from the evil of the punishment on the day of resurrection, and what they never thought of shall become plain to them from Allah. And the evil consequences of what they wrote shall become plain to them, and the very thing they mocked at shall beset them. So when harm afflicts a man, he calls upon us. Then when we give him a favor from us, he says, I have been given it only by means of knowledge. Nay, it is a trial, but most of them do not know. Those before them did say it indeed, but what they earned availed them not. So there befell them the evil consequences of what they earned. And as for those who are unjust from among these, there shall befall them the evil consequences of what they earn, 
and they shall not escape. Do they not know that Allah makes ample the means of subsistence to whom he pleases, and he straightens? Most surely there are signs in this for a people who believe. Say, O my servants, who have acted extravagantly against their own souls, do not despair of the mercy of Allah. Surely Allah forgives the faults altogether. Surely he is the forgiving, the merciful. And return to your Lord time after time and submit to him before there comes to you the punishment, then you shall not be helped and follow the best that has been revealed to you from your Lord before there comes to you the punishment, all of a sudden while you do not even perceive. Lest a soul should say, O oh, woe to me, for what I fell short of my duty to Allah, and most surely I was of those who laughed to scorn. Or it should say, had Allah guided me, I would certainly have been of those who guard against evil. Or it should say, when it sees the punishment, were there only a returning for me, I should be of the doers of good. I, my communications came to you, but you rejected them, and you were proud, and you were one of the unbelievers. And on the day of resurrection, you shall see those who lied against Allah. Their faces shall be blackened. Is there not in hell an abode for the proud? And Allah shall deliver those who guard against evil with their achievement. Evil shall not touch them, nor shall they grieve. Allah is the creator of everything, and he has charge over everything. His are the treasures of the heavens and the earth. And as for those who disbelieve in the communications of Allah, these it is that are the losers. Say, what? Do you then bid me serve others than Allah? O oh, ignorant men! And certainly it has been revealed to you and to those before you. Surely if you associate with Allah, your work would certainly come to naught, and you would certainly be of the losers. Nay, but serve Allah alone and be of the thankful, and they have not honored Allah with the honor that is due to him. And the whole earth shall be in his grip on the day of resurrection. And the heavens rolled up in his right hand. Glory be to him. And may he be exalted above what they associate with him. And the trumpet shall be blown. So all those that are in the heavens and all those that are in the earth shall swoon except such as Allah please. Then it shall be blown again. Then, lo, they shall stand up awaiting. And the earth shall beam with the light of its Lord, and the book shall be laid down, and the prophets and the witnesses shall be brought up, and judgment shall be given between them with justice and they shall not be dealt with unjustly. And every soul shall be paid back fully what it has done, and he knows best what they do. And those who disbelieve shall be driven to hell in companies, until when they come to it, its doors shall be opened, and the keepers of it shall say to them, did not there come to you messengers from among you reciting to you the communications of your Lord and warning you of the meeting of this day of yours? They shall say, Yea, 
but the sentence of punishment was due against the unbelievers. It shall be said, enter the gates of hell to abide therein, so evil is the abode of the proud. And those who are careful of their duty to their Lord shall be conveyed to the garden in companies until when they come to it and its doors shall be opened and the keepers of it shall say to them, Peace be on you, you shall be happy, therefore enter it to abide. And they shall say, All praise is due to Allah who has made good to us his promise, and he has made us inherit the land. We may abide in the garden where we please, so goodly is the reward of the workers. And you shall see the angels going round about the throne, glorifying the praise of their Lord, and judgment shall be given between them with justice. And it shall be said, all praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. End of Surah 39 Surah 40 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 40, the Forgiver God, Ghaifer Revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Hamim. The revelation of the book is from Allah, the mighty, the knowing. The forgiver of the faults and the acceptor of repentance. Severe to punish, Lord of bounty, there is no God but he. To him is the eventual coming. None dispute concerning the communications of Allah, but those who disbelieve, therefore let not their going to and fro in the cities deceive you. The people of Nuh and the parties after them rejected prophets before them, and every nation purposed against their messenger to destroy him, and they disputed by means of the falsehood that they might thereby render null the truth. Therefore I destroyed them. How was then my retribution? And thus did the word of your Lord prove true against those who disbelieved that they are the inmates of the fire. Those who bear the power and those around him celebrate the praise of their Lord and believe in him and ask protection for those who believe. Our Lord, thou embracest all things in mercy and knowledge. Therefore grant protection to those who turn to thee and follow thy way and save them from the punishment of the hell. Our Lord, and make them enter the gardens of perpetuity, which thou hast promised to them, and those who do good of their fathers and their wives and their offspring, surely Thou art the mighty, the wise, and keep them from evil deeds, and whom thou keepest from evil deeds this day, indeed thou hast mercy on him, and that is the mighty achievement. Surely those who disbelieve shall be cried out to. Certainly Allah's hatred of you when you were called upon to the faith and you rejected, is much greater than your hatred of yourselves. They shall say, Our Lord, twice didst thou make us subject to death, and twice hast thou given us life. 
so we do confess our faults. Is there then a way to get out? That is because when Allah alone was called upon, you disbelieved. And when associates were given to him, you believed. So judgment belongs to Allah, the high, the great. He it is who shows you his signs and sends down for you sustenance from heaven. And none minds but he who turns to him again and again. Therefore call upon Allah, being sincere to him in obedience, though the unbelievers are averse. Possessor of the highest rank, Lord of power, he makes the inspiration to light by his command upon whom he pleases of his servants, that he may warn men of the day of meeting. Of the day when they shall come forth, nothing concerning them remains hidden to Allah, to whom belongs the kingdom this day, to Allah the one, the subduer of all. This day every soul shall be rewarded for what it has earned. No injustice shall be done this day. Surely Allah is quick in reckoning. And warn them of the day that draws near, when hearts shall rise up to the throats, grieving inwardly. The unjust shall not have any compassionate friend, nor any intercessor who should be obeyed. He knows the stealthy looks and that which the breasts conceal, and Allah judges with the truth, and those whom they call upon besides him cannot judge aught. Surely Allah is the hearing, the seeing. Have they not traveled in the earth and seen how was the end of those who were before them? Mightier than these were they in strength and in fortifications in the land. But Allah destroyed them for their sins and there was not for them any defender against Allah. That was because there came to them their messengers with clear arguments, but they rejected them. Therefore Allah destroyed them. Surely he is strong, severe in retribution. And certainly we sent Musa with our communications and clear authority to Pharaoh and Haman and Karun, but they said, a lying magician. So when he brought to them the truth from us, they said, slay the sons of those who believe with him and keep their women alive. And the struggle of the unbelievers will only come to a state of perdition. And Pharaoh said, let me alone that I may slay Musa and let him call upon his Lord. Surely I fear that he will change your religion or that he will make mischief to appear in the land. And Musa said, Surely I take refuge with my Lord and your Lord from every proud one who does not believe in the day of reckoning. And a believing man of Pharaoh's people, who hid his faith, said, What? Will you slay a man because he says, My Lord is Allah? And indeed he has brought to you clear arguments from your Lord. And if he be a liar, on him will be his lie. And if he be truthful, there will befall you some of that which he threatens you with. Surely Allah does not guide him who is extravagant a liar. 
O my people, yours is the kingdom this day, being monsters in the land, but who will help us against the punishment of Allah if it come to us? Pharaoh said, I do not show you aught but that which I see myself, and I do not make you follow any but the right way. And he who believed said, O my people, surely I fear for you the like of what befell the parties, the like of what befell the people of Nuh and Ad and Samud and those after them. And Allah does not desire injustice for his servants. And O oh my people, I fear for you the day of calling out, the day on which you will turn back retreating. There shall be no savior for you from Allah, and whomsoever Allah causes to err, there is no guide for him. And certainly Yusuf came to you before with clear arguments, but you ever remained in doubt as to what he brought. Until when he died, you said, Allah will never raise a messenger after him. Thus does Allah cause him to err, who is extravagant a doubter. Those who dispute concerning the communications of Allah without any authority that he has given them, greatly hated is it by Allah and by those who believe, thus does Allah set a seal over the heart of every proud haughty one. And Pharaoh said, O Haman, Built for me a tower that I may attain the means of access. The means of access to the heavens, then reach the God of Musa. And I surely think him to be a liar. And thus the evil of his deed was made fair seeming to Pharaoh, and he was turned away from the way. And the struggle of Pharaoh was not to end in oath but destruction. And he who believed said, O my people, follow me, I will guide you to the right course. O my people, this life of the world is only a passing enjoyment, and surely the hereafter is the abode to settle. Whoever does an evil, he shall not be recompensed with oath. But the like of it, and whoever does good, whether male or female, and he is a believer, these shall enter the garden in which they shall be given sustenance without measure. And, O oh my people, how is it that I call you to salvation, and you call me to the fire? You call on me that I should disbelieve in Allah and associate with him that of which I have no knowledge, and I call you to the mighty, the most forgiving. No doubt that what you call me to has no title to be called to in this world, nor in the hereafter and that our turning back is to Allah, and that the extravagant are the inmates of the fire. So you shall remember what I say to you, and I entrust my affair to Allah. Surely Allah sees the servants. So Allah protected him from the evil consequences of what they planned, and the most evil punishment overtook Pharaoh's people. The fire, they shall be brought before it every morning and evening, and on the day when the hour shall come to pass, make Pharaoh's people enter the severest chastisement. And when they shall contend one with another in the fire, then the weak shall say to those who were proud, 
Surely we were your followers. Will you then avert from us a portion of the fire? Those who were proud shall say, Surely we are all in it. Surely Allah has judged between the servants. And those who are in the fire shall say to the keepers of hell, Call upon your Lord that he may lighten to us one day of the punishment. They shall say, Did not your messengers come to you with clear arguments? They shall say, Yea. They shall say, Then call, and the call of the unbelievers is only in error. Most surely we help our messengers and those who believe in this world's life and on the day when the witnesses shall stand up. The day on which their excuse shall not benefit the unjust, and for them is curse, and for them is the evil abode. And certainly we gave Musa the guidance, and we made the children of Israel inherit the book, a guidance and a reminder to the men of understanding. Therefore be patient. Surely the promise of Allah is true, and ask protection for your fault and sing the praise of your Lord in the evening and the morning. Surely, as for those who dispute about the communications of Allah without any authority that has come to them, there is not in their breasts but a desire to become great which they shall never attain to. Therefore seek refuge in Allah. Surely he is the hearing, the seeing. Certainly the creation of the heavens and the earth is greater than the creation of the men, but most people do not know. And the blind and the seeing are not alike, nor those who believe and do good and the evil doer. Little is it that you are mindful. Most surely the hour is coming. There is no doubt therein. But most people do not believe. And your Lord says, Call upon me, I will answer you. Surely those who are too proud for my service shall soon enter hell abased. Allah is he who made for you the night that you may rest therein, and the day to see most surely Allah is gracious to men, but most men do not give thanks. That is Allah, your Lord, the creator of everything. There is no God but he. Whence are you then turned away? Thus were turned away those who denied the communications of Allah. Allah is he who made the earth a resting place for you, and the heaven a canopy, and he formed you, then made goodly your forms, and he provided you with goodly things. That is Allah, your Lord. Blessed then is Allah, the Lord of the worlds. He is the living, there is no God but he. Therefore call on him being sincere to him in obedience. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. Say, I am forbidden to serve those whom you call upon, besides Allah, when clear arguments have come to me from my Lord, and I am commanded that I should submit to the Lord of the worlds. He it is who created you from dust, then from a small life germ, then from a clot, then he brings you forth as a child, then that you may attain your maturity, then that you may be old, and of you there are some who are caused to die before, 
and that you may reach an appointed term, and that you may understand. He it is who gives life and brings death, so when he decrees an affair, he only says to it, Be, and it is. Have you not seen those who dispute with respect to the communications of Allah? How are they turned away? Those who reject the book and that with which we have sent our messengers, but they shall soon come to know when the fetters and the chains shall be on their necks they shall be dragged into boiling water then in the fire shall they be burnt then shall it be said to them where is that which you used to set up besides allah they shall say they are gone away from us Nay, we use not to call upon anything before. Thus does Allah confound the unbelievers. That is because you exalted in the land unjustly, and because you behaved insolently. Enter the gates of hell to abide therein. Evil then is the abode of the proud. So be patient. Surely the promise of Allah is true. So should we make you see part of what we threaten them with, or should we cause you to die, to us shall they be returned. And certainly we sent messengers before you. There are some of them that we have mentioned to you, and there are others whom we have not mentioned to you. And it was not meet for a messenger that he should bring a sign except with Allah's permission. But when the command of Allah came, judgment was given with truth, and those who treated it as a lie were lost. Allah is he who made the cattle for you, that you may ride on some of them, and some of them you eat and there are advantages for you in them, and that you may attain thereon a want which is in your breasts, and upon them and upon the ships you are born. And he shows you his signs, which then of Allah's signs will you deny? Have they not then journeyed in the land, and seen how was the end of those before them, they were more in numbers than these and greater in strength, and in fortifications in the land, but what they earned did not avail them. Then when their messengers came to them with clear arguments, they exulted in what they had with them of knowledge, and there beset them that which they used to mock. But when they saw our punishment, they said, We believe in Allah alone, and we deny what we used to associate with him. But their belief was not going to profit them. When they had seen our punishment, this is Allah's law which has indeed obtained in the matter of his servants, and there the unbelievers are lost. End of Surah 40 Surah 41 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 41, explained in detail, Fussilat, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. ha -mim. A revelation from the beneficent, the merciful Allah. A book of which the verses are made plain. An Arabic Quran for a people who know a herald of good news and a warner 
but most of them turn aside so they hear not. And they say, our hearts are under coverings from that to which you call us. And there is a heaviness in our ears, and the veil hangs between us and you. So work, we too are working. Say, I am only a mortal like you. It is revealed to me that your Allah is one Allah. Therefore follow the right way to him and ask his forgiveness and woe to the polytheists. To those who do not give poor rate and they are unbelievers in the hereafter. As for those who believe and do good, they shall surely have a reward never to be cut off. Say, what do you indeed disbelieve in him who created the earth in two periods? And do you set up equals with him that is the Lord of the worlds? And he made in it mountains above its surface, and he blessed the rin and made the rin its foods in four periods alike for the seekers. Then he directed himself to the heaven, and it is a vapor. So he said to it and to the earth, Come both willingly or unwillingly. They both said, We come willingly. So he ordained them seven heavens in two periods, and revealed in every heaven its affair. And we adorned the lower heaven with brilliant stars and made it to guard that is the decree of the mighty, the knowing. But if they turn aside, then say, I have warned you of a scourge like the scourge of Ad and Samud. When their messengers came to them from before them, and from behind them, saying, Serve nothing but Allah. They said, If our Lord had pleased, he would certainly have sent down angels. So we are surely unbelievers in that with which you are sent. Then as to Ad, they were unjustly proud in the land, and they said, who is mightier in strength than we? Did they not see that Allah who created them was mightier than they in strength? And they denied our communications. So we sent on them a furious wind in unlucky days that we may make them taste the chastisement of abasement in this world's life and certainly the chastisement of the hereafter is much more abasing, and they shall not be helped. And as to Samud, we showed them the right way, but they chose error above guidance. So there overtook them the scourge of an abasing chastisement for what they earned. And we delivered those who believed and guarded against evil. And on the day that the enemies of Allah shall be brought together to the fire, then they shall be formed into groups. Until when they come to it, their ears and their eyes and their skins shall bear witness against them as to what they did. And they shall say to their skins, Why have you borne witness against us? They shall say, Allah who makes everything speak has made us speak, and he created you at first, and to him you shall be brought back. And you did not veil yourselves, lest your ears and your eyes and your skins should bear witness against you. But you thought that Allah did not know 
most of what you did. And that was your evil thought, which you entertained about your Lord that has tumbled you down into perdition. So are you become of the lost ones? Then if they will endure, still the fire is their abode. And if they ask for goodwill, then are they not of those who shall be granted goodwill? And we have appointed for them comrades, so they have made fair seeming to them. What is before them and what is behind them? And the word proved true against them. Among the nations of the jinn and the men that have passed away before them, that they shall surely be losers. And those who disbelieve say, do not listen to this Quran and make noise therein. Perhaps you may overcome. Therefore, we will most certainly make those who disbelieve taste a severe punishment and we will most certainly reward them for the evil deeds they used to do. That is the reward of the enemies of Allah, the fire, for them therein shall be the house of long abiding, a reward for their denying our communications. And those who disbelieve will say, Our Lord, Show us those who led us astray from among the jinn and the men, that we may trample them under our feet, so that they may be of the lowest. As for those who say, Our Lord is Allah, then continue in the right way. The angels descend upon them, saying, Fear not, nor be grieved, and receive good news of the garden which you were promised. We are your guardians in the world's life and in the hereafter, and you shall have therein what your souls desire, and you shall have therein what you ask for. A provision from the forgiving the merciful, and who speaks better than he who calls to Allah? while he himself does good and says, I am surely of those who submit. And not alike are the good and the evil. Repel evil with what is best. When lo, he between whom and you was enmity would be as if he were a warm friend. And none are made to receive it but those who are patient, and none are made to receive it, but those who have a mighty good fortune. And if an interference of the shaitan should cause you mischief, seek refuge in Allah. Surely he is the hearing, the knowing. And among his signs are the night and the day, and the sun and the moon, do not prostrate to the sun nor to the moon, and prostrate to Allah, who created them. If him, it is that you serve. But if they are proud, yet those with your Lord glorify him during the night and the day, and they are not tired. And among his signs is this, that you see the earth still, but when we send down on it the water, it stirs and swells. Most surely, he who gives it life is the giver of life to the dead. Surely he has power over all things. Surely they who deviate from the right way concerning our communications are not hidden from us. What? Is he then who is cast into the fire better, or he who comes safe on the day of resurrection? Do what you like. Surely he sees what you do.
surely those who disbelieve in the reminder when it comes to them, and most surely it is a mighty book. Falsehood shall not come to it from before it nor from behind it, a revelation from the wise, the praised one. Naught is said to you, but what was said indeed to the messengers before you. Surely your Lord is the Lord of forgiveness and the Lord of painful retribution. And if we had made it a Quran in a foreign tongue, they would certainly have said, Why have not its communications been made clear? What? A foreign tongue and an Arabian? Say, it is to those who believe a guidance and a healing. And as for those who do not believe, there is a heaviness in their ears, and it is obscure to them. These shall be called to from a far off place. And certainly we gave the book to Musa, but it has been differed about and had not a word already gone forth from your Lord, judgment would certainly have been given between them, and most surely they are in a disquieting doubt about it. Whoever does good, it is for his own soul, and whoever does evil, it is against it, and your Lord is not in the least unjust to the servants. To him is referred the knowledge of the hour, and there come not forth any of the fruits from their coverings, nor does a female bear, nor does she give birth, but with his knowledge. And on the day when he shall call out to them, where are those whom you called my associates? They shall say, we declare to thee, None of us is a witness, and away from them shall go what they called upon before, and they shall know for certain that there is no escape for them. Man is never tired of praying for good, and if evil touch him, then he is despairing, hopeless. And if we make him taste mercy from us after distress, that has touched him, he would most certainly say, this is of me, and I do not think the hour will come to pass, and if I am sent back to my Lord, I shall have with him sure good, but we will most certainly inform those who disbelieved of what they did, and we will most certainly make them taste of hard chastisement. And when we show favor to man, he turns aside and withdraws himself. And when evil touches him, he makes lengthy supplications. Say, tell me if it is from Allah, then you disbelieve in it. Who is in greater error than he who is in a prolonged opposition? We will soon show them our signs in the universe and in their own souls until it will become quite clear to them that it is the truth. Is it not sufficient as regards your Lord that he is a witness over all things? Now surely they are in doubt as to the meeting of their Lord. Now surely he encompasses all things. End of Surah 41 Surah 42 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 42, Council, Shura Revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Ha, Mim, Ain, 
سين قاف Thus does Allah, the mighty, the wise, reveal to you, and thus he revealed to those before you. His is what is in the heavens and what is in the earth, and he is the high, the great. The heavens may almost rend asunder from above them, and the angels sing the praise. of their Lord and ask forgiveness for those on earth. Now surely Allah is the forgiving, the merciful. And as for those who take guardians besides him, Allah watches over them and you have not charge over them. And thus have we revealed to you an Arabic Quran. that you may warn the mother city and those around it, and that you may give warning of the day of gathering together, wherein is no doubt, a party shall be in the garden and another party in the burning fire. And if Allah had pleased, he would surely have made them a single community, But he makes whom he pleases enter into his mercy, and the unjust it is that shall have no guardian or helper. Or have they taken guardians besides him? But Allah is the guardian, and he gives life to the dead, and he has power over all things. And in whatever thing you disagree, the judgment thereof is in Allah's hand. That is Allah, my Lord, on him do I rely, and to him do I turn time after time. The originator of the heavens and the earth, he made mates for you from among yourselves, and mates of the cattle too, multiplying you thereby, nothing like a likeness of him, and he is the hearing, the seeing. His are the treasures of the heavens and the earth. He makes ample and straightens the means of subsistence. For whom he pleases, surely he is cognizant of all things. He has made plain to you of the religion what he enjoined upon Nuh and that which we have revealed to you and that which we enjoined upon Ibrahim and Musa and Isa that keep to obedience and be not divided therein. Hard to the unbelievers is that which you call them to Allah chooses for himself whom he pleases and guides to himself him who turns to him frequently. And they did not become divided until after knowledge had come to them out of envy among themselves and had not a word gone forth from your Lord till an appointed term. Certainly judgment would have been given between them, and those who were made to inherit the book after them are most surely in disquieting doubt concerning it. To this then go on inviting and go on steadfastly on the right way as you are commanded, and do not follow their low desires, and say, I believe in what Allah has revealed of the book, and I am commanded to do justice between you. Allah is our Lord, and your Lord, we shall have our deeds, and you shall have your deeds. No plea need there be now between us and you. Allah will gather us together. and to him is the return. And as for those who dispute about Allah, 
after that obedience has been rendered to him. Their plea is null with their Lord, and upon them is wrath, and for them is severe punishment. Allah, it is who revealed the book with truth and the balance, and what shall make you know that haply the hour be nigh? Those who do not believe in it would hasten it on, and those who believe are in fear from it, and they know that it is the truth. Now most surely those who dispute obstinately concerning the hour are in a great error. Allah is benignant to his servants. He gives sustenance to whom he pleases, and he is the strong, the mighty. Whoever desires the gain of the hereafter, we will give him more of that gain. And whoever desires the gain of this world, we give him of it. And in the hereafter, he has no portion. Or have they associates who have prescribed for them any religion that Allah does not sanction? And were it not for the word of judgment, decision would have certainly been given between them. And surely the unjust shall have a painful punishment. You will see the unjust fearing on account of what they have earned, and it must befall them. And those who believe and do good shall be in the meadows of the gardens. They shall have what they please with their Lord. That is the great grace. That is of which Allah gives the good news to his servants, to those who believe and do good deeds. Say, I do not ask of you any reward, for it but love for my near relatives, and whoever earns good, we give him more of good therein. Surely Allah is forgiving, grateful. Or do they say he has forged a lie against Allah? But if Allah pleased, he would seal your heart, and Allah will blot out the falsehood and confirm the truth with his words. Surely he is cognizant of what is in the breasts, and he it is who accepts repentance from his servants and pardons the evil deeds, and he knows what you do. And he answers those who believe and do good deeds, and gives them more out of his grace. And as for the unbelievers, they shall have a severe punishment. And if Allah should amplify the provision for his servants, they would certainly revolt in the earth, but he sends it down according to a measure, as he pleases. Surely he is aware of seeing his servants, and he it is who sends down the rain after they have despaired, and he unfolds his mercy, and he is the guardian, the praised one. And one of his signs is the creation of the heavens and the earth, and what he has spread forth in both of them of living beings. And when he pleases, he is all-powerful to gather them together. And whatever affliction befalls you, it is on account of what your hands have wrought. And yet... He pardons most of your faults, and you cannot escape in the earth, and you shall not have a guardian or a helper besides Allah. And among his signs are the ships in the sea, like mountains. If he pleases, 
he causes the wind to become still so that they lie motionless on its back most surely there are signs in this for every patient grateful one or he may make them founder for what they have earned and even then pardon must and that those who dispute about our communications may know there is no place of refuge for them so whatever thing you are given that is only a provision of this world's life and what is with allah is better and more lasting for those who believe and rely on their lord and those who shun the great sins and indecencies and whenever they are angry they forgive and those who respond to their lord and keep up prayer and their rule is to take counsel among themselves and who spend out of what we have given them and those who when great wrong afflicts them defend themselves and the recompense of evil is punishment like it but whoever forgives and amends he shall have his reward from allah surely he does not love the unjust and whoever defends himself after his being oppressed these it is against whom there is no way to blame the way to blame is only against those who oppress men and revolt in the earth unjustly these shall have a painful punishment and whoever is patient and forgiving these most surely are actions due to courage and whomsoever allah makes err he has no guardian after him and you shall see the unjust when they see the punishment saying is there any way to return and you shall see them brought before it humbling themselves because of the abasements looking with a faint glance and those who believe shall say surely the losers are they who have lost themselves and their followers on the resurrection day now surely the iniquitous shall remain in lasting chastisement and they shall have no friends to help them besides allah and whomsoever allah makes err he shall have no way hearken to your lord before there comes the day from allah for which there shall be no averting you shall have no refuge on that day nor shall it be yours to make a denial but if they turn aside we have not sent you as a watcher over them on you is only to deliver the message and surely when we make man taste mercy from us he rejoices thereat and if an evil afflicts them on account of what their hands have already done then surely man is ungrateful allah's is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth he creates what he pleases he grants to whom he pleases daughters and grants to whom he pleases sons or he makes them of both sorts male and female and he makes whom he pleases barren surely he is the knowing the powerful and it is not for any mortal that allah should speak to them they could not bear to hear and they did not see and thus did we reveal to you an inspired book by our command you did not know what the book was nor what the faith was but we made it a light guiding thereby whom we please of our servants and most surely you show the way to the right path
the path of Allah, whose is whatsoever is in the heavens and whatsoever is in the earth. Now surely to Allah do all affairs eventually come. End of Surah 42 Surah 43 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker This LibriVox recording is in the public domain Surah 43 Ornaments of Gold as zukhruf Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the Most Beneficent, the Most Merciful Hameem I swear by the book that makes things clear Surely we have made it an Arabic Quran That you may understand And surely it is in the original of the book with us Truly elevated, full of wisdom What? Shall we then turn away the reminder From you altogether Because you are an extravagant people? And how many a prophet have we sent among the ancients? And there came not to them a prophet, but they mocked at him. Then we destroyed those who were stronger than these in prowess. And the case of the ancients has gone before. And if you should ask them who created the heavens and the earth, they would most certainly say, The Mighty, the Knowing One, has created them. He who made the earth a resting place for you, and made in it ways for you that you may go aright. And he who sends down water from the cloud according to a measure, then we raise to life thereby a dead country, even thus shall you be brought forth. And he who created pearls of all things and made for you of the ships and the cattle what you ride on, that you may firmly sit on their backs, then remember the favor of your Lord when you are firmly seated thereon. And say, Glory be to him who made this subservient to us and we were not able to do it. And surely to our Lord we must return. And they assign to him a part of his servants. Man, to be sure, is clearly ungrateful. What? Has he taken daughters to himself of what he himself creates and chosen you to have sons? And when one of them is given news of that of which he sets up as a likeness for the beneficent Allah, his face becomes black and he is full of rage. What? That which is made in ornaments and which in contention is unable to make plain speech? And they make the angels, them who are the servants of the beneficent Allah, female divinities. What? Did they witness their creation? Their evidence shall be written down and they shall be questioned. And they say, if the beneficent Allah had pleased, we should never have worshipped them. They have no knowledge of this, they only lie. Or have we given them a book before it? so that they hold fast to it. Nay, they say, we found our fathers on a course, and surely we are guided by their footsteps. And thus we did not send before you any warner in a town, but those who led easy lives in it said, 
Surely we found our fathers on a course, and surely we are followers of their footsteps. The warner said, What? Even if I bring to you a better guide than that on which you found your fathers, they said, Surely we are unbelievers in that with which you are sent. So we inflicted retribution on them. Then see how was the end of the rejecters. And when Ibrahim said to his father, and his people, surely I am clear of what you worship. Save him who created me, for surely he will guide me. And he made it a word to continue in his posterity, that they may return. Nay, I gave them and their fathers to enjoy until there came to them the truth, and a messenger making manifest the truth. And when there came to them the truth, they said, This is magic, and surely we are disbelievers in it. And they say, Why was not this Quran revealed to a man of importance in the two towns? Will they distribute the mercy of your Lord we distribute among them their livelihood in the life of this world, and we have exalted some of them above others in degrees, that some of them may take others in subjection, and the mercy of your Lord is better than what they amass. And were it not that all people had been a single nation, we would certainly have assigned to those who disbelieve in the beneficent Allah to make of silver the roofs of their houses and the stairs by which they ascend, and the doors of their houses and the couches on which they recline, and other embellishments of gold, and all this is naught but provision of this world's life. And the hereafter is with your Lord only for those who guard against evil. And whoever turns himself away from the remembrance of the beneficent Allah, we appoint for him a shaitan, so he becomes his associate. And most surely they turn them away from the path and they think that they are guided aright. Until when he comes to us, he says, Oh, would that between me and you, there were the distance of the east and the west. So evil is the associate. And since you were unjust, it will not profit you this day that you are sharers in the chastisement. What? Can you then make the deaf to hear or guide the blind and him who is in clear error? But if we should take you away, still we shall inflict retribution on them. Rather, we will certainly show you that which we have promised them for surely we are the possessors of full power over them. Therefore, hold fast to that which has been revealed to you. Surely you are on the right path, and most surely it is a reminder for you and your people, and you shall soon be questioned. And ask those of our messengers whom we sent before you. Did we ever appoint gods to be worshipped beside the beneficent Allah? And certainly we sent Musa with our communications to Pharaoh and his chiefs. So he said, Surely I am the messenger of the Lord of the worlds. 
But when he came to them with our signs, lo, they laughed at them. And we did not show them a sign, but it was greater than its like. And we overtook them with chastisement that they may turn. And they said, O magician, call on your Lord for our sake as he has made the covenant with you, we shall surely be the followers of the right way. But when we removed from them the chastisement, lo, they broke the pledge. And Pharaoh proclaimed amongst his people, O my people, is not the kingdom of Egypt mine? And these rivers flow beneath me, do you not then see? Nay, I am better than this fellow who is contemptible and who can hardly speak distinctly. But why have not bracelets of gold been put upon him? Or why have there not come with him angels as companions? So he incited his people to levity and they obeyed him. Surely they were a transgressing people. Then when they displeased us, we inflicted a retribution on them. So we drowned them all together. And we made them a precedent and example to the later generations. And when a description of the son of Maryam is given, lo, your people raise a clamor threat. And they say, are our gods better or is he? They do not set it forth to you, save by way of disputation. Nay, they are a contentious people. He was not but a servant on whom we bestowed favor, and we made him an example for the children of Israel. And if we please, we could make among you angels to be successors in the land. And most surely it is a knowledge of the hour. Therefore have no doubt about it, and follow me, this is the right path. And let not the shaitan prevent you. Surely he is your open enemy. And when Isa came with clear arguments, he said, I have come to you indeed with wisdom, and that I may make clear to you part of what you differ in. So be careful of your duty to Allah and obey me. Surely Allah is my Lord and your Lord, therefore serve him. This is the right path. But parties from among them differed, so woe to those who were unjust because of the chastisement of a painful day. Do they wait for aught but the hour? that it should come upon them all of a sudden, while they do not perceive. The friends shall on that day be enemies one to another, except those who guard against evil. O my servants, there is no fear for you this day, nor shall you grieve. Those who believed in our communications and were submissive. Enter the garden, you and your wives, you shall be made happy. There shall be sent round to them golden bowls and drinking cups, and therein shall be what their souls yearn. After and wherein the eyes shall delight, and you shall abide therein. And this is the garden which you are given as an inheritance on account of what you did. For you therein are many fruits of which you shall eat. Surely the guilty shall abide in the chastisement of hell.
It shall not be abated from them, and they shall therein be despairing. And we are not unjust to them, but they themselves were unjust. And they shall call out to O Malik, let your Lord make an end of us. He shall say, surely you shall tarry. Certainly we have brought you the truth, but most of you are averse to the truth. Or have they settled an affair? Then surely we are the settlers. Or do they think that we do not hear what they conceal and their secret discourses? I and our messengers with them write down. Say, if the beneficent Allah has a son, I am the foremost of those who serve. Glory to the Lord of the heavens and the earth, the Lord of power from what they describe. So leave them plunging into false discourses and sporting until they meet their day, which they are threatened with. And he it is who is Allah in the heavens and Allah in the earth. And he is the wise, the knowing. And blessed is he whose is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, and what is between them. And with him is the knowledge of the hour, and to him shall you be brought back. And those whom they call upon besides him have no authority for intercession. But he who bears witness of the truth, and they know him. And if you should ask them who created them, they would certainly say, Allah, whence are they then turned back? Consider his cry, O oh my Lord, surely they are a people who do not believe. So turn away from them and say, Peace for they shall soon come to know. End of Surah 43 Surah 44 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 44 Smoke at Dukhan Revealed at Mac. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Ha -meem. I swear by the book that makes manifest the truth. Surely we revealed it on a blessed night. Surely we are ever warning. Therein every wise affair is made distinct. A command from us. Surely we are the senders of messengers. A mercy from your Lord. Surely he is the hearing, the knowing. The Lord of the heavens and the earth. And what is between them? If you would be sure. There is no God but he. He gives life and causes death. Your Lord and the Lord of your fathers of your. Nay, they are in doubt, they sport. Therefore, keep waiting for the day when the heaven shall bring an evident smoke. That shall overtake men. This is a painful punishment. Our Lord, remove from us the punishment. Surely we are believers. How shall they be reminded? And there came to them a messenger, making clear the truth. Yet they turned their backs on him and said, One taught by others, a madman. Surely we will remove the punishment a little, but you will surely return to evil. On the day when we will seize them with the most violent seizing, 
Surely we will inflict retribution, and certainly we tried before them the people of Pharaoh, and there came to them a noble messenger, saying, Deliver to me the servants of Allah. Surely I am a faithful messenger to you, and that do not exalt yourselves against Allah. Surely I will bring to you a clear authority, and surely I take refuge with my Lord and your Lord that you should stone me to death. And if you do not believe in me, then leave me alone. Then he called upon his Lord. These are a guilty people. So go forth with my servants by night. Surely you will be pursued. And leave the sea intervening. Surely they are a host that shall be drowned. How many of the gardens and fountains have they left, and cornfields and noble places, and goodly things wherein they rejoiced. Thus it was, and we gave them as a heritage to another people. So the heaven and the earth did not weep for them, nor were they respited. And certainly we delivered the children of Israel from the abasing chastisement. From Pharaoh, surely he was haughty and one of the extravagant, and certainly we chose them, having knowledge above the nations. And we gave them of the communications wherein was clear blessing. Most surely these do say, there is naught but our first death, and we shall not be raised again. So bring our fathers back, if you are truthful. Are they better or the people of Tobba, and those before them? We destroyed them, for surely they were guilty. And we did not create the heavens and the earth, and what is between them in sport. We did not create them both, but with the truth. But most of them do not know. Surely the day of separation is their appointed term of all of them. The day on which a friend shall not avail his friend aught, nor shall they be helped save those on whom Allah shall have mercy. Surely he is the mighty, the merciful. Surely the tree of the zakum is the food of the sinful. Like dregs of oil, it shall boil in their bellies, like the boiling of hot water. Seize him, then drag him down into the middle of the hell. Then pour above his head of the torment of the boiling water. Taste, you forsooth are the mighty, the honorable. Surely this is what you disputed about. Surely those who guard against evil are in a secure place, in gardens and springs. They shall wear of fine and thick silk sitting face to face. Thus shall it be, and we will wed them with Huris pure, beautiful ones. They shall call therein for every fruit in security. They shall not taste therein death except the first death, and he will save them from the punishment of the hell. A grace from your Lord this is the great achievement. So have we made it easy in your tongue that they may be mindful. Therefore, wait. Surely they are waiting. End of Surah 44 
Surah 45 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 45, Crouching, al gathiyah Revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Hamim. The revelation of the book is from Allah, the mighty, the wise. Most surely in the heavens and the earth there are signs for the believers, and in your own creation and in what he spreads abroad of animals, there are signs for a people that are sure, and in the variation of the night and the day, and in what Allah sends down of sustenance from the cloud, then gives life thereby to the earth after its death, and in the changing of the winds, there are signs for a people who understand. These are the communications of Allah, which we recite to you with truth. Then in what announcement would they believe after Allah and his communications? Woe to every sinful liar who hears the communications of Allah recited to him, then persists proudly as though he had not heard them. So announce to him a painful punishment. And when he comes to know of any of our communications, he takes it for a jest. These it is that shall have abasing chastisement. Before them is hell, and there shall not avail them. Out of what they earned, nor those whom they took for guardians besides Allah, and they shall have a grievous punishment. This is guidance. And as for those who disbelieve in the communications of their Lord, they shall have a painful punishment on account of uncleanness. Allah is he who made subservient to you the sea that the ships may run therein by his command, and that you may seek of his grace, and that you may give thanks. And he has made subservient to you whatsoever is in the heavens and whatsoever is in the earth, all from himself. Most surely there are signs in this for a people who reflect. Say to those who believe that they forgive those who do not fear the days of Allah, that he may reward a people for what they earn. Whoever does good, it is for his own soul, and whoever does evil, it is against himself. Then you shall be brought back to your Lord. And certainly we give the book and the wisdom and the prophecy to the children of Israel, and we gave them of the goodly things, and we made them excel the nations." And we gave them clear arguments in the affair, but they did not differ until after knowledge had come to them, out of envy among themselves. Surely your Lord will judge between them on the day of resurrection concerning that wherein they differed. Then we have made you follow a course in the affair. Therefore follow it and do not follow the low desires of those who do not know. Surely they shall not avail you in the least against Allah, and surely the unjust are friends of each other, and Allah is the guardian of those who guard against evil. These are clear proofs for men, and a guidance and a mercy for a people who are sure. Nay, do those who have wrought evil deeds think that we will make them like those who believe and do good, that their life and their death shall be equal? Evil it is that they judge. And Allah created the heavens and the earth with truth, 
and that every soul may be rewarded for what it has earned, and they shall not be wronged. Have you then considered him who takes his low desire for his God, and Allah has made him err, having knowledge, and has set a seal upon his ear and his heart, and put a covering upon his eye? Who can then guide him after Allah? Will you not then be mindful? And they say, there is nothing but our life in this world. We live and die, and nothing destroys us but time. And they have no knowledge of that. They only conjecture. And when our clear communications are recited to them, their argument is no other than that they say, Bring our fathers back if you are truthful. Say Allah gives you life, then he makes you die. Then will he gather you to the day of resurrection, wherein is no doubt, but most people do not know. And Allah's is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. And on the day when the hour shall come to pass, on that day shall they perish who say false things. And you shall see every nation kneeling down. Every nation shall be called to its book. Today you shall be rewarded for what you did. This is our book that speaks against you with justice. Surely we wrote what you did. Then as to those who believed and did good, their Lord will make them enter into his mercy. That is the manifest achievement. As to those who disbelieved, what were not my communications recited to you, but you were proud and you were a guilty people. And when it was said, surely the promise of Allah is true, and as for the hour, there is no doubt about it. You said, we do not know what the hour is. We do not think that it will come to pass. Save a passing thought, and we are not at all sure. And the evil consequences of what they did shall become manifest to them, and that which they mocked shall encompass them. And it shall be said, Today we forsake you as you neglected the meeting of this day of yours and your abode is the fire, and there are not for you any helpers. That is because you took the communications of Allah for a jest, and the life of this world deceived you. So on that day they shall not be brought forth from it nor shall they be granted goodwill. Therefore to Allah is due all praise, the Lord of the heavens and the Lord of the earth, the Lord of the worlds, and to him belongs the greatness in the heavens and the earth, and he is the mighty, the wise. End of Surah 45 Surah 46 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 46, the wind-curved sand hills, Al-Ahqaf, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. ha -meem. The revelation of the book is from Allah, the mighty, the wise. We did not create the heavens and the earth and what is between them to save with truth and for an appointed term. And those who disbelieve turn aside from what they are warned of. Say, have you considered what you call upon besides Allah? Show me what they have created of the earth, or have they a share in the heavens? Bring me a book before this, or traces of knowledge, if you are truthful. 
and who is in greater error than he who calls besides Allah upon those that will not answer him till the day of resurrection, and they are heedless of their call. And when men are gathered together, they shall be their enemies, and shall be deniers of their worshipping them. And when our clear communications are recited to them, those who disbelieve say with regard to the truth when it comes to them, this is clear magic. Nay, they say, he has forged it. Say, if I have forged it, you do not control anything for me from Allah. He knows best what you utter concerning it. He is enough as a witness between me and you, and he is the forgiving, the merciful. Say, I am not the first of the messengers, and I do not know what will be done with me or with you. I do not follow anything but that which is revealed to me, and I am nothing but a plain warner. Say, have you considered if it is from Allah and you disbelieve in it? And the witness from among the children of Israel has borne witness of one like it. So he believed, while you are big with pride. Surely Allah does not guide the unjust people. And those who disbelieve say concerning those who believe, if it had been a good, they would not have gone ahead of us therein. And as they do not seek to be rightly directed thereby, they say it is an old lie. And before it, the book of Musa was a guide and a mercy. And this is a book verifying it in the Arabic language, that it may warn those who are unjust and as good news for the doers of good. Surely those who say, our Lord is Allah, then they continue on the right way. They shall have no fear, nor shall they grieve. These are the dwellers of the garden, abiding therein, a reward for what they did. And we have enjoined on man doing of good to his parents. With trouble did his mother bear him, and with trouble did she bring him forth. And the bearing of him and the weaning of him was thirty months until when he attains his maturity and reaches forty years. He says, My Lord, grant me that I may give thanks for thy favor, which thou hast bestowed on me and on my parents, and that I may do good which pleases thee, and do good to me in respect of my offspring. Surely I turn to thee and surely I am of those who submit. These are they from whom we accept the best of what they have done, and pass over their evil deeds among the dwellers of the garden, the promise of truth which they were promised. And he who says to his parents, Fie on you, do you threaten me that I shall be brought forth when generations have already passed away before me, and they both call for Allah's aid, woe to you, believe surely the promise of Allah is true, but he says, this is nothing but stories of the ancients. These are they against whom the word has proved true among nations of the jinn and the men that have already passed away before them. Surely they are losers, and for all are degrees according to what they did, and that he may pay them back fully their deeds, and they shall not be wronged. And on the day when those who disbelieve shall be brought before the fire, you did away with your good things in your life of the world, 
and you enjoyed them for a while. So today you shall be rewarded with the punishment of abasement because you were unjustly proud in the land and because you transgressed. And mention the brother of Aed when he warned his people in the sandy plains and indeed warners came before him and after him saying serve none but allah surely i fear for you the punishment of a grievous day they said have you come to us to turn us away from our gods then bring us what you threaten us with if you are of the truthful ones he said the knowledge is only with allah and i deliver to you the message with which i am sent but i see you are a people who are ignorant so when they saw it as a cloud appearing in the sky advancing towards their valleys they said this is a cloud which will give us rain nay it is what you sought to hasten on a blast of wind in which is a painful punishment destroying everything by the command of its lord so they became such that naught could be seen except their dwellings thus do we reward the guilty people and certainly we had established them in what we have not established you in and we had given them ears and eyes and hearts but neither their ears nor their eyes nor their hearts availed them aught, since they denied the communications of Allah, and that which they mocked encompassed them. And certainly we destroyed the towns which are around you, and we repeat the communications that they might turn. Why did not then those help them whom they took for gods besides Allah, to draw them nigh to him. Nay, they were lost to them, and this was their lie and what they forged. And when we turned towards you a party of the jinn who listened to the Quran, so when they came to it, they said, Be silent. Then when it was finished, they turned back to their people, warning them. They said, O our people, we have listened to a book revealed after Musa, verifying that which is before it, guiding to the truth and to a right path. O our people, accept the divine caller and believe in him. He will forgive you of your faults and protect you from a painful punishment. And whoever does not accept the divine caller, he shall not escape in the earth, and he shall not have guardians besides him. These are in manifest error. Have they not considered that Allah, who created the heavens and the earth, and was not tired by their creation, is able to give life to the dead? I, he has surely power over all things. And on the day when those who disbelieve shall be brought before the fire, is it not true? They shall say, I, by our Lord, he will say, then taste the punishment because you disbelieved. Therefore bear up patiently, as did the messengers endowed with constancy, bear up with patience and do not seek to hasten for them their doom on the day that they shall see what they are promised they shall be as if they had not tarried save an hour of the day a sufficient exposition shall then any be destroyed save the transgressing people end of surah 46 Surah 47 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. 
This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 47, Muhammad revealed at Medina. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. As for those who disbelieve and turn away from Allah's way, he shall render their works ineffective. And as for those who believe and do good and believe in what has been revealed to Muhammad and it is the very truth from their Lord, he will remove their evil from them and improve their condition. That is because those who disbelieve follow falsehood while those who believe follow the truth from their Lord. Thus does Allah set forth their parables for mankind. So when you meet in battle those who disbelieve, then smite the next until when you have overcome them. Then make them prisoners, and afterwards either set them free as a favor or let them ransom themselves until the war terminates that shall be so, and if Allah had pleased, he would certainly have exacted what is due from them, but that he may try some of you by means of others. And as for those who are slain in the way of Allah, he will by no means allow their deeds to perish. He will guide them and improve their condition and cause them to enter the garden which he has made known to them. O you who believe, if you help the cause of Allah, he will help you and make firm your feet. And as for those who disbelieve, for them is destruction, and he has made their deeds ineffective. That is because they hated what Allah revealed. So he rendered their deeds null. Have they not then journeyed in the land and seen how was the end of those before them? Allah brought down destruction upon them and the unbelievers shall have the like of it. That is because Allah is the protector of those who believe and because the unbelievers shall have no protector for them. Surely Allah will make those who believe and do good enter gardens beneath which rivers flow, and those who disbelieve enjoy themselves and eat as the beasts eat, and the fire is their abode. And how many a town which was far more powerful than the town of yours, which has driven you out. We destroyed them, so there was no helper for them. What? Is he who has a clear argument from his Lord, like him to whom the evil of his work is made fair-seeming, and they follow their low desires? A parable of the garden which those guarding against evil are promised. Therein are rivers of water that does not alter, and rivers of milk the taste whereof does not change, and rivers of drink delicious to those who drink, and rivers of honey clarified, and for them therein are all fruits and protection from their Lord. Are these like those who abide in the fire and who are made to drink boiling water so it rends their bowels asunder? And there are those of them who seek to listen to you until when they go forth from you, they say to those who have been given the knowledge, what was it that he said just now? These are they upon whose hearts Allah has set a seal, and they follow their low desires. And as for those who follow the right direction, he increases them in guidance and gives them their guarding against evil. Do they then wait for aught 
but the hour that it should come to them all of a sudden. Now indeed the tokens of it have already come, but how shall they have their reminder when it comes on them? So know that there is no God but Allah, and ask protection for your fault and for the believing men and the believing women. And Allah knows the place of your returning and the place of your abiding. And those who believe say, Why has not a chapter been revealed? But when a decisive chapter is revealed and fighting is mentioned, therein you see those in whose hearts is a disease look to you with the look of one fainting because of death. Woe to them then! Obedience and a gentle word was proper, but when the affair becomes settled, then if they remain true to Allah, it would certainly be better for them. But if you held command, you were sure to make mischief in the land and cut off the ties of kinship. Those it is whom Allah has cursed, so he has made them deaf and blinded their eyes. Do they not then reflect on the Quran? Nay, on the hearts there are locks. Surely as for those who return on their backs after that guidance has become manifest to them, the shaitan has made it a light matter to them, and he gives them respite. That is because they say to those who hate what Allah has revealed, we will obey you in some of the affairs, and Allah knows their secrets. But how will it be when the angels cause them to die smiting their backs? That is because they follow what is displeasing to Allah and are averse to his pleasure. Therefore, he has made null their deeds. Or do those in whose hearts is a disease think that Allah will not bring forth their spite? And if we please, we would have made you know them so that you would certainly have recognized them by their marks, and most certainly you can recognize them by the intent of their speech, and Allah knows your deeds. And most certainly we will try you until we have known those among you who exert themselves hard, and the patient and made your case manifest. Surely those who disbelieve and turn away from Allah's way and oppose the messenger after that guidance has become clear to them, cannot harm Allah in any way, and he will make null their deeds. O you who believe, obey Allah and obey the messenger, and do not make your deeds of no effect. Surely those who disbelieve and turn away from Allah's way, then they die while they are unbelievers. Allah will by no means forgive them. And be not slack so as to cry for peace, and you have the upper hand, and Allah is with you, and he will not bring your deeds to naught. The life of this world is only idle sport and play, and if you believe and guard against evil, he will give you your rewards and will not ask of you your possessions. If he should ask you for it and urge you, you will be niggardly and he will bring forth your malice. Behold, you are those who are called upon to spend in Allah's way, but among you are those who are niggardly, and whoever is niggardly is niggardly against his own soul. And Allah is self-sufficient, and you have need of him. And if you turn back, he will bring in your place another people. Then they will not be like you. End of Surah 47 
Surah 48 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shakir. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 48, Victory, Conquest, Al-Fatih, revealed at Medina. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Surely we have given to you a clear victory, that Allah may forgive your community their past faults, and those to follow and complete his favor to you and keep you on a right way, and that Allah might help you with the mighty help. He it is who sent down tranquility into the hearts of the believers, that they might have more of faith added to their faith. And Allah's are the hosts of the heavens and the earth, and Allah is knowing wise, that he may cause the believing men and the believing women to enter gardens beneath which rivers flow, to abide therein and remove from them their evil, and that is a grand achievement with Allah, and that he may punish the hypocritical men and the hypocritical women, and the polytheistic men and the polytheistic women, the entertainers of evil thoughts about Allah. On them is the evil turn, and Allah is wrath with them, and has cursed them, and prepared hell for them, and evil is the resort. And Allah's are the hosts of the heavens and the earth, and Allah is mighty wise. Surely we have sent you as a witness and as a bearer of good news, and as a warner, that you may believe in Allah and his messenger, and may aid him and revere him, and that you may declare his glory morning and evening. Surely those who swear allegiance to you do but swear allegiance to Allah. The hand of Allah is above their hands. Therefore, whoever breaks his faith, he breaks it only to the injury of his own soul. And whoever fulfills what he has covenanted with Allah, he will grant him a mighty reward. Those of the dwellers of the desert who were left behind will say to you, our property and our families kept us busy, so ask forgiveness for us. They say with their tongues what is not in their hearts. Say then, who can control anything for you from Allah? if he intends to do you harm, or if he intends to do you good. Nay, Allah is aware of what you do. Nay, you rather thought that the messenger and the believers would not return to their families ever, and that was made fair-seeming to your hearts, and you thought an evil thought, and you were a people doomed to perish. And whoever does not believe in Allah and his messenger, then surely we have prepared burning fire for the unbelievers. And Allah's is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. He forgives whom he pleases and punishes whom he pleases. And Allah is forgiving merciful. Those who are left behind will say, when you set forth for the gaining of acquisitions, allow us that we may follow you. They desire to change the word of Allah. Say, by no means shall you follow us. Thus did Allah say before, but they will say, nay, you are jealous of us. Nay, they do not understand but a little. Say to those of the dwellers of the desert who were left behind, you shall soon be invited to fight against a people possessing mighty prowess. 
you will fight against them until they submit. Then if you obey, Allah will grant you a good reward. And if you turn back as you turned back before, he will punish you with a painful punishment. There is no harm in the blind, nor is there any harm in the lame, nor is there any harm in the sick. If they do not go forth, and whoever obeys Allah and his messenger, he will cause him to enter gardens beneath which rivers flow. And whoever turns back, he will punish him with a painful punishment. Certainly, Allah was well pleased with the believers when they swore allegiance to you under the tree, and he knew what was in their hearts so he sent down tranquility on them and rewarded them with a near victory and many acquisitions which they will take and allah is mighty wise allah promised you many acquisitions which you will take then he hastened on this one for you and held back the hands of men from you and that it may be a sign for the believers, and that he may guide you on a right path. And others which you have not yet been able to achieve, Allah has surely encompassed them, and Allah has power over all things. And if those who disbelieve fight with you, they would certainly turn their backs, then they would not find any protector or a helper. Such has been the course of Allah that has indeed run before, and you shall not find a change in Allah's course. And he it is who held back their hands from you and your hands from them in the valley of Mecca, after he had given you victory over them. And Allah is seeing what you do. It is they who disbelieved and turned you away from the sacred mosque and turned off the offering withheld from arriving at its destined place. And were it not for the believing men and the believing women whom not having known, you might have trodden down. And thus something hateful might have afflicted you on their account without knowledge, so that Allah may cause to enter into his mercy whomsoever he pleases. Had they been widely separated one from another, we would surely have punished those who disbelieved from among them with a painful punishment. When those who disbelieved harbored in their hearts feelings of disdain, the disdain of the days of ignorance, but Allah sent down his tranquility on his messenger and on the believers and made them keep the word of guarding against evil. And they were entitled to it and worthy of it and Allah is cognizant of all things. Certainly, Allah had shown to his messenger the vision with truth. You shall most certainly enter the sacred mosque, if Allah pleases, in security, some having their heads shaved and others having their hair cut. You shall not fear. But he knows what you do not know, so he brought about a near victory before that. He it is who sent his messenger with the guidance and the true religion, that he may make it prevail over all the religions. And Allah is enough for a witness. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, and those with him are firm of heart against the unbelievers. Compassionate among themselves, you will see them bowing down, prostrating themselves, seeking grace from Allah and pleasure. Their marks are in their faces. Because of the effect of prostration, 
that is their description in the Torah and their description in the Injil. Like a seed produced that puts forth its sprout, then strengthens it, so it becomes stout and stands firmly on its stem, delighting the sowers that he may enrage the unbelievers on account of them. Allah has promised those among them who believe and do good, forgiveness and the great reward. End of Surah 48 Surah 49 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker this LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 49, The Private Apartments, al hujurat Revealed at Medina In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. O you who believe, be not forward in the presence of Allah and His Messenger, and be careful of your duty to Allah, Surely Allah is hearing, knowing. O you who believe, do not raise your voices above the voice of the Prophet, and do not speak loud to him as you speak loud to one another, lest your deeds become null while you do not perceive. Surely those who lower their voices before Allah's Messenger are they whose hearts Allah has proved for guarding against evil. They shall have forgiveness and a great reward. As for those who call out to you from behind the private chambers, surely most of them do not understand. And if they wait patiently until you come out to them, it would certainly be better for them and Allah is forgiving, merciful. O you who believe, if an evildoer comes to you with a report, look carefully into it, lest you harm a people in ignorance, then be sorry for what you have done, and know that among you is Allah's messenger. Should he obey you in many a matter? you would surely fall into distress. But Allah has endeared the faith to you and has made it seemly in your hearts, and he has made hateful to you unbelief and transgression and disobedience. These it is that are the followers of a right way. By grace from Allah and as a favor, and Allah is knowing wise. And if two parties of the believers quarrel, make peace between them. But if one of them acts wrongfully towards the other, fight that which acts wrongfully until it returns to Allah's command. Then, if it returns, make peace between them with justice and act equitably. Surely Allah loves those who act equitably. The believers are but brethren, therefore make peace between your brethren, and be careful of your duty to Allah, that mercy may be had on you. O you who believe, let not one people laugh at another people, Perchance they may be better than they, nor let women laugh at other women. Perchance they may be better than they, and do not find fault with your own people, nor call one another by nicknames. Evil is a bad name after faith, and whoever does not turn, these it is that are the unjust. O you who believe, avoid most of suspicion, for surely suspicion in some cases is a sin, and do not spy, nor let some of you backbite others. Does one of you 
like to eat the flesh of his dead brother, but you abhor it, and be careful of your duty to Allah. Surely Allah is oft returning to mercy, merciful. O you men, surely we have created you of a male and a female, and made you tribes and families that you may know each other. Surely the most honorable of you with Allah is the one among you most careful of his duty. Surely Allah is knowing, aware. The dwellers of the desert say, we believe. Say, you do not believe, but say, we submit. And faith has not yet entered into your hearts. And if you obey Allah and his messenger, he will not diminish aught of your deeds. Surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. The believers are only those who believe in Allah and his messenger. Then they doubt not and struggle hard with their wealth and their lives in the way of Allah. They are the truthful ones. Say, do you apprise Allah of your religion? And Allah knows what is in the heavens and what is in the earth. And Allah is cognizant of all things. They think that they lay you under an obligation by becoming Muslims. Say, lay me not under obligation by your Islam. Rather, Allah lays you under an obligation by guiding you to the faith if you are truthful. Surely, Allah knows the unseen things of the heavens and the earth, and Allah sees what you do. End of Surah 49Surah 50 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 50 The letter Qaf Qaf Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah The most beneficent The most merciful Qaf I swear by the glorious Quran that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Nay, they wonder that there has come to them a warner from among themselves. So the unbelievers say, this is a wonderful thing. What? When we are dead and have become dust, that is a far from probable return. We know indeed what the earth diminishes of them, and with us is a writing that preserves. Nay, they rejected the truth when it came to them, so they are now in a state of confusion. Do they not then look up to heaven above them how we have made it and adorned it and it has no gaps, and the earth we have made it plain and cast in it mountains and we have made to grow the rain of all beautiful kinds. To give sight and as a reminder to every servant who turns frequently to Allah. And we send down from the cloud water abounding in good. Then we cause to grow thereby gardens and the grain that is reaped, and the tall palm trees having species closely set one above another, a sustenance for the servants, and we give life thereby to a dead land. Thus is the rising. Others before them rejected prophets, the people of Nuh and the dwellers of Ras and Samud and Ad and Pharaoh and Lut's brethren, and the dwellers of the grove and the people of Tobba, who rejected the messengers, 
so my threat came to pass. Were we then fatigued with the first creation, yet are they in doubt with regard to a new creation? And certainly we created man, and we know what his mind suggests to him, and we are nearer to him than his life vain. When the two receivers receive sitting on the right and on the left. He utters not a word, but there is by him a watcher at hand. And the stupor of death will come in truth, that is what you were trying to escape. And the trumpet shall be blown, that is the day of the threatening. And every soul shall come with it a driver and a witness. Certainly you were heedless of it, but now we have removed from you your veil, so your sight today is sharp. And his companions shall say, This is what is ready with me. Do cast into hell every ungrateful, rebellious one, forbidder of good, exceeder of limits, doubter who sets up another god with Allah, so do cast him into severe chastisement. His companion will say, Our Lord, I did not lead him into an ordinary, but he himself was in a great error. He will say, Do not quarrel in my presence, and indeed I gave you the threatening beforehand. My word shall not be changed, nor am I in the least unjust to the servants. On the day that we will say to hell, Are you filled up? And it will say, Are there any more? And the garden shall be brought near to those who guard against evil, not far off. This is what you were promised. It is for everyone who turns frequently to Allah, keeps his limits, who fears the beneficent Allah in secret and comes with a penitent heart. Enter it in peace, that is the day of abiding. They have therein what they wish and with us is more yet. And how many a generation did we destroy before them who were mightier in prowess than they? So they went about and about in the lands. Is there a place of refuge? Most surely there is a reminder in this for him who has a heart or he gives ear and is a witness. And certainly we created the heavens and the earth, and what is between them in six periods, and there touched us not any fatigue. Therefore be patient of what they say, and sing the praise of your Lord before the rising of the sun and before the setting, and glorify him in the night and after the prayers, and listen on the day when the crier shall cry from a near place, the day when they shall hear the cry in truth. That is the day of coming forth. Surely we give life and cause to die, and to us is the eventual coming, the day on which the earth shall cleave asunder under them. They will make haste, that is a gathering together easy to us. We know best what they say, and you are not one to compel them. Therefore remind him by means of the Quran who fears my threat. End of Surah 50 Surah 51 of the Holy Quran Translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain.
Sura 51 The Winnowing Winds Zariyat Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I swear by the wind that scatters far and wide, then those clouds bearing the load of minute things in space, then those ships that glide easily, then those angels who distribute blessings by our command. What you are threatened with is most surely true, and the judgment must most surely come about. I swear by the heaven full of ways, most surely you are at variance with each other in what you say. He is turned away from it who would be turned away. Cursed be the liars who are in a gulf of ignorance neglectful. They ask when is the day of judgment. It is the day on which they shall be tried at the fire. Taste your persecution. This is what you would hasten on. Surely those who guard against evil shall be in gardens and fountains, taking what their Lord gives them. Surely they were before that the doers of good. They used to sleep but little in the night, and in the morning they asked, forgiveness and in their property was a portion due to him who begs and to him who is denied good and in the earth there are signs for those who are sure and in your own souls too will you not then see and in the heaven is your sustenance and what you are threatened with and by the Lord of the heavens and the earth, it is most surely the truth, just as you do speak. Has there come to you information about the honored guests of Ibrahim? When they entered upon him, they said, Peace, peace, said he, a strange people. Then he turned aside to his family secretly and brought a fat roasted calf so he brought it near them he said what will you not eat so he conceived in his mind a fear on account of them they said fear not and they gave him the good news of a boy possessing knowledge then his wife came up in great grief and she struck her face and said, An old barren woman? They said, Thus says your Lord, Surely he is the wise, the knowing. He said, What is your affair then, O messengers? They said, Surely we are sent to a guilty people, that we may send down upon them stone of clay. Sent forth from your Lord for the extravagant. Then we brought forth such as were therein of the believers. But we did not find therein save a single house of those who submitted the Muslims. And we left therein a sign for those who fear the painful punishment. And in Musa, when we sent him to Pharaoh, with clear authority but he turned away with his forces and said a magician or a madman so we seized him and his horse and hurled them into the sea and he was blamable and in had when we sent upon them the destructive wind it did not leave oat on which it blew, but it made it like ashes. And in Samud, when it was said to them, Enjoy yourselves for a while, 
but they revolted against the commandment of their Lord. So the rumbling overtook them while they saw. So they were not able to rise up, nor could they defend themselves. And the people of Nuh before, surely they were a transgressing people. And the heaven we raised it high with power, and most surely we are the makers of things ample. And the earth we have made it a wide extent. How well have we then spread it out? And of everything we have created purse, that you may be mindful. Therefore fly to Allah. Surely I am a plain warner to you from him. And do not set up with Allah another God. Surely I am a plain warner to you from him. Thus there did not come to those before them a messenger, but they said, A magician or a madman. Have they charged each other with this? Nay, they are an inordinate people. Then turn your back upon them, for you are not to blame. And continue to remind, for surely the reminder profits the believers. And I have not created the jinn and the men except that they should serve me. I do not desire from them any sustenance, and I do not desire that they should feed me. Surely Allah is the bestower of sustenance the Lord of power, the strong. So surely those who are unjust shall have a portion like the portion of their companions. Therefore, let them not ask me to hasten on. Therefore, woe to those who disbelieve because of their day which they are threatened with. End of Surah 51 Surah 52 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 52, the Mount, a tour revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I swear by the mountain and the book written, in an outstretched fine parchment, and the house Kaaba that is visited, and the elevated canopy, and the swollen sea, most surely the punishment of your Lord will come to pass. There shall be none to avert it. On the day when the heaven shall move from side to side, and the mountains shall pass away, passing away altogether. So woe on that day to those who reject the truth, those who sport entering into vain discourses, the day on which they shall be driven away to the fire of hell with violence. This is the fire which you use to give the lie to. Is it magic then, or do you not see? Enter into it, then bear it patiently. Or do not bear it patiently, it is the same to you. You shall be requited only for what you did. Surely those who guard against evil shall be in gardens and bliss, rejoicing because of what their Lord gave them and their Lord saved them from the punishment of the burning fire. Eat and drink pleasantly for what you did, reclining on thrones set in lines, and we will unite them to large-eyed beautiful ones. 
And as for those who believe and their offspring follow them in faith, we will unite with them their offspring, and we will not diminish to them out of their work. Every man is responsible for what he shall have wrought, and we will aid them with fruit and flesh, such as they desire. They shall pass therein from one to another a cup, wherein there shall be nothing vain nor any sin. And round them shall go boys of theirs, as if they were hidden pearls. And some of them shall advance towards others, questioning each other, saying, Surely we feared before on account of our families, but Allah has been gracious to us, and he has saved us from the punishment of the hot wind. Surely we called upon him before, surely he is the benign, the merciful. Therefore continue to remind, for by the grace of your Lord you are not a soothsayer or a madman. Or do they say, a poet, we wait for him the evil accidents of time. Say wait, for surely I too with you am of those who wait. Nay, do their understandings bid them this? Or are they an inordinate people? Or do they say he has forged it? Nay, they do not believe. Then let them bring an announcement like it, if they are truthful. Or were they created without their being anything? Or are they the creators? Or did they create the heavens and the earth? Nay, they have no certainty. Or have they treasures of your Lord with them? Or have they been set in absolute authority? Or have they the means by which they listen? Then let their listeners bring a clear authority. Or has he daughters while you have sons? Or do you ask them for a reward so that they are overburdened by a debt? Or have they the unseen so that they write it down? Or do they desire a war, but those who disbelieve shall be the vanquished ones in war? Or have they a God other than Allah? Glory be to Allah from what they set up with him. And if they should see a portion of the heaven coming down, they would say, piled up clouds. Leave them then till they meet that day of theirs wherein they shall be made to swoon with terror. The day on which their struggle shall not avail them aught, nor shall they be helped, and surely those who are unjust shall have a punishment besides that in the world but most of them do not know. And wait patiently for the judgment of your Lord, for surely you are before our eyes, and sing the praise of your Lord when you rise. And in the night give him glory too, and at the setting of the stars. End of Surah 52. Surah 53 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 53, the star, an enigm, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I swear by the star when it goes down. Your companion does not err, nor does he go astray, nor does he speak out of desire. 
It is naught but revelation that is revealed. The Lord of mighty power has taught him. The Lord of strength, so he attained completion. And he is in the highest part of the horizon. Then he drew near, then he bowed. So he was the measure of two bows, or closer still. And he revealed to his servant what he revealed. The heart was not untrue in making him see what he saw. What? Do you then dispute with him as to what he saw? And certainly he saw him in another descent at the farthest Luti tree, near which is the garden, the place to be resorted to, when that which covers covered the Luti tree. The eye did not turn aside, nor did it exceed the limit. Certainly he saw of the greatest signs of his Lord. Have you then considered the Lat and the Uzza, and Manat the third, the last? What, for you the males, and for him the females? This indeed is an unjust division. They are not but names which you have named, you and your fathers. Allah has not sent for them any authority. They follow not but conjecture and the low desires which their souls incline to. And certainly the guidance has come to them from their Lord. Or shall man have what he wishes? Nay, for Allah is the hereafter and the former life. And how many an angel is there in the heavens whose intercession does not avail at all except after Allah has given permission to whom he pleases and chooses. Most surely they who do not believe in the hereafter name the angels with female names and they have no knowledge of it. They do not follow anything but conjecture, and surely conjecture does not avail against the truth at all. Therefore turn aside from him who turns his back upon our reminder, and does not desire anything but this world's life. That is the goal of knowledge. Surely your Lord knows best him who goes astray from his path and he knows best him who follows the right direction. And Allah's is what is in the heavens and what is in the earth, that he may reward those who do evil according to what they do, and that he may reward those who do good with goodness. Those who keep aloof from the great sins and the indecencies, but the passing idea. Surely your Lord is liberal in forgiving. He knows you best when he brings you forth from the earth and when you are embryos in the wombs of your mothers. Therefore, do not attribute purity to your souls. He knows him best who guards against evil. Have you then seen him who turns his back and gives a little and then withholds? Has he the knowledge of the unseen so that he can see? Or has he not been informed of what is in the scriptures of Musa and of Ibrahim, who fulfilled the commandments that no bearer of burden shall bear the burden of another, and that man shall have nothing but what he strives for, and that his striving shall soon be seen, 
then shall he be rewarded for it with the fullest reward and that to your lord is the goal and that he it is who makes men laugh and makes them weep and that he it is who causes death and gives life and that he created pearls the male and the female from the small seed when it is adapted and that on him is the bringing forth a second time, and that he it is who enriches and gives to hold, and that he is the lord of the serious, and that he did destroy the Ad of old and Samud, so he spared not. And the people of Nuh before, Surely they were most unjust and inordinate, and the overthrown cities did he overthrow. So there covered them that which covered. Which of your Lord's benefits will you then dispute about? This is a warner of the warners of old. The near event draws nigh. There shall be none besides Allah to remove it. Do you then wonder at this announcement? And will you laugh and not weep? While you are indulging in varieties, so make obeisance to Allah and serve Him. End of Surah 53 Surah 54 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 54, the moon, Al-Qamar, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. The hour drew nigh and the moon did rend asunder. And if they see a miracle, they turn aside and say transient magic. And they call it a lie and follow their low desires. And every affair has its appointed term. And certainly some narratives have come to them, wherein is prevention consummate wisdom, but warnings do not avail. So turn your back on them for the day when the inviter shall invite them to a hard task. Their eyes cast down, going forth from their graves as if they were scattered locusts. Hastening to the inviter, the unbelievers shall say, this is a hard day. Before them, the people of Nuh rejected. So they rejected our servant and called him mad, and he was driven away. Therefore he called upon his Lord, I am overcome. Come thou then to help. So we opened the gates of the cloud with water pouring and we made water to flow forth in the land in springs. So the water gathered together according to a measure already ordained. And we bore him on that which was made of planks and nails, sailing before our eyes, a reward for him who was denied. And certainly we left it as a sign but is there anyone who will mind? How great was then my punishment and my warning. And certainly we have made the Quran easy for remembrance, but is there anyone who will mind? Ad treated the truth as a lie, so how great was my punishment and my warning. Surely we sent on them a tornado in a day of bitter ill luck, 
tearing men away as if they were the trunks of palm trees torn up. How great was then my punishment and my warning. And certainly we have made the Quran easy for remembrance, but is there anyone who will mind? Samud rejected the warning. So they said, what a single mortal from among us. Shall we follow him? Most surely we shall in that case be in sure error and distress. Has the reminder been made to light upon him from among us? Nay, he is an insolent liar. Tomorrow shall they know who is the liar, the insolent one. Surely we are going to send the she-camel as a trial for them. Therefore watch them and have patience. And inform them that the water is shared between them. Every share of the water shall be regulated. But they called their companion, so he took the sword and slew her. How great was then my punishment and my warning. Surely we sent upon them a single cry, so they were like the dry fragments of trees, which the maker of an enclosure collects. And certainly we have made the Quran easy for remembrance. But is there anyone who will mind the people of Lut treated the warning as a lie. Surely we sent upon them a stone storm, except Lut's followers. We saved them a little before daybreak. A favor from us, thus do we reward him who gives thanks. And certainly he warned them of our violent seizure but they obstinately disputed the warning and certainly they endeavored to turn him from his guests but we blinded their eyes so taste my chastisement and my warning and certainly a lasting chastisement overtook them in the morning so taste my chastisement and my warning, and certainly we have made the Quran easy for remembrance, but is there anyone who will mind? And certainly the warning came to Pharaoh's people. They rejected all our communications, so we overtook them after the manner of a mighty, powerful one. Are the unbelievers of yours better than these? Or is there an exemption for you in the scriptures? Or do they say, we are a host allied together to help each other? Soon shall the hosts be routed and they shall turn their backs. Nay, the hour is their promised time and the hour shall be most grievous and bitter. Surely the guilty are in error and distress on the day when they shall be dragged upon their faces into the fire. Taste the touch of hell. Surely we have created everything according to a measure. And our command is but one, as the twinkling of an eye, and certainly we have already destroyed the, the likes of you, but is there anyone who will mind? And everything they have done is in the writings. And everything small and great is written down. Surely those who guard against evil shall be in gardens and rivers, in the seat of honor with the most powerful king. End of Surah 54
Surah 55 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 55, the Beneficent, Ar-Rahman, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, the beneficent Allah taught the Quran. He created man, taught him the mode of expression. The sun and the moon follow a reckoning, and the herbs and the trees do prostrate to him. And the heaven, he raised it high, and he made the balance, that you may not be inordinate in respect of the measure, and keep up the balance with equity and do not make the measure deficient and the earth he has set it for living creatures therein is fruit and palms having cheese clusters and the grain with its husk and fragrance which then of the bounties of your lord will you deny he created man from dry clay like earthen vessels and he created the jinn of a flame of fire which then of the bounties of your lord will you deny lord of the east and lord of the west which then of the bounties of your lord will you deny he has made the two seas to flow freely so that they meet together between them is a barrier which they cannot pass which then of the bounties of your lord will you deny there come forth from them pearls both large and small which then of the bounties of your lord will you deny and his are the ships reared aloft in the sea like mountains which then of the bounties of your lord will you deny every one on it must pass away and there will endure forever the person of your lord the lord of glory and honor which then of the bounties of your lord will you deny all those who are in the heavens and the earth ask of him every moment he is in a state of glory which then of the bounties of your lord will you deny soon will we apply ourselves to you o you two armies which then of the bounties of your lord will you deny o assembly of the jinn and the men if you are able to pass through the regions of the heavens and the earth then pass through you cannot pass through but with authority which then of the bounties of your lord will you deny the flames of fire and smoke will be sent on you too then you will not be able to defend yourselves which then of the bounties of your lord will you deny and when the heaven is rent asunder and then becomes red like red hide which then of the bounties of your lord will you deny so on that day neither man nor jinni shall be asked about his sin which then of the bounties of your lord will you deny the guilty shall be recognized by their marks so they shall be seized by the four locks and the feet which then of the bounties of your lord will you deny this is the hell which the guilty called a lie round about shall they go between it and hot boiling water which then of the bounties of your lord 
will you deny? And for him who fears to stand before his Lord are two gardens, which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny, having in them various kinds? Which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? In both of them are two fountains flowing, which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? In both of them are two pairs of every fruit, which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? Reclining on beds, the inner coverings of which are of silk brocade, and the fruits of the two gardens shall be within reach, which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? In them shall be those who restrained their eyes before them, neither man nor jinn shall have touched them. Which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? As though they were rubies and pearls, which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? Is the reward of goodness aught but goodness? Which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? And besides these two are two other gardens, which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny, both inclining to blackness? Which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? In both of them are two springs gushing forth. Which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? In both are fruits and palms and pomegranates. Which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? In them are goodly things, beautiful ones. Which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? Pure ones confined to the pavilions. Which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? Man has not touched them before them nor jinn. Which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? Reclining on green cushions and beautiful carpets, which then of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? Blessed be the name of your Lord, the Lord of glory and honor. End of Surah 55of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 56, The Event, Al-Waqi'ah, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, when the great event comes to pass, there is no belying its coming to pass, abasing one party, exalting the other. When the earth shall be shaken with a severe shaking, and the mountains shall be made to crumble with an awful crumbling, so that they shall be as scattered dust, and you shall be three sorts, then as to the companions of the right hand, how happy are the companions of the right hand. And as to the companions of the left hand, how wretched are the companions of the left hand, and the foremost are the foremost. These are they who are drawn nigh to Allah in the gardens of bliss, a numerous company from among the first, 
and a few from among the latter. On thrones decorated, reclining on them, facing one another. Round about them shall go youth, never altering in age, with goblets and ewers and a cup of pure drink. They shall not be affected with headache thereby, nor shall they get exhausted, and fruits such as they choose, and the flesh of fowl such as they desire and pure beautiful ones, the like of the hidden pearls, a reward for what they used to do. They shall not hear therein vain or sinful discourse, except the word peace, peace, and the companions of the right hand, how happy are the companions of the right hand, amid thornless looty trees, and banana trees with fruits, one above another, and extended shade, and water flowing constantly, and abundant fruit, neither intercepted nor forbidden, and exalted thrones. Surely we have made them to grow into a new growth, then we have made them virgins, loving equals in age for the sake of the companions of the right hand a numerous company from among the first and a numerous company from among the last and those of the left hand how wretched are those of the left hand in hot wind and boiling water and the shade of black smoke neither cool nor honorable. Surely they were before that made to live in ease and plenty, and they persisted in the great violation, and they used to say, What? When we die and have become dust and bones, shall we then indeed be raised? Or our fathers of yore, Say the first and the last shall most surely be gathered together for the appointed hour of an own day. Then shall you, O you who err and call it a lie, most surely eat of a tree of zakum and fill your bellies with it. Then drink over it of boiling water and drink as drinks the thirsty camel. This is their entertainment on the day of requital. We have created you. Why do you not then assent? Have you considered the seed? Is it you that create it, or are we the creators? We have ordained death among you, and we are not to be overcome in order that we may bring in your place the likes of you and make you grow into what you know not. And certainly you know the first growth. Why do you not then mind? Have you considered what you saw? Is it you that cause it to grow, or are we the causers of growth? If we pleased, we should have certainly made it broken down into pieces. Then would you begin to lament? Surely we are burdened with debt. Nay, we are deprived. Have you considered the water which you drink? Is it you that send it down from the clouds, or are we the senders? If we pleased, we would have made it salty. Why do you not then give thanks? Have you considered the fire which you strike? Is it you that produce the trees for it? Or are we the producers? We have made it a reminder and an advantage for the wayfarers of the desert. Therefore, 
Glorify the name of your Lord, the great. But nay, I swear by the falling of stars, and most surely it is a very great oath, if you only knew. Most surely it is an honored Quran. In a book that is protected, none shall touch it save the purified ones. A revelation by the Lord of the worlds. Do you then hold this announcement in contempt? And to give it the lie, you make your means of subsistence. Why is it not then that when its soul comes up to the throat, and you at that time look on, and we are nearer to it than you, but you do not see? Then why is it not? if you are not held under authority, that you send it not back if you are truthful. Then, if he is one of those drawn nigh to Allah, then happiness and bounty and the garden of bliss. And if he is one of those on the right hand, then peace to you from those on the right hand. And if he is one of the rejecters, the erring ones, he shall have an entertainment of boiling water and burning in hell. Most surely this is a certain truth. Therefore glorify the name of your Lord, the Great. End of Surah 56、Surah、شاكر And he is the mighty, the wise. His is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. He gives life and causes death, and he has power over all things. He is the first and the last, and the ascendant over all, and the knower of hidden things, and he is cognizant of all things. He it is who created the heavens and the earth in six periods, and he is firm in power. He knows that which goes deep down into the earth, and that which comes forth out of it, and that which comes down from the heaven, and that which goes up into it. And he is with you wherever you are, and Allah sees what you do. His is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, and to Allah are all affairs returned. He causes the night to enter in upon the day, and causes the day to enter in upon the night, and He is cognizant of what is in the hearts. Believe in Allah and His Messenger, and spend out of what He has made you to be successors of. For those of you who believe and spend shall have a great reward. And what reason have you that you should not believe in Allah? And the Messenger calls on you that you may believe in your Lord. And indeed, He has made a covenant with you if you are believers. He it is who sends down clear communications upon his servant, that he may bring you forth from utter darkness into light, and most surely Allah is kind, merciful to you. And what reason have you that you should not spend in Allah's way? And Allah's is the inheritance of the heavens and the earth. Not alike among you are those who spent before the victory and fought, and those who did not. They are more exalted in rank 
than those who spent and fought afterwards. And Allah has promised good to all, and Allah is aware of what you do. Who is there that will offer to Allah a good gift? So he will double it for him, and he shall have an excellent reward. On that day you will see the faithful men and the faithful women, their light running before them and on their right hand. Good news for you today. Gardens beneath which rivers flow to abide therein, that is the grand achievement. On the day when the hypocritical men and the hypocritical women will say to those who believe, wait for us that we may have light from your light, it shall be said, turn back and seek a light. Then separation would be brought about between them, with a wall having a door in it. As for the inside of it, there shall be mercy in it. And as for the outside of it, before it there shall be punishment. They will cry out to them, Were we not with you? They shall say, Yea, but you caused yourself to fall into temptation, and you waited and doubted, and vain desires deceived you, till the threatened punishment of Allah came while the arch deceiver deceived you about Allah. So today ransom shall not be accepted from you, nor from those who disbelieved. Your abode is the fire, it is your friend, and evil is the resort. Has not the time yet come for those who believe that their hearts should be humble for the remembrance of Allah and what has come down of the truth? and that they should not be like those who were given the book before, but the time became prolonged to them, so their hearts hardened, and most of them are transgressors. Know that Allah gives life to the earth after its death. Indeed, we have made the communications clear to you that you may understand. Surely as for the charitable men and the charitable women and those who set apart for Allah a goodly portion, it shall be doubled for them and they shall have a noble reward. And as for those who believe in Allah and his messengers, these it is that are the truthful and the faithful ones in the sight of their Lord they shall have their reward and their light, and as for those who disbelieve and reject our communications, these are the inmates of the hell. Know that this world's life is only sport and play, and gaiety and boasting among yourselves, and avying in the multiplication of wealth and children like the rain who is causing the vegetation to grow, pleases the husbandman, then it withers away so that you will see it become yellow. Then it becomes dried up and broken down. And in the hereafter is a severe chastisement and also forgiveness from Allah and his pleasure. And this world's life is not but means of deception. Hasten to forgiveness from your Lord and to a garden the extensiveness of which is as the extensiveness of the heaven and the earth. It is prepared for those who believe in Allah and his messengers. That is the grace of Allah. He gives it to whom he pleases and Allah is the Lord of mighty grace. No evil befalls on the earth nor in your own souls, but it is in a book before we bring it into existence. Surely that is easy to Allah. So that you may not grieve for what has escaped you, nor be exultant at what he has given you. And Allah does not love any arrogant boaster, 
those who are niggardly and enjoin niggardliness on men. And whoever turns back, then surely Allah is he who is the self-sufficient, the praised. Certainly we sent our messengers with clear arguments and sent down with them the book and the balance that men may conduct themselves with equity. And we have made the ayr, wherein is great violence and advantages to men, and that Allah may know who helps him and his messengers in the secret. Surely Allah is a strong mighty. And certainly we sent Nuh and Ibrahim, and we gave to their offspring the gift of prophecy and the book. So there are among them those who go aright, and most of them are transgressors. Then we made our messengers to follow in their footsteps, and we sent Isa, son of Maryam, afterwards, and we gave him the Injil, and we put in the hearts of those who followed him kindness and mercy. And as for Moncri, they innovated it. We did not prescribe it to them, only to seek Allah's pleasure, but they did not observe it with its due observance. So we gave to those of them who believed their reward, and most of them are transgressors. O you who believe, be careful of your duty to Allah, and believe in his messenger. He will give you two portions of his mercy, and make for you a light with which you will walk and forgive you, and Allah is forgiving, merciful. So that the followers of the book may know that they do not control aught of the grace of Allah, and the grace is in Allah's hand. He gives it to whom he pleases, and Allah is the Lord of mighty grace. End of Surah 57 Surah 58 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 58, The Pleading Woman, Al-Mugadila, revealed at Medina. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Allah indeed knows the plea of her who pleads with you about her husband and complains to Allah. And Allah knows the contentions of both of you. Surely Allah is hearing, seeing. As for those of you who put away their wives by likening their backs to the backs of their mothers, they are not their mothers. Their mothers are no others than those who gave them birth, and most surely they utter a hateful word and a falsehood, and most surely Allah is pardoning, forgiving. And as for those who put away their wives by likening their backs to the backs of their mothers, then would recall what they said. They should free a captive before they touch each other. To that you are admonished to conform, and Allah is aware of what you do. But whoever has not the means, let him fast for two months successively before they touch each other. Then as for him who is not able, let him feed sixty needy ones. That is in order that you may have faith in Allah and his messenger. And these are Allah's limits. And the unbelievers shall have a painful punishment. Surely those who act in opposition to Allah and his messenger shall be laid down prostrate as those before them were laid down prostrate 
and indeed we have revealed the clear communications and the unbelievers shall have an amazing chastisement on the day when allah will raise them up all together then inform them of what they did allah has recorded it while they have forgotten it and allah is a witness of all things do you not see that allah knows whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth nowhere is there a secret council between three persons but he is the force of them nor between five but he is the fix of them nor less than that nor more but he is with them wheresoever they are then he will inform them of what they did on the day of resurrection surely allah is cognizant of all things have you not seen those who are forbidden secret councils then they return to what they are forbidden and they hold secret councils for sin and revolt and disobedience to the messenger and when they come to you they greet you with a greeting with which allah doesn't greet you and they say in themselves why does not allah punish us for what we say hell is enough for them they shall enter it and evil is the resort o you who believe when you confer together in private do not give to each other counsel of sin and revolt and disobedience to the messenger and give to each other counsel of goodness and guarding against evil and be careful of your duty to allah to whom you shall be gathered together secret counsels are only the work of the shaitan that he may cause to grieve those who believe and he cannot hurt them in the least except with allah's permission and on allah let the believers rely o you who believe when it is said to you make room in your assemblies then make ample room allah will give you ample and when it is said rise up then rise up allah will exalt those of you who believe and those who are given knowledge in high degrees and allah is aware of what you do o you who believe when you consult the messenger then offer something in charity before your consultation that is better for you and purer but if you don't find then surely allah is forgiving merciful do you fear that you will not be able to give in charity before your consultation so when you do not do it and allah has turned to you mercifully then keep a prayer and pay the poor rate and obey allah and his messenger and allah is aware of what you do have you not seen those who befriend a people with whom allah is wroth they are neither of you nor of them and they swear falsely while they know allah has prepared for them a severe punishment surely what they do is evil they make their oath to serve as a cover so they turn away from allah's way therefore they shall have an amazing chastisement neither their wealth nor their children shall avail them aught against allah they are the inmates of the fire therein they shall abide on the day that allah will raise them up all then they will swear to him as they swear to you and they think that they have something now surely they are the liars the shaitan has gained the mastery over them so he has made them forget the remembrance of allah they are the shaitan's party now surely the shaitan's party are the losers 
surely as for those who are in opposition to Allah and his messenger, they shall be among the most abased. Allah has written down, I will most certainly prevail. I and my messengers, surely Allah is strong, mighty. You shall not find a people who believe in Allah and the latter day befriending those who act in opposition to Allah and his messenger, even though they were their own fathers or their sons or their brothers or their kinsfolk. These are they into whose hearts he has impressed faith and whom he has strengthened with an inspiration from him and he will cause them to enter gardens beneath which rivers flow abiding therein allah is well pleased with them and they are well pleased with him these are allah's party now surely the party of allah are the successful ones end of surah 58 Surah 59 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 59, Exile, al hash revealed at Medina. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth, declares the glory of Allah, and he is the mighty, the wise. He it is who caused those who disbelieved of the followers of the book to go forth from their homes at the first banishment. You did not think that they would go forth, while they were certain that their fortresses would defend them against Allah. But Allah came to them, whence they did not expect and cast terror into their hearts. They demolished their houses with their own hands and the hands of the believers. Therefore, take a lesson. O you who have eyes, and had it not been that Allah had decreed for them the exile, he would certainly have punished them in this world, and in the hereafter they shall have chastisement of the fire. That is because they acted in opposition to Allah and his messenger, and whoever acts in opposition to Allah, then surely Allah is severe in retributing evil. Whatever palm tree you cut down or leave standing upon its roots, it is by Allah's command, and that he may abase the transgressors. And whatever Allah restored to his messenger, from them you did not press forward against it. Any horse or a riding camel but Allah gives authority to his messengers against whom he pleases, and Allah has power over all things. Whatever Allah has restored to his messenger from the people of the towns, it is for Allah and for the messenger, and for the near of kin, and the orphans, and the needy, and the wayfarer, so that it may not be a thing taken by turns among the rich of you, and whatever the messenger gives you, accept it, and from whatever he forbids you, keep back, and be careful of your duty to Allah. Surely Allah is severe in retributing evil. It is for the poor who fled their homes and their possessions, seeking grace of Allah and his pleasure, and assisting Allah and his messenger, these it is that are the truthful. And those who made their abode in the city, 
and in the faith before them love those who have fled to them and do not find in their hearts a need of what they are given and prefer them before themselves though poverty may afflict them and whoever is preserved from the niggardliness of his soul these it is that are the successful ones and those who come after them say our lord forgive us and those of our brethren who had precedence of us in faith and do not allow any spite to remain in our hearts toward those who believe our lord surely thou art kind merciful have you not seen those who have become hypocrites they say to those of their brethren who disbelieve from among the followers of the book if you are driven forth we shall certainly go forth with you and we will never obey any one concerning you and if you are fought against we will certainly help you and allah bears witness that they are most surely liars certainly if these are driven forth they will not go forth with them and if they are fought against they will not help them and even if they help them they will certainly turn their backs then they shall not be helped you are certainly greater in being feared in their hearts than allah that is because they are a people who do not understand they will not fight against you in a body save in fortified towns or from behind walls their fighting between them is severe you may think them as one body and their hearts are disunited that is because they are a people who have no sense like those before them shortly they tasted the evil result of their affair and they shall have a painful punishment like the shaitan when he says to man disbelieve but when he disbelieves he says i am surely clear of you surely i fear allah the lord of the worlds therefore the end of both of them is that they are both in the fire to abide therein and that is the reward of the unjust o you who believe be careful of your duty to allah and let every soul consider what it has sent on for the morrow and be careful of your duty to allah surely allah is aware of what you do and be not like those who forsook allah so he made them forsake their own souls these it is that are the transgressors not alike are the inmates of the fire and the dwellers of the garden the dwellers of the garden are they that are the achievers had we sent down this quran on a mountain you would certainly have seen it falling down splitting asunder because of the fear of allah and we set forth these parables to men that they may reflect he is allah besides whom there is no god the knower of the unseen and the seen he is the beneficent the merciful he is allah besides whom there is no god the king the holy the giver of peace the grantor of security guardian over all the mighty the supreme the possessor of every greatness glory be to allah from what they set up with him he is allah the creator the maker the fashioner his are the most excellent names whatever is in the heavens and the earth declares his glory and he is the mighty the wise end of surah 59
of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 60 She that is to be examined, Al Mumtahana, revealed at Medina. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. O you who believe, do not take my enemy and your enemy for friends. Would you offer them love while they deny what has come to you of the truth, driving out the messenger and yourselves because you believe in Allah, your Lord? If you go forth struggling hard in my path and seeking my pleasure, would you manifest love to them? And I know what you conceal and what you manifest. And whoever of you does this, he indeed has gone astray from the straight path. If they find you, they will be your enemies and will stretch forth towards you their hands and their tongues with evil, and they ardently desire that you may disbelieve. Your relationship would not profit you, nor your children on the day of resurrection. He will decide between you, and Allah sees what you do. Indeed, there is for you a good example in Ibrahim and those with him when they said to their people, Surely we are clear of you and of what you serve besides Allah. We declare ourselves to be clear of you and enmity and hatred have appeared between us and you forever until you believe in Allah alone but not in what Ibrahim said to his father. I would certainly ask forgiveness for you, and I do not control for you aught from Allah. Our Lord, on thee do we rely, and to thee do we turn, and to thee is the eventual coming. Our Lord, do not make us a trial for those who disbelieve, and forgive us, our Lord, surely thou art the mighty, the wise. Certainly there is for you in them a good example for him who fears Allah and the last day, and whoever turns back, then surely Allah is the self-sufficient, the praised. It may be that Allah will bring about friendship between you and those whom you hold to be your enemies among them. And Allah is powerful, and Allah is forgiving, merciful. Allah does not forbid you respecting those who have not made war against you on account of your religion, and have not driven you forth from your homes that you show them kindness and deal with them justly. Surely Allah loves the doers of justice. Allah only forbids you respecting those who made war upon you on account of your religion and drove you forth from your homes and backed up others in your expulsion that you make friends with them, and whoever makes friends with them, these are the unjust. O you who believe, when believing women come to you flying, then examine them. Allah knows best their faith. Then if you find them to be believing women, do not send them back to the unbelievers. Neither are these women lawful for them, nor are those men lawful for them, and give them what they have spent, and no blame attaches to you in marrying them, when you give them their dowries. And hold not to the ties of marriage of unbelieving women, 
and ask for what you have spent and let them ask for what they have spent. That is Allah's judgment. He judges between you and Allah is knowing wise. And if anything out of the dowries of your wives has passed away from you to the unbelievers, then your turn comes. Give to those whose wives have gone away the like of what they have spent. And be careful of your duty to Allah, in whom you believe. O Prophet, when believing women come to you, giving you a pledge that they will not associate aught with Allah, and will not steal, and will not commit fornication, and will not kill their children, and will not bring a calumny which they have forged of themselves, and will not disobey you in what is good. Accept their pledge and ask forgiveness for them from Allah. Surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. O you who believe, do not make friends with a people with whom Allah is wroth. Indeed, they despair of the hereafter as the unbelievers despair of those in tombs. End of Surah 60Surahs 61 to 65 of the Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 61, the ranks, as-saf, revealed at Medina. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth, declares the glory of Allah, and he is the mighty, the wise. O you who believe, why do you say that which you do not do? It is most hateful to Allah that you should say that which you do not do. Surely Allah loves those who fight in his way in ranks, as if they were a firm and compact wall. And when Musa said to his people, O oh my people, why do you give me trouble? And you know indeed that I am Allah's messenger to you. But when they turned aside, Allah made their hearts turn aside. And Allah doesn't guide the transgressing people. And when Isa son of Maryam said, O oh children of Israel, Surely I am the messenger of Allah to you, verifying that which is before me of the Torah and giving the good news of a messenger who will come after me, his name being Ahmad. But when he came to them with clear arguments, they said, This is clear magic. And who is more unjust than he who forges a lie against Allah? and he is invited to Islam, and Allah does not guide the unjust people. They desire to put out the light of Allah with their mouth, but Allah will perfect his light, though the unbelievers may be averse. He it is who sent his messenger with the guidance and the true religion, that he may make it overcome the religions. All of them, though the polytheist may be averse. O oh, you who believe, shall I lead you to a merchandise which may deliver you from a painful chastisement? You shall believe in Allah and his messenger and struggle hard in Allah's way with your property and your lives. That is better for you. Did you but know? He will forgive you your faults and cause you to enter into gardens beneath which rivers flow and goodly dwellings in gardens of perpetuity. That is the mighty achievement. And yet another blessing that you love, help from Allah and the victory near at hand. 
and give good news to the believers. O you who believe, be helpers in the cause of Allah. As Isa, son of Maryam, said to his disciples, Who are my helpers in the cause of Allah? The disciples said, We are helpers in the cause of Allah. So a party of the children of Israel believed and another party disbelieved. Then we aided those who believed against their enemy and they became uppermost. End of Surah 61 Surah 62 Friday al gumah Revealed at Medina In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth declares the glory of Allah, the King, the Holy, the Mighty, the Wise. He it is who raised among the inhabitants of Mecca a messenger from among themselves, who recites to them his communications and purifies them, and teaches them the book and the wisdom, although they were before certainly in clear error. And others from among them who have not yet joined them, and he is the mighty, the wise. That is Allah's grace. He grants it to whom he pleases, and Allah is the Lord of mighty grace. The likeness of those who were charged with the Torah, then they did not observe it, is as the likeness of the ass-bearing books. Evil is the likeness of the people who reject the communications of Allah. And Allah does not guide the unjust people. Say, O you who are Jews, if you think that you are the favorites of Allah to the exclusion of other people, then invoke death if you are truthful. And they will never invoke it because of what their hands have sent before. And Allah is cognizant of the unjust. Say, as for the death from which you flee, that will surely overtake you. Then you shall be sent back to the knower of the unseen and the seen. And he will inform you of that which you did. O you who believe, when the call is made for prayer on Friday, then hasten to the remembrance of Allah and leave off trading that is better for you, if you know. But when the prayer is ended, then disperse abroad in the land and seek of Allah's grace and remember Allah much that you may be successful. And when they see merchandise or sport, they break up for it and leave you standing. Say what is with Allah is better than sport and better than merchandise. And Allah is the best of sustainers. End of Surah 62 Surah 63 The Hypocrites al munafiqun revealed at Medina. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, when the hypocrites come to you, they say, we bear witness that you are most surely Allah's messenger. And Allah knows that you are most surely his messenger. And Allah bears witness that the hypocrites are surely liars. They make their oath a shelter and thus turn away from Allah's way. Surely evil is that which they do. That is because they believe, then disbelieve. So a seal is set upon their hearts so that they do not understand. And when you see them, their persons will please you. 
and if they speak you will listen to their speech they are as if they were big pieces of wood clad with garments they think every cry to be against them they are the enemy therefore beware of them may allah destroy them whence are they turned back and when it is said to them come the messenger of allah will ask forgiveness for you they turn back their heads and you may see them turning away while they are big with pride it is alike to them whether you beg forgiveness for them or do not beg forgiveness for them allah will never forgive them surely allah does not guide the transgressing people they it is who say do not spend upon those who are with the messenger of allah until they break up and allah's are the treasures of the heavens and the earth but the hypocrites do not understand they say if we return to medina the mighty will surely drive out the meaner therefrom and to allah belongs the might and to his messenger and to the believers but the hypocrites do not know o you who believe let not your wealth or your children divert you from the remembrance of allah and whoever does that these are the losers and spend out of what we have given you before death comes to one of you so that he should say my lord why didst thou not respite me to a near term so that i should have given alms and been of the doers of good deeds and allah does not respite a soul when its appointed term has come and allah is aware of what you do end of surah 63 surah 64 mutual disillusion التغابن, revealed at mecca in the name of allah the most beneficent the most merciful whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth declares the glory of allah to him belongs the kingdom and to him is due all praise and he has power over all things he it is who created you but one of you is an unbeliever and another of you is a believer and allah sees what you do he created the heavens and the earth with truth and he formed you then made goodly your forms and to him is the ultimate resort he knows what is in the heavens and the earth and he knows what you hide and what you manifest and allah is cognizant of what is in the hearts had there not come to you the story of those who disbelieved before then tasted the evil result of their conduct and they had a painful punishment that is because there came to them their messengers with clear arguments but they said shall mortals guide us so they disbelieved and turned back and allah does not stand in need of anything and allah a self-sufficient praised those who disbelieve think that they shall never be raised say i by my lord you shall most certainly be raised then you shall most certainly be informed of what you did and that is easy to allah therefore believe in allah and his messenger and the light which we have revealed and allah is aware of what you do on the day that he will gather you for the day of gathering 
that is the day of loss and gain. And whoever believes in Allah and does good, he will remove from him his evil and cause him to enter gardens beneath which rivers flow, to abide therein forever. That is the great achievement. And as for those who disbelieve and reject our communications, they are the inmates of the fire. To abide therein and evil is the resort. No affliction comes about but by Allah's permission. And whoever believes in Allah, he guides aright his heart. And Allah is cognizant of all things. And obey Allah and obey the Messenger. But if you turn back, then upon our Messenger devolves only the clear delivery of the message. Allah, there is no God but He. And upon Allah, then let the believers rely. O you who believe, surely from among your wives and your children, there is an enemy to you. Therefore beware of them. And if you pardon and forbear and forgive, then surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. Your possessions and your children are only a trial. And Allah it is with whom is a great reward. Therefore be careful of your duty to Allah as much as you can, and hear and obey and spend. It is better for your souls, and whoever is saved from the greediness of his soul, these it is that are the successful. If you set apart for Allah a goodly portion, he will double it for you and forgive you. And Allah is the multiplier of rewards for bearing, the knower of the unseen and the seen, the mighty, the wise. End of Surah 64 Surah 65, Divorce, at talaq Revealed at Medina In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. O Prophet, when you divorce women, divorce them for their prescribed time and calculate the number of the days prescribed and be careful of your duty to Allah. Your Lord, do not drive them out of their houses, nor should they themselves go forth unless they commit an open indecency. And these are the limits of Allah. And whoever goes beyond the limits of Allah, he indeed does injustice to his own soul. You do not know that Allah may after that bring about reunion. So when they have reached their prescribed time, then retain them with kindness or separate them with kindness. And call to witness to men of justice from among you, and give upright testimony for Allah. With that is admonished he who believes in Allah, and the latter day, and whoever is careful of his duty to Allah, he will make for him an outlet, and give him sustenance from whence he thinks not. And whoever trusts in Allah, he is sufficient for him. Surely Allah attains his purpose. Allah indeed has appointed a measure for everything. And as for those of your women who have despaired of menstruation, if you have a doubt their prescribed time shall be three months. And of those two who have not had their courses, and as for the pregnant women, their prescribed time is that they lay down their burden. And whoever is careful of his duty to Allah, he will make easy for him his affair. 
That is the command of Allah, which he has revealed to you. And whoever is careful of his duty to Allah, he will remove from him his evil and give him a big reward. Lodge them where you lodge according to your means, and do not injure them in order that you may straighten them. And if they are pregnant, spend on them until they lay down their burden. Then if they suckle for you, give them their recompense and enjoin one another among you to do good. And if you disagree, another woman shall suckle for him. Let him who has abundance spend out of his abundance. And whoever has his means of subsistence, straighten to him. Let him spend out of that which Allah has given him. Allah does not lay on any soul a burden, except to the extent to which he has granted it. Allah brings about ease after difficulty. And how many a town which rebelled against the commandment of its Lord and his messengers. So we called it to account severely, and we chastised it with a stern chastisement. So it tasted the evil result of its conduct, and the end of its affair was perdition. Allah has prepared for them severe chastisement. Therefore be careful of your duty to Allah. O men of understanding who believe, Allah has indeed revealed to you a reminder, a messenger who recites to you the clear communications of Allah, so that he may bring forth those who believe and do good deeds from darkness into light. And whoever believes in Allah and does good deeds, he will cause him to enter gardens beneath which rivers flow. To abide therein forever, Allah has indeed given him a goodly sustenance. Allah is he who created seven heavens and of the earth the like of them. The decree continues to descend among them, that you may know that Allah has power over all things, and that Allah indeed encompasses all things in his knowledge. End of Surah 65 Surahs 66-70 to 70. Of the Holy Quran translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 66 Banning at Tahrim, revealed at Medina. In the name of Allah the Most Beneficent, the Most Merciful. O Prophet, why do you forbid yourself that which Allah has made lawful for you? You seek to please your wives, and Allah is forgiving, merciful. Allah indeed has sanctioned for you the expiation of your oath, and Allah is your protector, and he is the knowing, the wise. And when the Prophet secretly communicated a piece of information to one of his wives, but when she informed others of it, and Allah made him to know it, he made known part of it and avoided part. So when he informed her of it, she said, Who informed you of this? He said, The knowing, the one aware, informed me. If you both turn to Allah, then indeed your hearts are already inclined to this. And if you back up each other against him, then surely Allah it is, who is his guardian, and Jibreel and the believers that do good, and the angels after that are the aiders. Maybe his Lord, if he divorce you, 
will give him in your place wives better than you, submissive, faithful, obedient, penitent, adorers, fosters, widows, and virgins. O oh, you who believe, save yourselves and your families from a fire whose fuel is men and stones. Over it are angels stern and strong. They do not disobey Allah in what he commands them, and do as they are commanded. O oh, you who disbelieve, do not urge excuses today. You shall be rewarded only according to what you did. O oh, you who believe, turn to Allah a sincere turning. Maybe your Lord will remove from you your evil and cause you to enter gardens, beneath which rivers flow. On the day on which Allah will not abase the Prophet and those who believe with him, their light shall run on before them and on their right hands. They shall say, Our Lord, make perfect for us our light, and grant us protection. Surely thou hast power over all things. O prophet, strive hard against the unbelievers and the hypocrites, and be hard against them, and their abode is hell, and evil is the resort. Allah sets forth an example to those who disbelieve the wife of Nuh and the wife of Lut, they were both under two of our righteous servants, but they acted treacherously towards them, so they availed them not against Allah. And it was said, Enter both the fire with those who enter. And Allah sets forth an example to those who believe. The wife of Pharaoh, when she said, My Lord built for me a house with thee in the garden and deliver me from Pharaoh and his doing and deliver me from the unjust people. And Maryam, the daughter of Amran, who guarded her chastity, so we breathed into her of our inspiration and she accepted the truth of the words of her Lord and his books, and she was of the obedient ones. End of Surah 66 Surah 67 The Sovereignty, Al-Mulk, revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah the Most Beneficent, the Most Merciful, Blessed is he in whose hand is the kingdom, and he has power over all things, who created death and life, that he may try you, which of you is best in deeds, and he is the mighty, the forgiving, who created the seven heavens, one above another, you see no incongruity in the creation of the beneficent Allah. Then look again, can you see any disorder? Then turn back the eye again and again. Your look shall come back to you confused while it is fatigued. And certainly we have adorned this lower heaven with lamps and we have made these missiles for the shaitans, and we have prepared for them the chastisement of burning. And for those who disbelieve in their Lord is the punishment of hell, and evil is the resort. When they shall be cast therein, they shall hear a loud moaning of it as it heaves almost bursting for fury. Whenever a group is cast into it, its keeper shall ask them, Did there not come to you a warner? They shall say, Yea, indeed there came to us a warner, but we rejected him, and said, Allah has not revealed anything. 
you are only in a great error. And they shall say, had we but listened or pondered, we should not have been among the inmates of the burning fire. So they shall acknowledge their sins, but far will be forgiveness from the inmates of the burning fire. As for those who fear their Lord in secret, they shall surely have forgiveness and a great reward. And conceal your word or manifest it, surely he is cognizant of what is in the hearts. Does he not know who created, and he is the knower of the subtleties, the aware? He it is who made the earth smooth for you. Therefore go about in the spacious sides thereof, and eat of his sustenance, and to him is the return after death. Are you secure of those in the heaven, that he should not make the earth to swallow you up? Then, lo, it shall be in a state of commotion. Or are you secure of those in the heaven, that he should not send down upon you a punishment, then shall you know how was my warning. And certainly those before them rejected the truth, then how was my disapproval? Have they not seen the birds above them, expanding their wings and contracting them? What is it that withholds them save the beneficent Allah. Surely he sees everything. Or who is it that will be a host for you to assist you besides the beneficent Allah? The unbelievers are only in deception. Or who is it that will give you sustenance if he should withhold his sustenance? Nay, they persist in disdain and aversion. What, is he who goes prone upon his face better guided, or he who walks upright upon a straight path? Say, he it is who brought you into being, and made for you the ears and the eyes and the hearts. Little is it that you give thanks. Say, he it is who multiplied you in the earth, and to him you shall be gathered. And they say, when shall this threat be executed, if you are truthful? Say, the knowledge thereof is only with Allah, and I am only a plain warner. But when they shall see it nigh, the faces of those who disbelieve shall be sorry, and it shall be said, This is that which you used to call for. Say, Have you considered if Allah should destroy me and those with me? Rather, he will have mercy on us. Yet who will protect the unbelievers from a painful punishment? Say, he is the beneficent Allah. We believe in him, and on him do we rely. So you shall come to know who it is that is in clear error. Say, have you considered if your water should go down? Who is it, then, that will bring you flowing water? End of Surah 67 Surah 68, The Pen, Al-Qalam, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Noon, I swear by the pen and what the angels write. By the grace of your Lord, you are not mad. And most surely, you shall have a reward never to be cut off. And most surely you conform yourself to sublime morality. So you shall see, and they too shall see, which of you is afflicted with madness, 
Surely your Lord best knows him who errs from his way, and he best knows the followers of the right course, so do not yield to the rejecters. They wish that you should be pliant, so they too would be pliant, and yield not to any mean swearer, defamer going about with slander, forbidder of good, outstepping the limits, sinful, ignoble besides all that base born, because he possesses wealth and sons. When our communications are recited to him, he says, stories of those of yore, we will brand him on the nose. Surely we will try them as we tried the owners of the garden, when they swore that they would certainly cut off the produce in the morning, and were not willing to set aside a portion for the poor, then there encompassed it a visitation from your Lord while they were sleeping. So it became as black barren land, and they called out to each other in the morning, saying, Go early to your tilth, if you would cut the produce. So they went while they consulted together secretly, saying, No poor man shall enter it today upon you. And in the morning they went, having the power to prevent. But when they saw it, they said, Most surely we have gone astray. Nay, we are made to suffer privation. The best of them said, Did I not say to you, Why do you not glorify Allah? They said, Glory be to our Lord. Surely we were unjust. Then some of them advanced against others, blaming each other. Said they, O woe to us, surely we were inordinate. Maybe our Lord will give us instead one better than it. Surely to our Lord do we make our humble petition. Such is the chastisement, and certainly the chastisement of the hereafter is greater. Did they but know? Surely those who guard against evil shall have with their Lord gardens of bliss. What shall we then make that is treat those who submit as the guilty? What has happened to you? How do you judge? Or have you a book wherein you read that you have surely therein what you choose? Or have you received from us an agreement confirmed by an oath extending to the day of resurrection, that you shall surely have what you demand? Ask them which of them will vouch for that, or have they associates if they are truthful? On the day when there shall be a severe affliction, and they shall be called upon to make obeisance, but they shall not be able. Their looks cast down, abasement shall overtake them, and they were called upon to make obeisance, indeed while yet they were safe. So leave me and him who rejects this announcement. We will overtake them by degrees, from whence they perceive not. And I do bear with them, Surely my plan is firm, or do you ask from them a reward, so that they are burdened with debt, or have they the knowledge of the unseen, so that they write it down? So wait patiently for the judgment of your Lord, and be not like the companion of the fish, when he cried while he was in distress. Were it not that favor from his Lord had overtaken him, he would certainly have been cast down upon the naked found while he was blamed. 
then his lord chose him and he made him of the good and those who disbelieve would almost smite you with their eyes when they hear the reminder and they say most surely he is mad and it is not but a reminder to the nations end of surah 68 surah 69 the reality al-haqqa revealed at mecca in the name of allah the most beneficent the most merciful the sure calamity what is the sure calamity and what would make you realize what the sure calamity is samud and ad called the striking calamity a lie then as to samud they were destroyed by an excessively severe punishment and as to add they were destroyed by a roaring violent blast which he made to prevail against them for seven nights and eight days unremittingly so that you might have seen the people therein prostrate as if they were the trunks of hollow palms do you then see of them one remaining and pharaoh and those before him and the overthrown cities continuously committed sins and they disobeyed the messenger of their lord so he punished them with a vehement punishment surely we bore you up in the ship when the water rose high so that we may make it a reminder to you and that the retaining ear might retain it and when the trumpet is blown with a single blast and the earth and the mountains are borne away and crushed with a single crushing on that day shall the great event come to pass and the heaven shall cleave asunder so that on that day it shall be frail and the angels shall be on the sides thereof and above them eight shall bear on that day your lord's power on that day you shall be exposed to view no secret of yours shall remain hidden then as for him who is given his book in his right hand he will say lo read my book surely i knew that i shall meet my account so he shall be in a life of pleasure in a lofty garden the fruits of which are near at hand eat and drink pleasantly for what you did beforehand in the days gone by and as for him who is given his book in his left hand he shall say o oh, would that my book had never been given me and i had not known what my account was o oh, would that it had made an end of me my wealth has availed me nothing my authority is gone away from me lay hold on him then put a chain on him then cast him into the burning fire then thrust him into a chain the length of which is seventy cubits surely he did not believe in allah the great nor did he urge the feeding of the poor therefore he has not here today a true friend nor any food except refuse which none but the wrongdoers eat but nay i swear by that which you see and that which you do not see most surely it is the word brought by an honored messenger and it is not the word of a poet little is it that you believe nor the word of a soothsayer little is it that you mind it is a revelation from the lord of the worlds and if he had fabricated against us some of the sayings we would certainly have seized him by the right hand then we would certainly have cut off his aota and not one of you could have withheld us from him 
and most surely it is a reminder for those who guard against evil. And most surely we know that some of you are rejecters, and most surely it is a great grief to the unbelievers, and most surely it is the true certainty. Therefore, glorify the name of your Lord, the Great. End of Surah 69 Surah 70 The Ascending Stairways al Ma'arij, Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. When demanding, demanded the chastisement which must befall. The unbelievers, there is none to avert it. From Allah, the Lord of the ways of ascent. To him, ascend the angels and the spirit in a day, the measure of which is 50,000 years. Therefore endure with a goodly patience. Surely they think it to be far off, and we see it nigh. On the day when the heaven shall be as molten copper, and the mountains shall be as tufts of wool, and friend shall not ask of friend. Though they shall be made to see each other, the guilty one would fain redeem himself from the chastisement of that day by sacrificing his children. And his wife and his brother and the nearest of his kinsfolk who gave him shelter, and all those that are in the earth, wishing then that this might deliver him. By no means, surely it is a flaming fire, dragging by the head. It shall claim him who turned and fled from truth, and amasses wealth, then shuts it up. Surely man is created of a hasty temperament, being greatly grieved when evil afflicts him, and niggardly when good befalls him, except those who pray. Those who are constant at their prayer, and those in whose wealth there is a fixed portion, for him who begs and for him who is denied good and those who accept the truth of the judgment day, and those who are fearful of the chastisement of their Lord. Surely the chastisement of their Lord is a thing not to be felt secure of, and those who guard their private parts, except in the case of their wives or those whom their right hands possess, for these surely are not to be blamed. But he who seeks to go beyond this, these it is that go beyond the limits, and those who are faithful to their trusts and their covenant, and those who are upright in their testimonies, and those who keep a guard on their prayer, those shall be in gardens honored. But what is the matter with those who disbelieve that they hasten on around you, on the right hand and on the left, in sundry parties? Does every man of them desire that he should be made to enter the garden of bliss? By no means, surely we have created them of what they know. But nay, I swear by the Lord of the Easts and the Wests that we are certainly able to bring instead others better than them, and we shall not be overcome. Therefore leave them alone to go on with the false discourses and to sport until they come face to face with that day of theirs with which they are threatened the day on which they shall come forth from their graves in haste, as if they were hastening on to a goal, their eyes cast down. Disgrace shall overtake them, 
That is the day which they were threatened with. End of Surah 70. Surahs 71 to 75 of the Holy Quran translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 71, Nuh revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Surely we sent Nuh to his people, saying, Warn your people before there come upon them a painful chastisement. He said, O oh my people, surely I am a plain warner to you that you should serve Allah and be careful of your duty to him and obey me. He will forgive you some of your faults and grant you a delay to an appointed term. Surely the term of Allah, when it comes, is not postponed. Did you but know? He said, O oh my Lord, surely I have called my people by night and by day, but my call has only made them flee the more. And whenever I have called them that thou mayest forgive them, they put their fingers in their ears cover themselves with their garments and persist and are puffed up with pride. Then surely I called to them aloud. Then surely I spoke to them in public and I spoke to them in secret. Then I said, ask forgiveness of your Lord. Surely he is the most forgiving. He will send down upon you the cloud pouring down abundance of rain and help you with wealth and sons and make for you gardens and make for you rivers. What is the matter with you that you fear not the greatness of Allah? And indeed he has created you through various grades. Do you not see how Allah has created the seven heavens one above another, and made the moon therein a light, and made the sun a lamp. And Allah has made you grow out of the earth as a growth. Then he returns you to it. Then will he bring you forth, and you bringing forth. And Allah has made for you the earth a wide expanse, that you may go along therein, in white path. Nuh said, My Lord, surely they have disobeyed me and followed him whose wealth and children have added to him nothing but loss. And they have planned a very great plan. And they say, By no means leave your gods, nor leave Wadda, nor Suwa'a, nor Yaguth, and Ya'uqa, and Nisra, and indeed they have led astray many, and do not increase the unjust in aught but error. Because of their wrongs they were drowned, then made to enter fire, so they did not find any helpers besides Allah. And Nuh said, My Lord, leave not upon the land any dweller from among the unbelievers. For surely if thou leave them, they will lead astray thy servants and will not beget any but immoral, ungrateful children. My Lord, forgive me and my parents and him who enters my house believing and the believing men and the believing women and do not increase the unjust in aught but destruction. End of Surah 71. Surah 72. The Jinn, al Gin, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful.
Say it has been revealed to me that the party of the jinn listened, and they said, surely we have heard a wonderful Quran, guiding to the right way, so we believe in it, and we will not set up anyone with our Lord, and that he, exalted be the majesty of our Lord, has not taken a consort nor a son. And that the foolish amongst us used to forge extravagant things against Allah. And that we thought that men and jinn did not utter a lie against Allah. And that persons from among men used to seek refuge with persons from among jinn. So they increased them in wrongdoing. And that they thought as you think that Allah would not raise anyone, and that we sought to reach heaven, but we found it filled with strong guards and flaming stars, and that we used to sit in some of the sitting places thereof to steal a hearing, but he who would try to listen now would find a flame lying in wait for him. And that we know not whether evil is meant for those who are on earth or whether the Lord means to bring them good. And that some of us are good and others of us are below that. We are sects following different ways. And that we know that we cannot escape Allah in the earth nor can we escape him by flight. And that when we heard the guidance, we believed in it. So whoever believes in his Lord, he should neither fear loss nor being overtaken by disgrace. And that some of us are those who submit, and some of us are the deviators. So whoever submits, these aim at the right way. And as to the deviators, they are fuel of hell, and that if they should keep to the right way, we would certainly give them to drink of abundant water, so that we might try them with respect to it, and whoever turns aside from the reminder of his Lord, he will make him enter into an afflicting chastisement, and that the mosques are Allah's, Therefore call not upon anyone with Allah. And that when the servant of Allah stood up calling upon him, they well nigh crowded him to death. Say, I only call upon my Lord, and I do not associate anyone with him. Say, I do not control for you evil or good. Say, surely no one can protect me against Allah, nor can I find besides him any place of refuge. It is only a delivering of communications from Allah and his messages. And whoever disobeys Allah and his messenger, surely he shall have the fire of hell to abide therein for a long time until when they see what they are threatened with, then shall they know who is weaker in helpers and fewer in number. Say, I do not know whether that with which you are threatened be nigh, or whether my Lord will appoint for it a term. The knower of the unseen, so he does not reveal his secrets to any except to him whom he chooses as a messenger, for surely he makes a guard to march before him and after him, so that he may know that they have truly delivered the messages of their Lord. And he encompasses what is with them, and he records the number of all things. End of Surah 72 Surah 73, The Bundled Up, Al-Muzzammil, Revealed at Mecca.
in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. O you who have wrapped up in your garments, rise to pray in the night except a little, half of it or lessen it a little, or add to it and recite the Quran as it ought to be recited. Surely we will make to light upon you a weighty word. Surely the rising by night is the firmest way to tread and the best corrective of speech. Surely you have in the daytime a long occupation and remember the name of your Lord and devote yourself to him with exclusive devotion. The Lord of the East and the West, there is no God but he. Therefore, take him for a protector and bear patiently what they say and avoid them with a becoming avoidance. And leave me and the rejecters, the possessors of ease and plenty, and respite them a little. Surely with us are heavy fetters and a flaming fire and food that chocks and the painful punishment. On the day when the earth and the mountains shall quake, and the mountains shall become as heaps of sand let loose, surely we have sent to you a messenger, a witness against you, as we sent a messenger to Pharaoh. But Pharaoh disobeyed the messenger, so we laid on him a violent hold. How then will you guard yourselves if you disbelieve on the day which shall make children gray-headed? The heaven shall rend asunder, thereby his promise is ever brought to fulfillment. Surely this is a reminder, then let him who will take the way to his Lord. Surely your Lord knows that you pass in prayer nearly two-thirds of the night and sometimes half of it and sometimes a third of it and also a party of those with you. And Allah measures the night and the day. He knows that you are not able to do it. So he has turned to you mercifully Therefore, read what is easy of the Qur'an. He knows that there must be among you sick and others who travel in the land seeking of the bounty of Allah and others who fight in Allah's way. Therefore, read as much of it as is easy to you and keep up prayer and pay the poor rate and offer to Allah a goodly gift, and whatever of good you send on beforehand for yourselves. You will find it with Allah. That is best and greatest in reward, and ask forgiveness of Allah. Surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. End of Surah 73 Surah 74 the Cloaked One, Al-Muddassar, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. O you who are clothed, arise and warn, and your Lord do magnify, and your garments do purify, and uncleanness do shun, and bestow not favors that you may receive again with increase. And for the sake of your Lord, be patient. For when the trumpet is sounded, that at that time shall be a difficult day. For the unbelievers, anything but easy. Leave me and him whom I created alone and give him vast riches and sons dwelling in his presence. And I adjusted affairs for him adjustably, and yet he desires that I should add more. 
by no means surely he offers opposition to our communications. I will make a distressing punishment overtake him. Surely he reflected and guessed, but may he be cursed how he plotted. Again, may he be cursed how he plotted. Then he looked, then he frowned and scowled. Then he turned back and was big with pride. Then he said, this is naught but enchantment narrated from others. This is naught but the word of a mortal. I will cast him into hell, and what will make you realize what hell is? It leaves naught, nor does it spare aught. It scorches the mortal. Over it are nineteen, and we have not made the wardens of the fire others than angels, and we have not made their number but as a trial for those who disbelieve, that those who have been given the book may be certain, and those who believe may increase in faith, and those who have been given the book and the believers may not doubt, and that those in whose hearts is a disease, and the unbelievers may say, what does Allah mean by this parable? Thus does Allah make err whom he pleases, and he guides whom he pleases, and none knows the hosts of your Lord but he himself. And this is not but a reminder to the mortals. Nay, I swear by the moon, and the night when it departs, and the daybreak when it shines, surely it hell is one of the gravest misfortunes, a warning to mortals. To him among you who wishes to go forward or remain behind, Every soul is held in pledge for what it earns, except the people of the right hand. In gardens they shall ask each other about the guilty. What has brought you into hell? They shall say, we were not of those who prayed, and we used not to feed the poor, and we used to enter into vain discourse, with those who entered into vain discourses. And we used to call the day of judgment a lie, till death overtook us, so the intercession of intercessors shall not avail them. What is then the matter with them, that they turn away from the admonition, as if they were asses taking fright? that had fled from a lion. Nay, every one of them desires that he may be given pages spread out. Nay, but they do not fear the hereafter. Nay, it is surely an admonition. So whoever pleases may mind it. And they will not mind unless Allah please. He is worthy to be feared and worthy to forgive. End of Surah 74 Surah 75 The Rising of the Dead Al-Qiyamah Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Nay, I swear by the day of resurrection. Nay, I swear by the self-accusing soul, does man think that we shall not gather his bones? Yea, we are able to make complete his very fingertips. Nay, man desires to give the lie to what is before him. He asks, when is the day of resurrection? So when the sight becomes dazed and the moon becomes dark, and the sun and the moon are brought together. Man shall say on that day whither to fly to. By no means there shall be no place of refuge. 
with your Lord alone shall on that day be the place of rest. Man shall on that day be informed of what he sent before and what he put off. Nay, man is evidence against himself. Though he puts forth his excuses, do not move your tongue with it to make haste with it. Surely on us devolves the collecting of it and the reciting of it. Therefore, when we have recited it, follow its recitation. Again on us devolves the explaining of it. Nay, but you love the present life and neglect the hereafter. Some faces on that day shall be bright, looking to their Lord, and other faces on that day shall be gloomy knowing that there will be made to befall them some great calamity. Nay, when it comes up to the throat, and it is said, who will be a magician? And he is sure that it is the hour of parting, and affliction is combined with affliction. To your Lord on that day shall be the driving. So he did not accept the truth, nor did he pray, but called the truth a lie and turned back. Then he went to his followers, walking away in haughtiness. Nearer to you is destruction and nearer. Again consider how, nearer to you and nearer, does man think that he is to be left to wander without an aim? Was he not a small seed in the seminal elements? Then he was a clot of blood, so he created him, then made him perfect. Then he made of him two kinds, the male and the female. Is not he able to give life to the dead? End of Surah 75 Surahs 76 to 80 of the Holy Quran translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 76 Man Al Insan revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. There surely came over man a period of time when he was a thing not worth mentioning. Surely we have created man from a small life germ, uniting itself. We mean to try him, so we have made him hearing, seeing. Surely we have shown him the way. He may be thankful or unthankful. Surely we have prepared for the unbelievers chains and shackles and a burning fire. Surely the righteous shall drink of a cup, the admixture of which is kafur, a fountain from which the servants of Allah shall drink. They make it to flow a goodly flowing forth. They fulfill vows and fear a day the evil of which shall be spreading far and wide. And they give food out of love for him to the poor and the orphan and the captive. We only feed you for Allah's sake. We desire from you neither reward nor thanks. Surely we fear from our Lord a stern, distressful day. Therefore Allah will guard them from the evil of that day and cause them to meet with ease and happiness and reward them because they were patient with garden and silk. Reclining therein on raised couches, they shall find therein neither the severe heat of the sun, nor intense cold. 
and close down upon them shall be its shadows, and its fruits shall be made near to them, being easy to reach. And there shall be made to go round about them vessels of silver and goblets, which are of glass, transparent as glass, made of silver, they have measured them according to a measure. And they shall be made to drink therein a cup, the admixture of which shall be ginger, of a fountain therein which is named Salsabil. And round about them shall go youths never altering in age. When you see them, you will think them to be scattered pearls. And when you see there, you shall see blessings and a great kingdom. Upon them shall be garments of fine green silk and thick silk interwoven with gold, and they shall be adorned with bracelets of silver, and their Lord shall make them drink a pure drink. Surely this is a reward for you, and your striving shall be recompensed. Surely we ourselves have revealed the Quran to you, revealing it in portions. Therefore wait patiently for the command of your Lord, and obey not from among them a sinner or an ungrateful one. And glorify the name of your Lord morning and evening, and during part of the night adore him, and give glory to him a long part of the night. Surely these love the transitory and neglect a grievous day before them. We created them and made firm their make, and when we please, we will bring in their place the likes of them by a change. Surely this is a reminder. So whoever pleases takes to his Lord away. And you do not please except that Allah please. Surely Allah is knowing wise. He makes whom he pleases to enter into his mercy. And as for the unjust, he has prepared for them a painful chastisement. End of Surah 76 Surah 77 The Emissaries, Al-Mursalat, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I swear by the emissary winds, sent one after another, for men's benefit, by the raging hurricanes, which scatter clouds to their destined places, then separate them one from another. Then I swear by the angels who bring down the revelation to clear or to warn. Most surely what you are threatened with must come to pass. So when the stars are made to lose their light, and when the heaven is rent asunder, and when the mountains are carried away as dust, and when the messengers are gathered at their appointed time, to what day is the doom fixed? To the day of decision. And what will make you comprehend what the day of decision is? Who on that day to the rejecters? Did we not destroy the former generations? Then did we follow them up with later ones? Even thus shall we deal with the guilty. Who on that day to the rejecters? Did we not create you from contemptible water? Then we placed it in a secure resting place till an appointed term, so we proportion it. How well are we at proportioning things? 
Woe on that day to the rejecters. Have we not made the earth to draw together to itself the living and the dead, and made the rain lofty mountains, and given you to drink of sweet water? Woe on that day to the rejecters. Walk unto that which you called a lie. Walk unto the covering having three branches, neither having the coolness of the shade, nor availing against the flame. Surely it sends up sparks like palaces, as if they were tawny camels. Woe on that day to the rejecters, this is the day on which they shall not speak, and permission shall not be given to them, so that they should offer excuses. Woe on that day to the rejecters. This is the day of decision. We have gathered you and those of your. So if you have a plan, plan against me now. Woe on that day to the rejecters. Surely those who guard against evil shall be amid shades and fountains, and fruits such as they desire. Eat and drink pleasantly because of what you did. Surely thus do we reward the doers of good. Woe on that day to the rejecters. Eat and enjoy yourselves for a little. Surely you are guilty. Woe on that day to the rejecters, and where it is said to them, Bow down, they do not bow down. Woe on that day to the rejecters, in what announcement then after it will they believe? End of Surah 77 Surah 78 The Announcement An Naba Revealed at Mecca in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Of what do they ask one another about the great event, about which they differ? Nay, they shall soon come to know. Nay, nay, they shall soon know. Have we not made the earth an even expanse and the mountains as projections thereon? And we created you in pairs, and we made your sleep to be rest to you, and we made the night to be a covering, and we made the day for seeking livelihood, and we made above you seven strong ones, and we made a shining lamp, and we sent down from the clouds water pouring forth abundantly that we may bring forth thereby corn and herbs and gardens dense and luxuriant. Surely the day of decision is a day appointed, the day on which the trumpet shall be blown, so you shall come forth in hosts, and the heaven shall be opened so that it shall be all openings and the mountains shall be moved off, so that they shall remain a mere semblance. Surely hell lies in wait, a place of resort for the inordinate, living therein for ages. They shall not taste therein cool nor drink, but boiling and intensely cold water, requital corresponding. Surely they feared not the account and called our communications a lie, giving the lie to the truth, and we have recorded everything in a book. So taste, for we will not add to you aught but chastisement. Surely for those who guard against evil is achievement, gardens and vineyards, and voluptuous women of equal age, and a pure cup. They shall not hear therein any vain words nor lying, a reward from your Lord, a gift according to a reckoning. The Lord of the heavens and the earth, and what is between them, 
the beneficent Allah, they shall not be able to address him. The day on which the spirit and the angels shall stand in ranks, they shall not speak except he whom the beneficent Allah permits and who speaks the right thing. That is the sure day, so whoever desires may take refuge with his Lord. Surely we have warned you of a chastisement near at hand, the day when man shall see what his two hands have sent before, and the unbeliever shall say, Oh, would that I were dust, End of Surah 78 Surah 79 Those who drag forth a Nazi'at revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful I swear by the angels who violently pull out the souls of the wicked and by those who gently draw out the souls of the blessed, and by those who float in space, then those who are foremost going ahead, then those who regulate the affair, the day on which the quaking one shall quake, what must happen afterwards shall follow it. Hearts on that day shall palpitate, their eyes cast down. They say, shall we indeed be restored to our first estate? What when we are rotten bones? They said that then would be a return occasioning loss. But it shall be only a single cry. When lo, they shall be wakeful, has not there come to you the story of Musa? when his Lord called upon him in the holy valley twice. Go to Pharaoh, surely he has become inordinate. Then say, have you a desire to purify yourself and I will guide you to your Lord so that you should fear. So he showed him the mighty sign, but he rejected the truth and disobeyed. Then he went back hastily. Then he gathered men and called out. Then he said, I am your Lord the Most High. So Allah seized him with the punishment of the hereafter and the former life. Most surely there is in this a lesson to him who fears. Are you the harder to create or the heaven? He made it. He raised high its height, then put it into a right good state, and he made dark its night, and brought out its light, and the earth he expanded it after that. He brought forth from it its water and its pasturage, and the mountains he made them firm, a provision for you and for your cattle. But when the great predominating calamity comes, the day on which man shall recollect what he strove after, and the hell shall be made manifest to him who sees, then as for him who is inordinate and prefers the life of this world, then surely the hell that is the abode and as for him who fears to stand in the presence of his Lord and forbids the soul from low desires, then surely the garden that is the abode. They ask you about the hour, when it will come. About what? You are one to remind of it. To your Lord is the goal of it. You are only a warner to him. Who would fear it? On the day that they see it, it will be as though they had not tarried, but the latter part of a day or the early part of it. End of Surah 79 Surah 80 He frowned, Abbas, revealed at Mecca. 
in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. He frowned and turned his back because there came to him the blind man. And what would make you know that he would purify himself or become reminded so that the reminder should profit him? As for him who considers himself free from need of you, to him do you address yourself? And no blame is on you if he would not purify himself. And as to him who comes to you striving hard, and he fears from him will you divert yourself, nay surely it is an admonishment. So let him who pleases mind it in honored books. Exalted, purified, in the hands of scribes. Noble virtues, cursed be man, how ungrateful is he. Of what thing did he create him? Of a small seed he created him. Then he made him according to a measure. Then as for the way, he has made it easy for him. Then he causes him to die, then assigns to him a grave. Then when he pleases, he will raise him to life again. Nay, but he has not done what he bade him. Then let man look to his food, that we pour down the water pouring it down in abundance. Then we cleave the earth, cleaving it asunder. Then we cause to grow therein the grain, and grapes and clover, and the olive and the palm, and thick gardens, and fruits and herbage, a provision for you and for your cattle. But when the deafening cry comes, the day on which a man shall fly from his brother and his mother and his father and his spouse and his son. Every man of them shall on that day have an affair which will occupy him. Many faces on that day shall be bright, laughing, joyous, and many faces on that day on them shall be dust. Darkness shall cover them. These are they who are unbelievers, the wicked. End of Surah 80. Surahs 81 to 85 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 81, The Overthrowing. At Takwir, revealed at Mecca, in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. When the sun is covered, and when the stars darken, and when the mountains are made to pass away, and when the camels are left untended, and when the wild animals are made to go forth, and when the seas are set on fire. And when souls are united, and when the female infant buried alive is asked for what sin she was killed, and when the books are spread, and when the heaven has its covering removed, and when the hell is kindled up, and when the garden is brought nigh, every soul shall then know what it has prepared. But nay, I swear by the stars that run their course and hide themselves, and the night when it departs, and the morning when it brightens. Most surely it is the word of an honored messenger, the processor of strength, having an honorable place with the Lord of the Dominion, one to be obeyed and faithful in trust. And your companion is not gone mad, and of a truth he saw himself on the clear horizon, nor of the unseen is he a tenacious concealer, 
nor is it the word of the cursed shaitan. Whither then will you go? It is not but a reminder for the nations, for him among you who pleases to go straight, and you do not please except that Allah please the Lord of the worlds. End of Surah 81 Surah 82, The Cleaving, al infitar revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. When the heaven becomes a cleft asunder, and when the stars become dispersed, and when the seas are made to flow forth, and when the graves are laid open, every soul shall know what it has sent before and held back. O man, what has beguiled you from your Lord, the Gracious One, who created you, then made you complete, then made you symmetrical? Into whatever form he pleased, he constituted you. Nay, but you give the lie to the judgment day, and most surely there are keepers over you. Honorable recorders, they know what you do. Most surely the righteous are in bliss, and most surely the wicked are in burning fire. They shall enter it on the day of judgment, and they shall by no means be absent from it. And what will make you realize what the day of judgment is? Again, what will make you realize what the day of judgment is? The day on which no soul shall control anything for another soul. And the command on that day shall be entirely Allah's. End of Surah 82 Surah 83, Defrauding, al mutaffifin revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Woe to the defrauders, who when they take the measure of their dues, from men take it fully. But when they measure out to others, or weigh out for them, they are deficient. Do not these think that they shall be raised again for a mighty day, the day on which men shall stand before the Lord of the worlds. Nay, most surely the record of the wicked is in the sejin, and what will make you know what the sejin is? It is a written book. Woo on that day to the rejecters who give the lie to the day of judgment, and none gives the lie to it but every exceeder of limits sinful one. When our communications are recited to him, he says stories of those of yore. Nay, rather, what they used to do has become like rust upon their hearts. Nay, most surely they shall on that day be debarred from their Lord. Then most surely they shall enter the burning fire. Then shall it be said, this is what you gave the lie to. Nay, most sure the record of the righteous shall be in the Aliyin. And what will make you know what the highest Aliyin is? It is a written book. Those who are drawn near to Allah shall witness it. Most surely the righteous shall be in bliss. On thrones they shall gaze. You will recognize in their faces the brightness of bliss. They are made to quaff of a pure drink that is sealed to others. The sealing of it is with misk. And for that let the aspirers aspire. And the admixture of it is a water of tasneem, a fountain from which drink they who are drawn near to Allah. Surely they who are guilty used to laugh at those who believe. 
And when they passed by them, they winked at one another. And when they returned to their own followers, they returned exulting. And when they saw them, they said, Most surely these are in error, and they were not sent to be keepers over them. So today those who believe shall laugh at the unbelievers. On thrones they will look, surely the disbelievers are rewarded as they did. End of Surah 83 Surah 84, The Sundering, al Anshaqaq, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, when the heaven bursts asunder and obeys its Lord and it must, and when the earth is stretched and casts forth what is in it and becomes empty, and obeys its Lord and it must. O man, surely you must strive to attain to your Lord a hard striving until you meet him. Then as to him who is given his book in his right hand, he shall be reckoned with by an easy reckoning, and he shall go back to his people joyful, and as to him who is given his book behind his back, he shall call for perdition and enter into burning fire. Surely he was erstwhile joyful among his followers. Surely he thought that he would never return. Yea, surely his Lord does ever see him. But nay, I swear by the sunset redness, and the night and that which it drives on, and the moon when it grows full, that you shall most certainly enter one state after another. But what is the matter with them that they do not believe? And when the Quran is recited to them, they do not make obeisance. Nay, those who disbelieve give the lie to the truth. And Allah knows best what they hide, so announce to them a painful punishment. Except those who believe and do good, for them is a reward that shall never be cut off. End of Surah 84 Surah 85, The Mansions of the Stars, al Buruj, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I swear by the mansions of the stars and the promised day, and the bearer of witness and those against whom the witness is born. Cursed be the makers of the pit of the fire kept burning with fuel when they sat by it. And they were witnesses of what they did with the believers, and they did not take vengeance on them for aught, except that they believed in Allah, the mighty, the praised. Whose is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, and Allah is a witness of all things. Surely as for those who persecute the believing men and the believing women, then do not repent. They shall have the chastisement of hell, and they shall have the chastisement of burning. Surely as for those who believe and do good, they shall have gardens beneath, which rivers flow. That is the great achievement. Surely the might of your Lord is great. Surely he it is who originates and reproduces, and he is the forgiving, the loving. Lord of the Arsh, the glorious, the great doer of what he will, has not there come to you the story of the hosts of Pharaoh and Samud? 
nay those who disbelieve are in the act of giving the lie to the truth and Allah encompasses them on every side nay it is a glorious Quran in a guarded tablet end of surah 85 Surahs 86 to 90 of the Holy Quran translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 86, the night comer, at revealed at Mecca, in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. I swear by the heaven and the comer by night, and what will make you know what the comer by night is? The star of piercing brightness, there is not a soul but over it is a keeper. So let man consider of what he is created. He is created of water pouring forth, coming from between the back and the ribs. Most surely he is able to return him to life. On the day when hidden things shall be made manifest, he shall have neither strength nor helper. I swear by the rain-giving heavens, and the earth splitting with plants, most surely it is a decisive word, and it is no joke. Surely they will make a scheme, and I too will make a scheme, so grant the unbelievers a respite. Let them alone for a while. End of Surah 86 Surah 87, the Most High, Al-A'la, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the Most Beneficent, the Most Merciful. Glorify the name of your Lord, the Most High, who creates, then makes complete and who makes things according to a measure, then guides them to their goal, and who brings forth herbage, then makes it dried up, dust-colored. We will make you recite, so you shall not forget. Except what Allah pleases, surely he knows the manifest and what is hidden, and we will make your way smooth, to a state of ease. Therefore do remind, surely reminding does profit. He who fears will mind, and the most unfortunate one will avoid it, who shall enter the great fire. Then therein he shall neither live nor die. He indeed shall be successful, who purifies himself and magnifies the name of his Lord and prays. Nay, you prefer the life of this world, while the hereafter is better and more lasting. Most surely this is in the earlier scriptures, the scriptures of Abraham and Musa. End of Surah 87 Surah 88 the overwhelming, al revealed at Mecca, in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Has not there come to you the news of the overwhelming calamity? Some faces on that day shall be downcast, laboring, toiling, entering into burning fire, made to drink from a boiling spring, they shall have no food but of thorns, which will neither fatten nor avail against hunger. Other faces on that day shall be happy, well pleased because of their striving in a lofty garden, wherein you shall not hear vain talk. Therein is a fountain flowing. Therein are thrones raised high and drinking cups ready placed, and cushions set in a row, and carpets spread out. Will they not then consider 
the camels how they are created and the heavens how it is reared aloft and the mountains how they are firmly fixed and the earth how it is made a vast expanse therefore do remind for you are only a reminder you are not a watcher over them but whoever turns back and disbelieves allah will chastise him with the greatest chastisement surely to us is their turning back then surely upon us is the taking of their account end of surah 88 surah 89 the dawn al fajr revealed at mecca in the name of allah the most beneficent the most merciful i swear by the daybreak and the ten nights and the even and the odd and the night when it departs truly in that there is an oath for those who possess understanding have you not considered how your lord dealt with ad the people of iran possessors of lofty buildings the like of which were not created in the other cities and with samud who hewed out the rocks in the valley and with pharaoh the lord of hosts who committed a northern sea in the cities so they made great mischief therein therefore your lord let down upon them a portion of the chastisement most surely your lord is watching and as for man when his lord tries him then treats him with honor and makes him lead an easy life he says my lord honors me but when he tries him differently then straightens to him his means of subsistence he says my lord has disgraced me nay but you do not honor the orphan nor do you urge one another to feed the poor and you eat away the heritage devouring everything indiscriminately and you love wealth with exceeding love nay when the earth is made to crumble to pieces and your lord comes and also the angels in ranks and hell is made to appear on that day on that day shall man be mindful and what shall being mindful then avail him he shall say oh would that i had sent before for this my life but on that day shall no one chastise with anything like his chastisement and no one shall bind with anything like his binding o soul that art at rest return to your lord well pleased with him well pleasing him so enter among my servants and enter into my garden end of surah 89 surah 90 the city al balad revealed at mac in the name of allah the most beneficent the most merciful nay i swear by this city and you shall be made free from obligation in this city and the begetter and whom he begot certainly we have created man to be in distress does he think that no one has power over him he shall say i have wasted much wealth does he think that no one sees him have we not given him two eyes and a tongue and two lips and pointed out to him the two conspicuous ways but he would not attempt the uphill road and what will make you comprehend what the uphill road is it is the setting free of a slave or the giving of food in a day of hunger to an orphan having relationship or to the poor man lying in the dust 
Then he is of those who believe and charge one another to show patience and charge one another to show compassion. These are the people of the right hand. And as for those who disbelieve in our communications, they are the people of the left hand. On them is fire closed over. End of Surah 90. Surahs 91-95 of the Holy Quran translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 91, the sun, Shams, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I swear by the sun and its brilliance and the moon when it follows the sun, and the day when it shows it, and the night when it draws a veil over it, and the heaven and him who made it, and the earth and him who extended it, and the soul and him who made it perfect, then he inspired it to understand what is right and wrong for it, he will indeed be successful who purifies it, and he will indeed fail who corrupts it. Samud gave the lie to the truth in their inordency, when the most unfortunate of them broke forth with. So Allah's messenger said to them, Leave alone Allah's she camel and give her to drink. But they called him a liar and slaughtered her. Therefore the Lord crushed them for their sin and leveled them with the ground. And he fears not its consequence. End of Surah 91 Surah 92 The Night, Al-Layl, revealed at Mecca in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I swear by the night when it draws a veil, and the day when it shines in brightness, and the creating of the male and the female. Your striving is most surely directed to various ends. Then as for him who gives away and guards against evil, and accepts the best, we will facilitate for him the easy end, and as for him who is niggardly and considers himself free from need of Allah and rejects the best, we will facilitate for him the difficult end, and his wealth will not avail him when he perishes. Surely ours is it to show the way. And most surely ours is the hereafter and the former. Therefore I warn you of the fire that flames. None shall enter it but the most unhappy. Who gives the lie to the truth and turns his back. And away from it shall be kept the one who guards most against evil. Who gives away his wealth purifying himself and no one has with him any boon for which he should be rewarded, except the seeking of the pleasure of his Lord, the Most High, and he shall soon be well pleased. End of Surah 92 Surah 93, The Morning Hours, Duha, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I swear by the early hours of the day and the night when it covers with darkness, your Lord has not forsaken you, nor has he become displeased. And surely what comes after is better for you than that which has gone before. And soon will your Lord give you so that you shall be well pleased. 
Did he not find you an orphan and give you shelter and find you lost that is unrecognized by men and guide them to you and find you in want and make you to be free from want? Therefore, as for the orphan, do not oppress him. And as for him who asks, do not chide him. And as for the favor of your Lord, do announce it. End of Surah 93 Surah 94 Relief al Insharah, Revealed at Mecca in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, have we not expanded for you your breast and taken off from you your burden, which pressed heavily upon your back and exalted for you your esteem? Surely with difficulty is ease. With difficulty is surely ease. So when you are free, nominate and make your Lord your exclusive object. End of Surah 94. Surah 95, the fig 18, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I swear by the fig and the olive and Mount Sinai, and this city made secure. Certainly we created man in the best make, then we render him the lowest of the law, except those who believe and do good, so they shall have a reward, never to be cut off. Then who can give you the lie after this, about the judgment? Is not Allah the best of the judges? End of Surah 95. Surahs 96 to 100 of the Holy Quran, translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 96, the Clot, Al Alaq revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, read in the name of your Lord who created. He created man from a clot. Read and your Lord is most honorable. Who taught to write with the pen, taught man what he knew not. Nay, man is most surely inordinate because he sees himself free from want. Surely to your Lord is the return. Have you seen him who forbids a servant when he prays? Have you considered if he were on the right way or enjoined guarding against evil? Have you considered if he gives the lie to the truth and turns his back? Does he not know that Allah does see? Nay, if he desist not, we would certainly smite his forehead, a lying sinful forehead. Then let him summon his counsel. We too would summon the braves of the army. Nay, obey him not, and make obeisance and draw nigh to Allah. End of Surah 96 Surah 97 Fate Al-Qadr Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah The most beneficent, the most merciful Surely we revealed it on the grand night And what will make you comprehend What the grand night the grand night is better than a thousand months. The angels and Jibril descend in it by the permission of their Lord for every affair. Peace, it is still the break of the morning. End of Surah 97 Surah 98, the clear proof, Al-Bayyana 
revealed at Medina in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Those who disbelieved from among the followers of the book and the polytheists could not have separated from the faithful until there had come to them the clear evidence. A messenger from Allah reciting pure pages wherein are all the right ordinances. And those who were given the book did not become divided except after clear evidence had come to them. And they were not enjoined anything except that they should serve Allah, being sincere to him in obedience, upright and keep up prayer and pay the poor rate. And that is the right religion. Surely those who disbelieve from among the followers of the book and the polytheists shall be in the fire of hell. Abiding therein, they are the worst of men. As for those who believe and do good, surely they are the best of men. Their reward with their Lord is gardens of perpetuity beneath which rivers flow, abiding therein forever. Allah is well pleased with them, and they are well pleased with him. That is for him who fears his Lord. End of Surah 98 Surah 99 The Earthquake is Zalzala Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah The most beneficent, the most merciful When the earth is shaken with her violent shaking And the earth brings forth her burdens and man says, what has befallen her? On that day she shall tell her news, because your Lord had inspired her. On that day men shall come forth in sundry bodies, that they may be shown their works. So he who has done an atom's weight of good shall see it. And he who has done an atom's weight of evil shall see it. End of Surah 99 Surah 100 The Chargers al Adiyat, Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I swear by the runners breathing pantingly, than those that produce fire striking, than those that make raids at morn, than thereby raise dust, than rush thereby upon an assembly. Most surely man is ungrateful to his Lord, and most surely he is a witness of that, and most surely he is tenacious in the love of wealth, does he not then know when what is in the graves is raised and what is in the breasts is made apparent? Most surely the Lord that day shall be fully aware of them. End of Surah 100of the Holy Quran translated by Muhammad Habib Shaker. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Surah 101, The Calamity, al qariah revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, the terrible calamity. What is the terrible calamity? And what will make you comprehend what the terrible calamity is. The day on which men shall be as a scattered moth, and the mountains shall be as loosened wool, then as for him whose measure of good deeds is heavy, he shall live a pleasant life, and as for him whose measure of good deeds is light, his abode shall be the abyss, and what will make you know what it is 
a burning fire. End of Surah 101 Surah 102 Competition at Takathur Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, abundance diverts you until you come to the graves. Nay, you shall soon know. Nay, nay, you shall soon know. Nay, if you had known with a certain knowledge, you should most certainly have seen the hell. Then you shall most certainly see it with the eye of certainty. Then on that day you shall most certainly be questions about the boons. End of Surah 102 Surah 103, The Declining Day, Al-Asr, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I swear by the time most surely man is in loss, except those who believe and do good and enjoin on each other truth and enjoin on each other patience. End of Surah 103 Surah 104, The Traducer, al Humza, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, woe to every slanderer defamer, who amasses wealth and considers it a provision against mishap. He thinks that his wealth will make him immortal. Nay, he shall most certainly be hurled into the crushing disaster. And what will make you realize what the crushing disaster is? It is the fire kindled by Allah, which rises above the hearts. Surely it shall be closed over upon them in extended columns. End of Surah 104 Surah 105, The Elephant, al Fil, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, have you not considered how your Lord dealt with the possessors of the elephant? Did he not cause their war to end in confusion and send down to prey upon them birds in flocks? Casting against them stones of baked clay, so he rendered them like straw eaten up. End of Surah 105 Surah 106 Quraysh revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, for the protection of the Quraysh, their protection during their trading caravans in the winter and the summer. So let them serve the Lord of this house, who feeds them against hunger and gives them security against fear. End of Surah 106 Surah 107 Alms Giving al Ma'un, Revealed at Mecca in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, have you considered him who calls the judgment a lie? That is the one who treats the orphan with harshness and does not urge others to feed the poor. So woe to the praying ones who are unmindful of their prayers, who do good to be seen and withhold the necessities of life. End of Surah 107 Surah 108 Abundance al Kawthar, Revealed at Mecca In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, surely we have given you Kawthar. Therefore pray to your Lord and make a sacrifice. Surely your enemy is the one who shall be without posterity. End of Surah 108 Surah 109 The Disbelievers, Al-Kafirun, 
revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, say, O unbelievers, I do not serve that which you serve, nor do you serve him whom I serve, nor am I going to serve that which you serve, nor are you going to serve him whom I serve. You shall have your religion and I shall have my religion. End of Surah 109. Surah 110, Divine Support, and nasr revealed at Medina. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, when there comes the help of Allah and the victory, and you see men entering the religion of Allah in companies, then celebrate the praise of your Lord and ask his forgiveness. Surely he is oft returning to mercy. End of Surah 110. Surah 111. The Flame, al Masad, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, perdition overtake both hands of Abu Lahab and he will perish. His wealth and what he earns will not avail him. He shall soon burn in fire that flames, and his wife the bearer of fuel, upon her neck a halter of strongly twisted rope. End of Surah 111 Surah 112 Sincerity, Al-Ikhlas, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, say he Allah is one. Allah is he on whom all depend. He begets not, nor is he begotten, and none is like him. End of Surah 112 Surah 113 The Daybreak, Al-Falaq, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, say I seek refuge in the Lord of the dawn from the evil of what he has created and from the evil of the utterly dark night when it comes and from the evil of those who blow on knots and from the evil of the envious when he envies. End of Surah 113. Surah 114, Mankind, El Nas, revealed at Mecca. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, say I seek refuge in the Lord of men, the King of men, the God of men, from the evil of the whisperings of the slinking shaitan. Who whispers into the hearts of men from among the jinn and the men? End of Surah 114 and end of the Holy Quran. Translated by Muhammad Habib Shakir. Thank you for listening.